That's right, it's the United States of Phil. I am the supreme being. I make the rules and what I say goes. Uh, this is now a place for you to see it on your soapbox and complain about censorship and freedom of speech. Because the bottom line is you don't have freedom of speech. This is my land. Stop it, stop it! Devour, her, take, do what gives you pleasure, and you fuck everyone else. Devour, control is desire, her, take, control, her, take, devour. I just care about money. That I just can't help it. I'm so just enveloped in greed and money. I need money. I need money. Her take. Do what gives you pleasure and fuck everyone else. Why am I toxic? Why, why, why suck, am I toxic? Suck it, suck it, suck it, suck it, suck it. Why am I suck it? Why am I why 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 am I toxic? Why am I toxic? Why am I toxic? What? Desire. Devour. Gives you pleasure and fuck everyone else. The cow, what? Devour. Our control is desire. Her take. Control her take. Devour. What? Control is desire. Ladies and gentlemen. Devour. Devour. Chocolate stop Control it. is desire. Her take. Control. Her take. Devour. Yes, everyone. Yes. I need banana. Tasty banana. Squeeze the peel. It comes in denim. I need banana, tasty banana. Squeeze the peel. It comes in denim. Squeeze the banana. Okay. Squeeze the banana. Suck it down, down. Squeeze the banana. My tasty banana. Squeeze the banana. Okay. Squeeze the banana. Oh, Philip. 
How there are times I wish you say I'm divorced and can't. I love the horse. Oh, there's times I wish I could be the one sitting in the car next to you. Dull. But Philip says one day this may come true. You complete me, my butthole. That's what I'm talking about. I need you, Philip. making this song this song is very fun the the devour song it's a it's a club style mix uh anyways welcome everybody this is a restream of the um, ask phil or it's still called ask the king isn't it it's not ask the ask phil yet and uh phil is gonna be live soon i guess because we're, we're all here waiting for him oh yeah look at this hot <laughs> this hot fan art uh, anyways, I mean, this is it. Yeah, this is kind of the, the thing that's going to be. And it's going to be the thing. And I'm probably going to stay up for the whole thing because uh, I'm bored. And I would rather do this than play video games, I guess. But I could also play video games while this exists. Maybe we can do another, like, a lol cow royal rumble uh, during the break. Because, it, uh, you know, WrestleMania is coming up. So we got to hype it up. And then I'm gonna ask uh, Triple H for some cash because we we participated in the in the campaign, in the hype campaign. Anyways, uh, what's up with uh, Phil? Oh yeah, uh, let's let's go on Twitter, I guess. Fuck me. Uh, he was right, you guys. He was right. Uh, because E3 died, and he said it would. And also, everybody else said it would, and, you know, you could see it because E3 hasn't happened in I don't even know when, since it was like a digital thing. But anyways, he was right. Uh, so today he's going to remind you how right he was. And it's going to be pretty obnoxious, so I might pull up some games on the screen like last time. Not that they were good games or good gameplay, but at least it's going to be something that is not um, nothing. I don't know. Anyways. Let's see what else. Uh, this was one of the longest days out in a long time. And finally just got home. Looking forward to telling you all about it on Level 1 Podcast. So that's going to be super exciting. And then E3 was just cancelled and former President Trump has been indicted. Yup, you guessed it, it's my day off. Well, he's going to be talking about Trump getting indicted. So I guess that's, that's going to be a segment. I, I, I have no idea what he's going to say about that. I guess, like, Trump got indicted or something, and, like, I, I guess he's, like, in trouble or something, but, uh, you know, I don't, I, I, I just want people to be happy, and uh, the government is just, like, a bunch of fucking idiots. <laughs> that's, a, that's, that's the DSV politics segment. I want to have more, like, these 
DS politics. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it. I don't even know what indicted actually means. Is, is it like prosecutor or something? I don't know. I need to look it up. Uh, we have... That's it. That's about it. Uh, somebody became a member. Let me just give you a quick shout out ification. Um, why doesn't it come up in the fucking stream elements, dude? This shit is trash. Uh, King of Weebs, big ups for the membership, dude. I just found him. I hunted him down. And, uh, he says, the DSP Twitter pic looks weird as fuck. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's the bunny Easter Phil. Easter Phil. He's feeling jumpy. Whatever the fuck that means. So, yeah. Um, then we got... What do we got? I mean, I guess that's it. Let's go watch his reviews, you know? This is this is what I've been doing uh, before he actually goes live. I go and... Uh, I watch some of his reviews on the React channel. Because those are <laughs> amazing quality stuff. DSP React. I, I don't think I finished the Batman one. Oh, what is this phase, dude? <laughs> Ask the King 95 longest running Q&A show with the all face. Now we're doing like actual like Mr. Beast faces. Why are we doing this? What is the meaning of this? Uh, oh, he had a feasting with Phil. The tasteful truth Chinese food. Hot and sour soup. Oh, hot and sour soup. I love this shit. It's probably one of my favorite. It's probably my favorite soup of all time. It's amazing. What does he think about it? Everyone and welcome. And also, why is he so quiet? Do something I've never done before. I'm serious. In all the years, all right, that I've actually eaten food on streams, I don't think I've ever like uh, Chinese. Because you're racist. Because you hate the Asians. Since I've lived here in Washington State, I've ordered many different kinds of Asian. Okay, food. let's get to it. Okay. Hold on. I'll probably go over to I the, want the scoop. What I had the main entree here. <laughs> oh yeah, let's pause. Let's get some nice pause faces. Well, the, the dude just looks like a caveman. It's like everything about him while he eats is like a caveman. Caveman type okay. beat. Okay, let's get some more. Is it good? At this point, these like these completely lost their appeal. Yummy. It's just him sitting there saying yummy and saying that something is robust. Very tender and juicy. Tender and juicy. The sauce is savory. Savory. A little bit of a kick. If you like black pepper, obviously. And it has a kick. Chicken. What does that mean? That it's spicy? You're going to like this because it has that kick to it. Okay. Here's a top of a mushroom. Okay. Pretty neat. Mmm. Mmm. Robust. It's so robust. Again, this Chinese restaurant we order from. Is actually owned by a guy who is a, an immigrant. Oh, so he's actually he's Chinese. He's younger. He's not even like he fake. His, his goal in life to open his own restaurant, he successfully did. And he makes some really top-notch Chinese food. This is so much better than anything you would get from like a typical takeout place. Why? Because he's actually Asian? Mm. <laughs> Bro, this... <laughs> he's authentic, dude. He's a real Asian person. He's, a zucchini. he's not born yeah. in the USA, which makes him instantly be able to cook better food. In zucchini. Stir okay, fry. bro, are we like serious? We're gonna show the individual. And yeah, the, this thing he does with the with the fork, where he just twists it the wrong way. Look at this, it's so weird. Stir fry. Why, why are you doing this, Philip? Look at this. Look at the weird twist. It's like putting it sideways in his mouth. Why would you even do that? It's a weirdo. Mmm. <laughs> I love zucchini for two reasons. First of all, because I'm Italian. It's in my <laughs> and then he gives you this face. Bro, this is the same dude who tells you he's not Italian. Like, if you go in and you try and fact check him on, on what he actually talks about, he's going to tell you one time he's going to tell you he's Italian, and he's going to tell you five times that he's not actually Italian. And then he's going to tell you he's Italian again. And then he's going to tell you he's not Italian, but he was raised Italian. Just like he was raised Catholic, but is now now is not religious. Z Italians love zucchini. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, of course, it's in their DNA. Of course. I like zucchini because it has a lot of water content in it. It's a, it's a juicy vegetable. Why don't you just drink water? Flavor. You like it so, so much. You eat it. 
It's good because not only are you tasting whatever sauce you're eating, but you're also tasting. This just say I want. Just say I like zucchini, bro. You don't have to make like a whole science segment out of it. Just say I like zucchini because it's delicious. Is it? It tastes good. I like zucchini too. It tastes good. I like eating it. There you go. Hydration. And that, yeah, of course, you get hydrated really from like the zucchini. That. Okay. What else do we got? Come on. Is this the whole thing? Is just like this? He just takes a bite every 30 seconds, tells you how he likes stuff. Oh, I have no aspirations to be part of your your clown show out there. Wait, what? And now we're shit, shit talking you somebody. Know, your stupid three ring circus, though. It is your life of nonsense and drama on here. <laughs> what? <laughs> Bro, you can click almost at any point and it's something different. But it's also the same. It's really bizarre. Let's see what this is about. Talk some shit, dude. Come on. Phil? That's hilarious. Okay, there we go. This is Super Jazz. That's why you'll be stuck on level one. Because I like to control my business. What? So because I like to control my business and make sure that control my business, fine, no one gets attacked, right? Everything's in line with the YouTube rules. That's why I'm on level one. Maybe that's why I'd like to stay forever then. If I don't have to deal with your horse shit, you know, <laughs> your stupid three ring circus, though, it is your life of nonsense and drama on the Internet. If I can stay in my lane and have fun with, with people on the Internet, I think I'm cool with that, man. You know, I have no aspirations to be part of your your clown show out there. Okay, I mean that that was an so amazing good. clapback. This is so robust. He wants to control his business. This is such a like a bizarre statement. I like to control my business. What does this mean? Locking up chat so nobody can say anything? And then somebody is like, hey Phil, you're on level one. You will I like it. Actually, level two sucks. I don't even want to be there. Ever. I want to be on level one because level one is easy. I just want to have it easy my whole life. Even though I, that means I'm going to be a scrub and I'm not going to take any risks. And people are going to make fun of me until I die. That's okay because it's easy. Peace. I just want it to be easy. I didn't, I haven't gone out there and, and attacked anyone. I'm, I'm answering honestly. Right? I'm not going to say peace to every single question I get. <laughs> you know? <laughs> That would be a pretty boring stream if every every time anyone says something to me, I said, peace. Yeah, but that's what you said you would do, though. When he watched that, uh, like, Muslim video about negativity, he was like, every time I see a troll, I'm going to say peace. And I'll do, like, the prayer hands. And you, you turn the other cheek or, like, whatever. And then the next day, he was like, oh, you fucking idiots, you fucking moron, drama idiots. <laughs> Indeed, I am an internet content creator. Yes. Make content for the internet. That's not just I hate people. this. You know, I hate this modern era where everybody can just call themselves something fancy. Because back in the day, content creator didn't exist. So you used to be a YouTuber. And when somebody says a YouTuber, you know it's like, it's not very prestigious. It's like a dude making YouTube videos. And now everybody is a content creator. They create meaningful, interactive, robust content. It's so fucking stupid. Uh, of course, there's some people that make, like, really high-quality stuff with, like, production value and all that shit. Th this dude is not one of them. Or, yeah, with influencers is the same thing. Calling everybody an influencer. There's a day. It's just, like, fancy words. that don't really mean anything. But it, they mean something to, like, boomers who are outside of the whole spectrum of, of this bullshit. So if, if Phil goes to, like, Walmart... And he's at the, the cashier, like at the cash registry and is checking out and is asking like, do you guys have a content creator discount? Something like that. A, doc yeah. a documentary on something called The Right Opinion. He's a great content creator. I have to look into it. I don't know. Why would I call myself? Um, probably a shit poster. I guess that is pretty appropriate. Or troll. Tips will come in. I will shout those out when I'm done eating. I prefer I'm troll. Dry, I would say. I hate the, the term detractor as well, because it's, it's like this dude made it up. And it implies that you used to be his fan at some point.
No, I think it's hilarious, Gorilla Pimp. He says, why does everyone think you're on level one? <laughs> Tell me another content creator. Seriously about this now. Okay. Tell me another content creator out there that has been, can, can do the content they want, the content they love and want. They don't really? have to answer to anyone. Okay. You do have to answer, though. You, he has to answer to, like, idiots in his chat. Otherwise, they'll just stop giving him money and he's going to go broke and homeless. He has to answer to more people than other people. He has to answer to YouTube. Because if he calls somebody the, some slur, he's going to be on the street. And he got a stream with Aiden Ross over on a kick. They, they have a fun time all day long, every day on stream when they're there. That's super subjective. Make a living doing it. Uh, Sam Hyde. There we go. Sam Hyde can do it. And he's the most super chatted dude on YouTube. They don't have to have any concessions. He can just jump on stream and call people fucking retards the whole stream and get like five thousand dollars. I think that's that's qualifies it. They don't have to. You know what I mean? They don't have to have any kind of stuff that they don't control on their content. No ads. No bullshit. You have ads right? though. And you I advertise know. yourself. But that's level one. Actually, that's what most people are aspiring to do. <laughs> now, just because I don't have to have a million viewers. No. Hey, yo, no. A lot of people are upset. Oh. No, bro, no, no, no. We, we can't let him get this delusional. I'm all for gaslighting. I'm probably the, the biggest fan of gaslighting, especially gaslighting lol cows. But like this, we're going too far. Because at this point, he's fucking gaslighting himself. Bruh. Yeah. Bruh. This straight. He, can, he can actually do this for a living, and he only has like 500 viewers. Yeah, but bro, do you, you know that you're like a week away from actually being homeless? A week with no tips and he's like fucking destitute. An actual week. If he has to like go to the hospital or something and nobody sends him money through this time, he's like actually gonna lose his house. You gotta come back and beg for like $10,000. Yeah. Yeah, because I did it for 15 years. Uh. I heard that right. I worked my ass off. He to get earned it. that right. That's why you can say I'm level one, but look what you got to do to make a living, man. Look at the nonsense you got to do. I get to just be chilling with you guys every day. That's I fucking you know, crazy. It's, it's awesome. Seriously, man. That's actually insane. Like he's never been this crazy before. We've never been this crazy. Now this is the new narrative: is that they hate me because they ain't me. They all of them. They actually want to be Phil. They want to be Phil. <sighs> Am I afraid of backlash from Painkiller already? Fuck no. What? Who cares a shit about them? What are they gonna say? That that he's on level one? That he's a broke beggar? He knows it already. What are they gonna say that he doesn't know? Who gives a shit? Let them talk about me on their stream. I don't give two fucks. Go ahead, have fun, gentlemen. All of you very reputable individuals with absolutely nothing to criticize yourselves. <laughs> Bro, he's already giving him a response. He doesn't care so much that he's giving him a response in advance. He's like roasting him in advance for something that hasn't even happened. Let though that let them who have not sinned cast the first stone, right? Mm hmm. That's why I'm restreaming because I'm perfect. I've never sinned once. I'm terrified. Let me tell you, I'm shaking him. Except boots. when I lied that I'm gonna get naked if Keemstar joined the call, and then he did, and I didn't get naked. That's the only time I've lied in my life. Outside of that, I'm perfect. So there you go. Yum yum, man, this is good. Yum yum. A couple more forkfuls and we'll wrap. Bro, it up. try try convincing me again that that you're loving this. Try and convince me. Well, I ever get a buzz cut again? I don't know. Maybe someday I'll feel like it. <laughs> He's gonna know. get a buzz cut. I, I lose so much hair. That it doesn't even look look good or, or normal anywhere in my head. I'll, I'll buzz cut it. I don't know. No, please, please don't. Like I I actually love this segment. I think it's a very underrated segment of they hate me because because they want to be me. They want to be like Phil, but they have to deal with all this shit and they have to. They're held accountable by higher ups. I'm not held accountable by anybody. I don't have to answer to anybody except literally like individual whales and if they don't like me i lose on hundreds and hundreds of dollars like literally if if one minute man went away that would be like a significant decrease in in income it would be like actually like he would feel the pain from that one if one minute man went away and you know his his 
the fucking pay pigs are just sometimes he would say a bad thing about a game that they like and they would just be gone they're so flimsy years ago hey we're uh we're, we're gonna begin the stream so let's give him a round of applause and an actual intro right are we ready ladies and gentlemen introducing the chocolate starfish why are you laughing who no why are you laughing why are you laughing oh and this dude is still shredding anyways yeah his his pay pigs really are like that sometimes he would just say hey you know like uh fucking uh i don't know pokemon sucks and then he would lose a dude who gives him like a thousand dollars every three months or something so you never know man and he's like taking it as a point of pride that's why he's the goat because he has to beg children on the internet for money and not even children. Children would be kind of different. With fucking... With the adults that like him... Are very concerning. Like, actually very concerning. If you like this kind of content unironically. And you sit here watching this podcast unironically. Everybody. Oh, he got a haircut. Hey, welcome to the show. I'm Dark Side Phil. And I welcome you here... To a very new edition of the Level 1 Podcast. Not any of those old, washed out, boring used up editions this is a fresh new edition of the show how are you all doing today i hope you're doing well and well hey, his t-shirt isn't that bad today it's very exciting that to it's this like a six out of ten so many new things going on so many fresh things going and my on. my t-shirt is a 10. Uh, a new month right starting up the build up to my birthday celebration in one week which is going to be fun so much good stuff going on all right so we're going to talk about that today on the podcast now here's the deal today's friday the 31st of march Normally, today would actually be a short, abridged podcast because today is my show, Ask the King. If you're not aware, yeah, bro, tell me Ask about it. I, I think this time they did a little bit better on his hair, but it's I still can't decide. I haven't got a good I'm zoom in on it. Running show that I've ever done in the 15 years that I've been a content creator. You know, all the other shows like Release Day Unboxing or my channel updates or the Weekend Preview, they all went by the wayside and got outdated. But Ask the King still persists to this day. <clears throat> Although it's funny, because people say, you know, you don't use the King moniker. Oh, anymore. I think they fucked it up. Um, or at least <laughs> they messed up his fate it. again. So why still call it Ask the King? In which case, like, hey, you want to rename it? We'll rename it. I'm okay with that. Um, but let me know what you think. And some people actually said recently, why not just roll it out till episode 100? Because if you're not aware, today's episode is episode 95. Okay, yes. okay. So why not sure. hit episodes? And then to rebrand, it would be next year actually, because it's a bi monthly show every every other month. Um, rebrand next year for real next year so he's gonna be the king until next year for the show and kind of wow kind of reboot it. It'll be exactly <laughs> that's really stupid man paint. we could probably do that I could see that happening I think some people would be upset if we ended the show before the 100 episodes hit though <clears throat> so pretty cool anyway uh, let me just um, get a good pause on the haircut show. I want to give it a, a rating podcast okay and the reason for that is usually I sit down I take that time extra time that morning to review all of your questions. He hit his microphone already like four times. Q&A show, just so you know. The questions are everywhere. We got people who've posted up on my forums on dspgaming.com. We got people who are channel members who post up in special posts here on DSP Gaming and for the first time ever on my sister channel, DSP Reacts. Those people get priority to get their questions answered on the show. In addition, people who did, were big pledgees to my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash darksidephil, they had the ability to post up their questions and get those answered for sure on the show. So we had all these questions from all these different sources. And by the way, right now on my Twitter at they call me DSP, there is a post where people can respond and post up their questions for a possibility that they will also get answered on the show. And of course, if people contribute uh, Yeah, show, bro. Yeah, um, yeah, up, yeah. Why? Questions there to answer. And sometimes if we have time, we open Q&A with the chat. We do that too. Uh, this so, already oh, sucks, man. We're not even like five minutes questions. into this um, this whole event. This is going to be the whole stream is going to be just him talking. Is take that time not a single piece of gameplay. To look through the questions, pick the best ones. I guess I have to be the gameplay guy today. And get it going. But re so happens that yesterday was my day off from streaming. And because it was the day where I was actually going out for a change with my wife, uh, I had some ample time during that when she was getting ready to go out that I had could come into the office here and actually work on the show a little early. So because that was the case, I was like, oh, I'll actually have most of the questions. Not all because I got to take Twitter questions today.
Twitter well, questions. Got most of the questions ready to go for the show already. And Let's check them out. There's no reason for me to have to take that extra time you know, on Friday morning and to make the podcast much shorter. Instead, let's do everything normal. We'll have a normal length podcast. We'll have, uh, you know, the Q&A and all that. And here's the good thing. Today <laughs> I'm coming back from a break, right? Whenever I come back from break, there is always a lot to talk about. And this is no exception. <clears throat> I mean, we had two ginormous pieces of news. One of them is very political. Why did you not bring up the 10-year plan on side-scrollers? I'm not talk about it that much because this is not a political Only show. Only six you guys more know years that. left. But <laughs> the other piece... <laughs> That's a good question, Phil. Huge, and we got another one. How is that gout, Phil? And we are going to talk about this fully today on the show. And yeah, why well, didn't you wash your hands after the incident is the last question. You, Do you like wash them I after doing right the deed? Something. I was dead right about this. And uh, so we're going to talk about this today. Awesome. And uh, that'll be fun. Plus, yesterday was one of the busiest days I've ever had off. And this is what I, I tell you guys is, when I have a day off, I don't have a day off. My day off is literally it's running still a day on. all the errands that I need to do when I'm not here all day long streaming. Bro, we like know. Shopping and, you say and this every time, bro. And, you know, anything odds and ends, I need to do appointments because yesterday I yeah, had... Yeah, he's going to talk about ago. Trump. Um, And doing all that in one day. Instead of it being just a relaxing day, usually that's what I'm doing at least for half of my day off. And yesterday was definitely a day like that where my wife and I were just running all over the place. Um, so we're going to have a big Phil's Day Off segment discussing various different things. I actually tried uh, some food. That was very interesting. First time I ever had this food with my wife. So I want to talk a little bit about that. I actually really um, wanted to um, It should be pretty test good. And, that uh, I'm thing. For that. It no. Be a good podcast. We'll ask how much of DSP's yeah, daily content is literally repeated from day to day. To I actually wanted to take our, any random we'll week of DSP we'll content podcast, and edit together show. all the repeating we'll questions we'll and see how big of a percentage we'll of the actual we'll question it is, the, of the actual content. The border and everything, and get everything, uh, you know, also set up with the questions. I have to pull some questions off of Twitter. That's right. Uh, keep in mind, app. even like, over there and we're gonna do the like, Q and A show for a few. Thirty percent is still streaming. like an incredibly so massive amount. Thirty percent. And then jumping over of all the things you've done in a week is literally the same thing. For Ask the King. Okay, so that's the first <clears throat> major segment of my content today. And then tonight on the late stream, six forty-five p.m. Pacific time. It is going to be Resident Evil 4 Remake gameplay here on DSP Gaming. So don't worry. If you're loving the Resident Evil 4 Remake playthrough, I am too. I'm really Oh, yes, I'm loving it. It's challenging. It's entertaining. And I want to play it. So I am loving it. Doing that tonight. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm not play today or whatever. Uh, we're definitely going to have major gameplay of the game. That's the hottest one right now on the late stream. Okay? Oh. Assalamu alaikum broth meerkat. I wish your stream now, good fortune and positivity. We're already talking Inshallah. schedule. I hey, peace be upon you, brother schedule, Mike. So you guys know what else is going on. It's time, week. pray. Pray your hands. So tomorrow is April 1st. Many things will be happening on April 1st. The first thing that will be happening is that I'll be changing the background. I promise oh, you. Oh, yeah. It's going to be so exciting when he changes the background. My stream backgrounds. And so, I'm going to attempt to do that tomorrow. I'm going to try to shuffle around the stream background. Now, I'm going to try to put a piece of artwork. It's the biggest piece of artwork I own that's a retro piece of artwork. I'm going to try to fit it on the stream. I don't know if I'm going to. It's actually bigger then don't. than this one. Okay, so I don't know if it's going to fit or not. I'm going to try. And if it fits, great. And if it doesn't, nah. What I'm going to do instead is I'll shuffle around the things that I've already done to make it look fresh and different. Um... But it would be great if I have that one more piece of artwork. That would mean I have one, two, three, four. Well, let me think about this. One, two, three, four, five. It he actually seems like he's kind of in a good mood I today. And if he doesn't seem like too salty through all or tired. Things, Might be the new haircut. Because you know when a guy gets a haircut, he gets like a confidence I have, boost. I mean, what are, what are the different combinations of six pieces of, of anything? It's a lot of different combinations, no? I guess I'd have to do the math in my head, and I'm not too good at that. <laughs> Here, let's do it quick. And his haircut is a little bit better than it was last time. Because so the fade isn't as bad as it was. Two, and then four. Three, and then three. Two, and then one. What? So it would be six plus five plus four plus three plus two plus one. No, six plus five plus four plus three plus two. What are we actually counting? Six, five, four, three, two is what? <laughs> Oh, I think it's There's still bad. I need an actual okay. good zoom in on the on the fade There's on the side. Combinations. Because like it's not he doesn't go to a barber. He goes to like a hair salon. And not have to have the same thing every month. And they don't know how to fade you properly because they're not 
like specializing in that. And tomorrow will be something new. It'll be a new co a new configuration. Even if it's the same art you've already seen, it'll be in a new configuration. Yeah, bro. Right. Yeah. So All right. Cool stuff. Way, or find a way to fit the giant Super Mario Brothers three picture here on the stream. If I'm gonna fit it, I'm probably gonna fit it right here, and it's gonna cover the entirety of this side of the camera. All right, like this whole thing will be Super Mario Brothers three. All right. Can you get yeah, rid of those up, like weird tablecloths, or I don't know what it is. The, is, the is that like a of the Mega Man or something like that up here? Like a towel or something. It looks so weird and it's so loose. Um, we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. Look like right. super bootleg. Tomorrow, everything refreshes here on the streams. That's number one. Number two, we'll have a level one podcast in the morning, and then we're gonna jump over to DSP Reacts again. This time, it's for my weekly show, DSP versus the Internet. This is my Clips React show, where I react to the clips that the members over on DSP Reacts have no nominated. Um, <clears throat> so I want to talk about this a little bit, and obviously I'll talk about it on why? the show tomorrow, but there has been some hoopla this week, and here's why. Last week, we got a lot of gifted memberships over on DSP Reacts. Probably about 10, I think. 7 or 10, something like that. That's a lot. And basically now... Bro, we used to get like 100, bro. On that channel. And these people are the people <laughs> who are eligible to... Uh, nominate the videos for the show, right? But now what we got too many videos. I never actually put any limitations or criteria on this, and the yes. reason was because I said the more the merrier. And oh yeah, so Derek posted like, posted like fifty videos. Every video Derek is addicted to posting videos. I was like, wow, it's perfect, right? But now we're getting to the point where yeah, basically we're getting to a level that so many things are being submitted by one guy. No way we would get to all of them. All right, and I am yeah. noticing that there are certain people. <laughs> it's literally just be, Derek. That's certain people lot. and I appreciate that I never put a limit on that and there's nothing wrong with that <laughs> right so there's people submitting like 10 12 videos okay 10 and 20 that's 40 good because that gives us more to work with the more the better seriously the more the better it's always like that I'd rather have more than less but at the same time when you have a thread where it's oh here's the, the videos for this what about show. oh there's trolls. Like submissions Phil's obviously not watching a hundred rather have today, more than less right it's gonna become overwhelming now what I need to do tonight is I need to go through those submissions and I need to pick and choose videos that sound good. I'm not going to watch them, but I'm going to pick ones that from their description sound good and add them into the playlist, and we're going to see if they work or not, okay? So... Why is Indrid a mod, but Snood is not a mod? Like we're going to have that Who many... Who makes fucking mods on this channel, eh? All right. I think I should start limiting them. going to like hit say, you with the pistol grip. ...suggest 100 things. Maybe everyone gets like four submissions a week. Four videos you could submit a week if you're a member or something like that. Right now, most people are submitting one or none. Yeah, it's affirmative yeah, action. That's why. A ton. <laughs> and I appreciate that because, again, that does help us to have a full show over there. Take a sip. So here's what I'm going to do. Tonight, I have to go through all those submissions, pick the best ones, and make our playlist for tomorrow's show. I'll see what happened. Like, who submitted what, what was good, what was bad. And basically what I will do is tomorrow on the show, on DSP vs. the Internet, I will announce the new criteria and I'll say, hey, if we need to narrow it down, here's how we're narrowing it down and stuff like that, okay? But I think it should be a great show tomorrow. We're going to have so much to work with on this show, all right? Now, in addition, we're doing something new starting today. <laughs> what? Over on DSP Reacts. This is a <laughs> what are we doing, guy? Oh, yeah, members, the, the, members, the, the full guys. stream. On DSP Reacts get so many awesome abilities. I mean, you get to nominate the videos for DSP versus the internet. And he's gonna tell you all yeah, the fucking, to, oh my god, he's like, for bro, he can never get to the point, like, actually just tell you what, what it is. You, vote on you get you awesome vote abilities. Vote every month. Like in a video okay. game. Um, And now, here's a new exclusive thing for members over there. I'm adding it again. If you are a member on DSP React, I'm gonna set it up so when a live stream airs, as soon as that live stream goes offline, it becomes members only. So what does that mean? It means that if you're a normal viewer... What does that reaction, mean? You you can member. see it if you're a member. You know, That's what it means. Watch them, and chat is spamming live, like angry faces. But we're not live, I guess. Spread no, it out. Are. Every day I upload one or two videos from each thing I'm doing. So for example, this last Yeah, week, his chat is actually fed episode, up with this shit. The internet. Every day there was a new episode <laughs> of my big long-form react to the Wings of Redemption documentary. And there were two reviews of movies that came out over the course of the Yeah, you actually get to see it. saw one or two new videos. Okay. The, the full thing. But if you're a channel member, you don't have to wait. If you're a channel member, you'll be able to watch the raw... Look, this is a cool benefit. I mean, this is an actual stream. cool benefit. Because I'm still like... Diary, as soon as it goes he off, shouldn't be posting them okay. um, like piecemeal, because that's stupid, but it's in cool, his it's case, a it's a cool benefit. To incentivize people to become a member, right? So I think this is a great way to do it. And 
someone suggested it over the last week, and I really thought hard about it. And I was like, I actually don't see a reason why to not do that. I really don't. I think that having those uh, as members-only archives makes a lot of sense, and it gives you incentive. You want to become a member if you want to watch it right away. Some people said, man, I really wanted to watch your whole full-length Wings documentary react on Sunday or Monday, and I couldn't I couldn't because you didn't upload them until later in the week. You know, it was only one part a day. Uh, you can go check it out on a restream. Now you can see it right away in its entirety, okay? Now, you might say, well, what about DSP Gaming? Why don't you do that on this channel as well? Because it doesn't make sense here. Why not? Because the very same day that I upload or I, I stream here, I upload all the videos anyway. So what? It's an extra There's benefit. There's really no benefit to watch the raw versus the, the videos cut up. They're exactly the same. You see? Well, you're so not. Here, they're not. Benefit because there's nothing. You get staggered. the breaks. Over on DSP React. I love the breaks. Always staggered. So there is a massive benefit <laughs> to become a member over there. You see? So we're, we're not going to change anything that happens here on DSP Gaming. It's exactly the same. You're getting the videos the same day as the stream anyway. But over on DSP Reacts, that's a big advantage. All right. So there you go. Um. Okay, yeah, I give them that. This is a. It's a cool tomorrow. benefit. I mean, you get to see the whole stream tomorrow. instead of waiting for a different clip of the stream to drop every day. Even though clips shouldn't be dropping in the first place, you should just get the full stream. For DSP versus the internet, and I'm curious if more people will want to become a member. And it should be timestamped because it's easier. I don't know. We'll see. It'd be great if we get a couple more handful of people who maybe want to become a member over there. You know, because like if you have low watch time, time stamping stuff is always better. Because because people then stick around to watch the shit they care about. That channel. As opposed to not having an idea what they're watching and then they leave. During the live streams and a little bit of residual ad revenue, not a lot. And now we talk about money. Okay. Claimed or demonetized. Awesome. As stupid as it sounds, they demonetize videos. <sighs> how much money do you actually want, man? Like, how much money do you fucking need? He, everything needs to be monetized. Two of them were demonetized for absolutely no reason. So I immediately appealed. One of them became monetized over the week. One of them is still sitting there. They never bothered reviewing it. Yeah, you're not going to get any more views after, like, two days. So it doesn't matter. There's nothing there. If you don't get monetized within the first 24 hours, it doesn't matter. It's, it's not worth anything. He's going to get, like, 20 views. Stupid. It's like with the shorts. That sound like they should be monetized. A lot of the times, don't get monetized. You remember when he was pushing so, shorts? I mean, it's more reliant. On don't you wonder why he forgot about them and is not mentioning them anymore? Because he realized they don't make any money. Because you can't make money off shorts that make like two thousand views a short. Good start. Let's put it that way. You're gonna make like five cents. Will slowly grow over time as more people. And for him, it's literally not worth uploading it. You're not. He's not even making the short. He's just uploading it, and it's still not worth it. Anyway, tomorrow. <clears throat> It'll be a level one podcast here. DSP versus You already Internet said this. DSP reacts, and then on the late stream again tomorrow night will be more Resident Evil 4 remake. You already said this. DSP gaming. So just to benefit, or just to benefit, just to reiterate. Why are we reiterating? Level one podcast. Ask the King on DSP reacts. Resident Evil 4 at night tomorrow. Level one podcast. DSP versus the Internet on DSP reacts. More Resident Evil 4 at night. Okay, then on Sunday, we get back to normal gameplay. So it'll actually be Metroid Prime Remastered on the first stream on Sunday. And then Sunday night will be uh, Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. Okay, which we're so close to being able to rejoin the Mages Guild. I can't wait when we can because then we can unlock more quests and stuff. Okay. I'm so excited for the Mages Guild. <sighs> Why do we have to reiterate? Can you do it again? Please reiterate oh, again. Okay. I already forgot okay. what you're doing. Get rid of this guy because he's been a negative Oops. jerk. Who is that? Now, and I've had enough of his Who's getting lean? Ah! Um, fuck, Monday, now I gotta rewind my own stream. As the mainstream, and the late stream will be... Like I actually wanna see. And then Tuesday again... Uh, so, okay. So he says... I'll only contribute if I know the money is being used on the studio and for better content. I'm not donating for your day off. Ah! I think he got terminated. We may complete... He got eradicated. Resident Evil 4 ah! Remake and Metroid Prime Remastered this week. <laughs> Let's think about it. So Resident Evil 4 Remake... Let me just get rid of this fucking idiot. Game. And people have said by all reports, if you do a full run, which I am, I'm looking around, I'm doing all the side content, it could take around 22 hours. So if there really is nine hours of gameplay left, if you do the math, two hours tonight, two hours tomorrow, three hours on Monday and three hours on Wednesday, it sounds like I'll beat it on Wednesday. Okay. Same thing with Metroid Prime Remaster. All right, that game, depending on how long you take and how much you 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 know you try to get, could be anywhere from as short as twelve hours. This is trash. Probably as long as twenty. Show us hours. your hair, Dave. So, Come on. Right now, I want to make fun of his fade. I'm nine hours in. 
So if I'm gonna do- I'm sure a, a woman gives him a haircut. There's no way she doesn't. And it's always lopsided. It's so bizarre. I feel like we've never seen anybody with hair like this. Or another woman- Even Cyrax has a better hair. So style. Basically this week, okay, no, that that's not true. A lot of progress in these games. That's not true. Yet. And then we might be looking at after my birthday celebration on that Friday the seventh, which we'll talk about in a second. Uh, we may be starting some new playthroughs. Okay, <clears throat> now we shall see. There's no promise, you know, no guarantee, but it's fine. It's good to think that maybe there's some fresh stuff around the corner as well, right? What should be the new playthroughs? A lot of people are of the opinion that I should be doing my. Elden Ring, New Game Plus Elden Ring. Ring. Interactive run with all of you. The interactive run. Figure out what I should do with my second build. Bro, the first run was also interactive. People were telling him where to go and what to do. Something else. Who knows? Hey, there's an item behind that wall. Oh, there's an item here. Wow. A jump R2 build. I died. Look, that's a cool that. item. I want it to be completely different. Okay. He doesn't want it to be so, a jump R2 I build. We'll see. So, uh, I so guess I we will know. see. It's jump still going to be jump r 2 a lot. And in addition, you know, there's time for other things as well, and there the are. The thing is that the on uh, with the FromSoft games it, on a new game plus, the enemies are actually harder. It's gonna be my I birthday think. celebration, Friday, April seventh. Okay. And he's gonna be rusty. Gonna be he's gonna have no idea what he's doing. He's gonna have like a new run. I have my birthday off this. So yeah. Okay. It's not gonna be like. We're gonna do. It's crazy. The the default run. We're gonna do a marathon. Where I'm gonna be eligible if, if I get a big contribution, I'm gonna take a shot of gin. A big contribution. Brothers, Just say a hundred bucks, man. This like obfuscation is so stupid. Okay. So like, if I get a uh, contribution of a certain amount of money that is large. Interactive meal together that day. Oh, we're gonna have a meal gonna together. Go the game schedule. It's gonna take you out on a date, and you're gonna do game scheduling together. Interesting to you. And then he's gonna get drunk if you pay him. What a great date, Phil. In addition to that, we're going to do Tier Maker. First time ever. I'm going to be using this site, and we're going to do some fun interactive rankings. Things like, probably like, fast food rankings. The best horror movie franchises. The best horror game franchises. And others. Those are the three that I think I definitely want to do. But we'll probably come up with more. And we'll be doing some of that fun stuff as well. Okay, and then, there's going to be a fantasy match. A WWE 2K Hell yeah. match. Battle Royale with all Battle fantasy. Royale. And that's just what I've set in stone for now that we're doing during the marathon. There very well may be even more stuff. I'm not even sure. The thing is, I would like this to be a more relaxed day <clears throat> where there's nothing that's so concretely set that we're all, absolutely, oh my God, Phil said he was going to do this and he didn't do it. I'd rather just okay, have let's, let's, open oh, relaxed. Okay, let's... Okay, we, we got a... ...celebration of my birthday after all. Oh. Shut the we fuck up, DSP. Absolutely, oh my... Look, okay, we got a shot of the hairline. There it is. We confirmed. Look at how it cuts off at some point. It's not actually faded. It just cuts off. That's like, it's really incompetent and, and terrible. It just like, it, it goes away at some point. And then it kind of starts fading a little bit. It's really bad. It's really bad. That's why I think a woman did it. Because like, you can see that they didn't give a shit. God, Phil said he was going to do this and he didn't do it. I'd rather just have it be a little bit more open and relaxed. It is the day after. I, good stuff coming up. Sounds great. I hope you like that. Now we have other things we I need do. to work on as I well. I love it. For example, we need to figure out uh, what is the next long form react event you want me to do in late April. I do one once a month now. You Last can react month, to your interview. And it was the second Wings of He should definitely do that. So what like five years from now, he's going to be reacting to the interview. For my next one. What happened? Did his YouTube go down again? Well, it's not mine. Yeah. What, the, what happened to Philip? Maybe that's on me. Hey, much you guys want a drama document? So I guess the question is if I'm Oh, no, he's still now, up. Then what are we going to do in place of it? I, I want to know. Maybe there's a few different drama documentary. Document. Maybe it's an hour documentary. I love the, the term drama documentary. You know, because it's like you're doing drama, the thing that he hates, but also it's called documentary. Okay. Because it's factual. Well, I need suggestions. And so we have about two weeks to figure this out. Because what we'll do is, we'll, for the next two weeks, we'll talk about it. I want to do a poll so that the members on DSP Reacts can vote to determine what it's going to be by the end of the month. So we have to talk about this in the next week. Please, every day, let's discuss it a we little We have more. to talk about we this. Throw out, uh, throw out some ideas, okay? Generic says, what about the I Got Next documentary? It was a pretty good about the fighting community during the Street Fighter 4 scene. Yeah, nobody cares about this shit. They care about fucking drama, bro. He's gonna do stupid- I watched a 41-year-old play games on the internet and paid him money to drink alcohol.
if you say it like this, it's going to sound way more fun than it actually is. Like, if you pitch it like that, it sounds actually fun. I don't think I'm in it, right? I'm not in it because I was just so... Because, like, what he's actually doing is just... But I think that more like a 41 year old who acts oh, like a 12 year old. I never saw. I'd be interested in it. Again, and is having like a sweet 16 yeah, birthday yeah, party. You guys got to throw suggestions at me. I'm you guys, you guys got to do everything. I'm open right. to suggestions that are gonna make me a lot of money, videos. not stupid suggestions. Um, if they're stupid, I, I will kill you. Specifically for permission, and they didn't and ban you. So, I guess that means it's okay. Because if, if there was a no, they would be like, no, don't do it. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. He asked somebody for permission. They didn't respond, and it meant yes. He'd ask specific. You guys are saying internet historian? I I'm okay with that. i never seen any internet historian videos. Uh, um, I did ask specifically for permission, and they didn't respond. So I guess that's a yes. I guess that means it's okay. Because if, <laughs> if it was a no, then Bro, no, this is it. like, I fucking hate his permission fetish. Because it's like, you can say it's okay for any uh, instance. At the same time, they're not, they're not gonna unless they explicitly say no. Which, like, nobody's going to do that. Why would they do that? No, you can't react to my video. Respond, I guess, to me. So I guess I could just. Alright, uh, go fuck off. As you can see. And now we're begging for members. Members total has worked well this month. It really has. You know. We had a couple months there where it was like, oh, let's do a month-long goal. And it was like pulling teeth trying to get people to become members or, or support the channel because people didn't like the goal or for whatever reason. I don't know. For whatever month, reason. Having these small daily goals has worked well. I, I want to say thank you to those who suggested this because this month we actually saw some growth. If you didn't notice, you know, last month, the end of the month, we were down to like 300-something members. Here we are at the end of April or the end of uh, March, excuse me, and we're over 400. Can't complain there, Right. And the good thing is we're already doing the, the special event on Friday. We're doing it anyway, right? We're doing the, the marathon or the marathon for my birthday. It wasn't tied to the goal. For so my birthday. Really, uh, <laughs> this birthday out. thing, so man. You're so channel, infantile. Who, Such a members, baby. Gifted memberships, whatever it my was. My birthday. That was really nice of you, and I appreciate you supporting the channel this month, all right? Today, we're doing this podcast, and then tonight, Resident Evil 4 Remake. So a very reasonable goal of maybe hitting three new members today if we could. If you're not a member, what are you waiting for? Think about it. If you want to help this channel out and help... Tell us what are the benefits. Memberships is a great way to do so. And people what don't you get? Membership. All right. A hand job so, from Cat. Please think about it, and thank you so much. Uh, Jasper's so, Claws. And uh, thank you for the support this month. And... All right. Uh, All right. Six Star oh. Hogan. So I think it's time to there you go. some of our segments. Our first segment being... The one that everyone waits for, ladies and gentlemen, Phil's Day Off! Suck a dog off. I guess I really should open this up. Oh, it's weird because I know I replaced the batteries recently. I think it just might be dying. Anyway, Phil's Day Off! The segment where I talk about what I did on my day off. There we go, this is going to be exciting. Solo just gifted a membership to the channel and it went to Cracker Jack. Oh, I should have gone to me, dude. Come on, but I'm banned in his chat for no reason. Thank you, Parasolo. For supporting the channel today, that is our first new membership of the day. Thank you, thank you. I really wish there was a way to get pop-ups for gifted memberships on YouTube, but there's not. I've been doing this full time. Uh, you TV. can, yeah, you can. Not I get them. Works. I get them. Gifted memberships just don't pop up. It sucks. Yeah, they do for me. They don't work here. It That's why I have to mute them. Anyway, um, let's talk <laughs> about my day off yesterday because it was one of the busiest days off I've ever had. So just to give you a but also I'm not thing. banned from stream elements right. and he is so I, I, I guess I'm better during the course of the day <laughs> because of the time requirements of the appointments I had to rush food and stuff that normally I wouldn't I have to, to rush do. food um you know many supply runs during the course of the day uh, my wife and I wanted to have a special dinner because next week uh, we're probably not going out um uh oh why not birthday, we're probably just staying oh home. it's his birthday yeah that, we kind of wanted to go to a good dinner together this week to celebrate my birthday early which uh, which we did but we'll talk about that um among other things like it was a very very busy day so let's just talk let's just start at the beginning all right so we had an appointment no start when you yeah, woke up the early afternoon the problem is the appointment was nowhere near us so there was driving involved to get to this appointment so to do this we had to get up early and there was no time to like get food or anything so we're like what are we going to do how are we going to do this i said well here's what maybe we should do we'll get up in the morning we'll order food the night before We'll have a Again. breakfast delivered. Right? <laughs> that way. Why not make we'll fucking some food. fucking fried eggs, moron? Make a sandwich. We'll be able to get ready. So we, we get a fucking delivery we'll the night before. Shower and put on makeup and look nice. Yeah, and yeah, and yeah. Took advantage of to do the Ask the King stuff, but we'll talk about that in a second. So I'll have some time to work on that. While you're doing that, the food will arrive. We'll eat. 
We'll be good. We'll have to worry about grabbing. He's eating like he's like living like he's on vacation, dude. How about we order some room service for tomorrow and then we can go out about good idea, right? This is what we'll do. So that's what we go with. The night before we order, I'm like, well, when should we order? We're like, well, our appointment is at one o'clock and it takes a while to get there. So we want to eat probably around eleven thirty ish. Maybe that way we'll be absolutely done and cleaned up and ready to go by noon. And that way we'll have plenty of Are you going to have time to digest? No problem. You'll even have a little bit of flexibility time in there, right? No big deal. That sounds good, right? So we order the food ahead of time and we schedule it. Now, when you order food from any of these delivery services, you can schedule it for a time frame window that you want the food to arrive. So we schedule Correct. it from, I think it was like 11, it was either 1115 or 1120 to like 1130 or 1135, something like that. That's the time frame we order it for, Okay. We figured that would be perfect if it arrived. And it was late. Half an hour to eat. And then Spoilers. We <clears throat> so, you know, we get up and everything. And my wife, uh, you know, she jumps in the shower. She's getting ready. And I was like, oh, I got some time. Let me do some stuff. So I came over into the office here. And that's when I actually went through most of your questions for today's Ask the King. And I picked the best ones. And Yo, I he worked outside of work hours. Twitter questions from you today. should send him a yeah, so $100 tip. And I got all this stuff done. On, oh, that was pretty good. That was pretty productive, actually. Because now tomorrow I can have a full-length podcast. I have to rush it. And this will be a good, more relaxed day rather than kind of a rush around feel, which I do a lot. Okay? So, getting all this together. And oh, take I'd say it's about, Phil says we. I want to say it's like. I can't. I'm going to die. Almost 11 a.m., but not yet. It's my brain is going to become like his right. brain. But big ups, Gengar Green. I look at my phone and it says, your food's been picked up. What? What? What are you talking about? My food is scheduled for like 11.30. I look at the phone. The fucking food's already done and it's already on the way to the house. So what? Why? So what? I didn't schedule it for that. This is the problem when you order food. Oh my food God. Scheduled. It doesn't work. You're such you a moron. What is the problem with it, bro? One of two things. The food shows up way late. Because this, this, the, whatever you ordered from, don't do these scheduled orders well. Sometimes we do it and it doesn't show up at all. Gets The whole order gets canceled. Or it shows up way fucking early. Like way earlier than you're ready for it. And I don't understand why. You were ready for it though. You were literally sitting at home and fucking around. You were ready for it. I don't think once we've ordered a scheduled order that showed up right. Uh, then stop ordering them. There's something wrong with the order or gets canceled. You know what the definition of insanity is, huh? And again, normally wouldn't have been a big deal, but this was just a special day uh, where we had to do it because we had this very tight schedule of everything that we were doing. So the thing is, we did order from a place that we usually order from that's really good. And so the food shows up, and the food shows up at 11.05. Okay. My wife isn't even close to being done yet. So what? She's come down and have breakfast. She's in the middle of just starting to do her makeup. Like, okay. I'm not going to eat now. Why so not? What I did is I just I just put the food on the table. What are you going to do? You guys are fucking right? subhuman, I swear. So you fucking I morons. work in the office and stuff, and she continued. So basically, around 11.30, when we were supposed to eat, we went down there, and we finally ate. And the, the thing was... The food wasn't bad. The food, this place we order from is actually quite good. They're one of the best breakfast places around here. We're lucky we found them because they're an independent. I always got to say this. If you have a local business near you, always support the local business. Nine times out of ten, you're going to get better quality, better value, everything. And at a rest, this restaurant is so good for brunch. They do all kinds of stuff. They do like full breakfast omelets, French toast, pancakes, waffles, all that kind of stuff. But then they do like big sandwiches, wraps, you know, everything for brunch. Great brunch place. Okay? Bro, he, this, this dude is for real living, real living like he's on vacation. Shit. One day life is just going to slap him so, in the face and it's going to legitimately going to explode you know, his he brain. He might even get a heart attack or something. He sat there for 25 minutes. We weren't ready to eat. I wasn't going to eat without When, when reality so comes crashing down, down, it's going to legitimately like blow his mind. Okay. And you can have it nice and cold when you're done putting on your makeup. That would have been fucked up. Because, like, he's, like, one of the biggest fucking scrubs that exists. Is there anybody this canute doesn't look down on? Yeah, it, no. No. And we ended up eating. No, literally no. Late, and the food was cold. And what are you going to do? Everybody. Like, I thought that the food still tasted pretty good. Um, okay. My wife ate half of hers, basically. and was like, oh, I'm upset because it came so early. And I don't blame her. We paid... 
We ordered for a time, and it shows up 25 minutes early. That's ridiculous. So what? Right? She can just Stupid. stop making, a, stop her doing her makeup and eat. Early is one thing. Literally 30 more minutes earlier is stupid. It's really not that deep, man. So it's anyway. stupid. They were stupid. So we had that going on. We eat. All right, so now we're getting ready to go. And we went to our first appointment. Got that done. So basically, in a nutshell, here's all the things we had to do. We had a doctor's appointment. We had haircuts. We had a uh, pet supply run. We had... Um, what was the other thing we had to get? We had to go to a drugstore, right? And then, oh, we had the car washed. Oh, that was another thing. <laughs> so we haven't had our car washed in a very long time. Okay. okay. And it's dirty. It's disgusting. It's actually bird shit on the top of it. We're like, oh, this is nasty. We need to get our car washed. Right outside of one of our appointments was a car wash. And we're like, oh, but what kind of a car wash is it? Is it one of those ones that has like all the big roller brushes and the things that could the chamois that no it's one of those hands-free completely water-based car washes and we're like we never did one of these before we don't know if this is going to work or not right well, don't do them we're like you know we really need it i haven't done a car wash in many months the literally just working. washing your car bro a, a kid with a sponge so can do it wash and we pay for it are I you serious it's probably like 15 bucks okay okay and we drive in and the weird thing about it is it doesn't even tell you like where to stop. It just has blinking lights. The lights like stop red. Oh fuck. Okay, let me stop and put it in park or whatever. Okay. <laughs> so these two arms come down. And they're like they pick up the car. The car is. I guess they must have like like. It's Optimus Prime. He's something. washing my car. And then they just start like spraying water and soap. And water and soap. And Did you have your windows soap. down? It's weird because it's just water and Did soap. Did Cat get a shower? Put on your car. It's just All her soap. makeup got washed away. But it's like, oh, first it's white soap. Then it's colored soap that looks like confetti or or like candy, uh, cotton candy. And it has a smell to it. And we're cotton like, candy style soap. Not that big of a deal. Like they're, it's acting like it's some big deluxe thing. I'm like, dude, I could spray water and soap on my car too. You know, it's not like that. Why you didn't you do it then, moron? And everything. That's the good one because that's the one that's going to be touching all the parts of your car and cleaning it. This is literally just water and soap. It's not a big deal, right? But they act like it's some big to-do. So finally we get to the end <laughs> and we drive out and there's fans that, you know, uh, drives the car. So we go to our next place and I was like, let's see how it did. Dude, we never did anything like this before. Usually if we're going to do a car wash, we do the one with all the brushes and everything. So... We get out, and we look at the top of the car. The top of the car looks beautiful. All the bird duty is gone. Wow. And then as you progressively look further down the car, you realize only the top of the car got cleaned. The sides of the car start to have more dirt. The bottom of the car is completely dirty. Not a single drop reached the bottom of the car. <laughs> like, what the hell is this? You paid $15 for that? What yeah, a I guess so. A complete ripoff. Yeah, the thing is, I'm it's glad. An operating business that's been there for years. This is an operating business. Everyone they should close down. They know it sucks, but <laughs> they, they must still stay. They must still stay in business. You want no every way. business that no gave him a bad service once to just close down? Bottom. It literally like did. this is this is what we're talking, talking about. All on the bottom. You, you know, gave him a bad uh, burger, you're getting sure. shut down tomorrow. He's going to call the health services on you. You're going to get a health inspection. The other and then the IRS. Vacuums and stuff. If you wanted to clean the inside of your car. And then the cops. Money. He's going to swat your, your, your burger place. Drive vac. <laughs> what do they call it? Shop vac? There we is a guy with a gun who's flipping, flipping burgers. To do that while we're out. You should oh, go man. get him. Yeah, it was pretty stupid. I was like, uh, how could this place be in business for a half car wash? How can you be in business for this? Same question. Same question. What it is? It's a. It's like, and like him. You the the service you pay him is not fifteen dollars. We get a tips total of zero out of fifty right now, and uh, at a total of one fifty. Imagine if you got in the shower, all right, and the shower only reached your head and your shoulders. Yeah, the shower is free. And the whole bottom half of your body always stayed stinky, dirty. That's literally what this car wash is. <laughs> okay. So anyway, we're like, well, we tried something. It didn't work very well. We're definitely not going to be doing this again. We're, you know, we made it. We, we tried something. It was an experiment. I mean, it's, it's confusing that they're in business because they didn't clean just the like you. Stupid. Yeah, because you, okay. you, so anyway, you're not good that. at what you're doing with our day. We, like I said, we had a lot of errands to do. We had to get some uh, some cat stuff for Jasper this week and, and various different things. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything notable. Oh, 
So the one thing we absolutely wanted to do this week, okay? So here's a story I didn't tell you guys. Cat hurt her foot this week, all right? Uh, so I don't even know how, but she was in the kitchen. Just she needs new uh, horseshoes. And she stepped on <laughs> something I, I, I on the love kitchen the horse. floor, and it pierced the bottom of her foot. What? And she screamed out, and apparently her foot was bleeding. And she said she ran to the bathroom, and it was basically like a sliver or something, and she took tweezers and took it out. And it was actually bleeding because it had got her so bad. <clears throat> so she disinfected or whatever. And her foot's been messed up all week. Now she had to work. So she's been standing on this foot for multiple days of work and it hurts bad. You know. So she just got a splinter? Like, you can't be walking barefoot in the house anymore. She's been walking barefoot ever since she moved in. I was like, why are you walking barefoot in the house? Yeah, get her horseshoes. I, I love the horse. Always. I've always, my, my whole life, my mother bought me slippers for when I used to live with, with my parents. I've always had slippers when I lived alone. <laughs> Slippy G. Slippers. To this day, I, I <laughs> Slippy don't Phil. barefoot around my house. I'd rather have slippers. They Slipping Philly. They prevent you. if there's, God forbid there's something on the floor. It stops you from getting your foot pumped. Yeah, that ant poison. Yeah. So, I love slippers, too. I, I wear them right so now. We have to get you slippers this week. They have slippers. Not, I will get them for you. It's okay. I need to get you a pair of slippers. I can't have you hurting your feet, you know? Okay. What but a good husband. That was one of the things we were trying to do. No one has them. We went what? to three different stores. No one has slippers. Right? Two of them had none at all. The one that we finally found them was the department store, Macy's. Yeah, yeah go to the pet store. Almost I love the horse. It's like almost no selection at all of anything. And we're like, this is stupid. There's nothing there. <laughs> they don't have don't slippers, bro. What? What are you talking about? She doesn't work at Kohl's. So, so she works at Kohl's. Get them there. First of all, we did go to Kohl's. They don't have them. They don't have slippers Oh, no, that, that's seasonal. We don't have them now. Oh, okay. It's not slipper season. Um, And we went to another place. They didn't have it. It was... uh. Bro, these oh, dudes are Macy's stupid. Job. Both of these dudes are yeah, fucking stupid, man. Crazy. They're like that's beyond cool. repair. So no one stops. And the worst right thing right is that they no, think they're they smart. And there's them. nothing worse than a stupid right. guy who thinks he's smart. So there was zero slippers that we could find. Suck. Smart people who think they're, they're stupid are much, much better. When she got home and we went to three different stores looking. <sighs> and uh, hey, big ups, uh, free ninety nine for the membership, dude. So that sucked. The one, the one good thing that oh, we went to Costco. We got a bunch of stuff at Costco. Um. Muffins. We're eating muffins right now for breakfast. Okay, you know, good. All our paper goods and stuff like the that. The paper goods. Um, they got more paper plates. Something new. Costco <laughs> has these um, rolls. They look like ciabatta rolls. They call them ciabatta rolls. rolls. We're going to try to have them like snacks and maybe sandwiches and something this week. It should be pretty good. So those look pretty good. But anyway. Oh, so this is interesting. For years, you guys have t raved at me. Raved about Costco food. You guys told me. Phil, you have to try Costco food. That the food in the food court is outstanding. Like, the value is there. It's so effing good. I'm missing out if I don't eat Costco food. You've told me this, correct? All right. Correct. So, I, I don't know. I told you. Early on, we ate our breakfast, and it wasn't very good. It was cold. So now it's the middle of the day. We're you not can't warm it up. Yet. You don't have an what oven do, or a microwave. We went to the Costco food court to have a snack to hold us over. Based on your recommendations... We went to the Costco food court, okay? So we each got the dollar fifty combo. Dollar fifty cab and a soda. Okay? <laughs> that it's a dollar fifty for a hot dog and a soda. That's pretty damn good value. Yeah, that's pretty right? good. So Unless you just get the hot dog, like the actual glizzy. Those are large, by the and way. And then you're like a glizzy balls, gobbler. Big bun, big uh tasty bun. Or a throat goat. And they have Ketchup, mustard, spicy mustard, and relish for condiments if you want to put it on the hot dog. Okay. Okay. So we get this. We each got the combo. We sat down. We put condiments. I actually put uh, ketchup, yellow mustard, and relish. And my wife, I think, just did ketchup and mustard. <laughs> All right. So we sit down. The excruciating <laughs> detail he goes into, man. You just have to eat it on the paper. It hurts. I'm like, well, I'm trying to be economical. It makes sense. You paid very little, so they're not going to give you a ton of shit to work with here. All okay. Right. So we go to eat. I lift it up and it looks amazing. It's glistening hot dog. It looks juicy. It looks good. Smells good. It's a glistening glizzy. Bite. I'm like, oh, oh, it's absolutely. I'm just kidding. It was amazing. It was super good. It was an insanely tasty hot dog. It was juicy. It was so flavorful because it's an all beef hot dog. It was so good. And the relish was some of the best relish I've ever had in my life. It was sweet but also had a little bit of tanginess. It was like super good relish. I was like, damn, if this is the relish they sell here, I might fucking buy their relish next time we come to Costco because I didn't know the relish was so good. 
This is like a, an Amish person going into the city for the first time. It's so ridiculous, and he's like an alien. Uh, you know, I'm like, oh my god, like, wait, what? Like they, seriously good hot they, they, so, they don't have to actually milk the cow. They put it in bottles and then they sell it. What? These fucking idiots. Hot dog is a really good value. <laughs> so, very, very good. And uh, I, I'm glad you guys recommended. There's it. actually a TV show about those. Here's They're the part, pretty fascinating. Right? <clears throat> so the pizza is two dollars a slice. The There's slice so many hot Amish slice. chicks. It's like a giant slice of pizza. They really are. Okay. We didn't get the pizza today. Oh, uh, yesterday. <clears throat> But we saw this guy get it, all right? This guy, he gets pizza. And he's looking at it like he's never had pizza before. Like he's like looking you? at it, he's confused, like he doesn't know what it is. He's confused. He goes over to the condiment section for the hot dogs. And on his plate with the pizza slice, he squirts ketchup, mustard, and relish. And he walks away like... Okay. What the fuck did he just do? Why not? He's Maybe he likes the... Pizza in ketchup, mustard, and relish. He doesn't even know what pizza is. What? Why not? <laughs> I was like, what? I couldn't believe it. <clears throat> I was like... Maybe he likes it like that. Isn't, like, condiments, like, <laughs> things that you eat that you actually like? Okay. Well, uh, enjoy. I mean, I'm not going to stop him, you know? He does whatever he wants. Okay. But I was like, that's really weird, man. Like, you don't understand that p what pizza is. You think you put it in that stuff. Bro is gatekeeping pizza. I was watching him eat, he went to the condiment section. When I was getting my condiments for my hot dog, he was right next to me. Doing Why didn't you tell him something so he could beat your ass? Okay. Hey, man, like, this, you don't I'm even saying, know pizza. What are you, a fucking idiot? Another person says it was an alien. <laughs> I don't know. He was an alien. He was, he was very stupid. Or yeah, maybe. I don't know, man. I, I, I'm sure that he, if he had to tell that story to somebody, he would actually tell it to a person and not to a camera. And on the other side of the camera is a bunch of wheelchairs and trolls. So I don't know. I think he is. I I would go out on a limb and say that he is smarter than Phil. I'm just I'm just gonna throw this out there. Just a speculation. So that was fun. But anyway, thank you for recommending the Costco hot dog. Now I give it a huge hot thumbs up. Hot dog. That was super duper good. And I would definitely like to have that again, or maybe even try the pizza. Because you guys recommend it. So we chicken, it's a piece of white chicken with mozzarella cheese and like some sauce, like some kind of a sauce in what looks like a hot pocket and in the hot pocket okay cool pizza. stuff food talk <laughs> and condiments and all kinds of shit alright someone ordered it this woman ordered it they put it out it's literally it just sitting there just lurking on the people like, at Costco like that's the sandwich it's it's horrible it's it's not huge. It's a big roll, but there's a, some meat on it, but not a ton. And like lettuce, it's a, bit, it's a basic roast beef sandwich for ten dollars. Why is he was doing the food equivalent of pocket watching? He was just sitting there lurking on other people's food and what they eat. It's in there being not that this this fucking idiot. He doesn't even know pizza. Look at him. Look at how stupid he is. That fucking moron. Cause she ordered it and she was literally like restreaming people in real life. Put on their menu recently, <laughs> so she orders it and it's like, what the fuck is that? She's like so upset looking at the sandwich. <clears throat> um. So anyway, that was our Costco experience. Um. There we go. Obviously, you can see I got a haircut. That was one of the things I did. Yeah, it's terrible. Oh, okay. Yeah, show it off. Show it off again. Getting a haircut, especially now. It's terrible. Soon, so to get the haircut now is the perfect timing. Um. Hobo X says the chicken bacon is either amazing or meh. It depends on the personal preference. Pizza is an absolute must, and if your location still has the turkey and provolone sandwich, that's a sleeper. I don't yeah, bro, stop, 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 stop bringing him in to talk about fucking food. Stop it. That's the one thing he feels confident in talking about. And once you, you get him started, he never ends. And it's so condescending and smug every time. See prices. Costco CEO famously told CFO he'd kill him if he rose the price of the hot dog, for example. The hot dog. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, it is funny. All right. So anyway. Um, anyway, let's do some right Q&A. <clears throat> let's talk dinner. So I told oh, you. Oh, dinner. We're still, still on the day off. basically my birthday dinner, okay? I Bro, your birthday is a week from now. In an email from a local seafood restaurant, all right? They wanted me to come in. I guess I, I think when I first moved here, I'd gone to this restaurant once when my parents had visited. What? Is he getting a sponsorship from a seafood restaurant? Years. So I've been to this restaurant. <laughs> what? So finally, they sent me a <laughs> coupon for a whole free, like, dinner entree to celebrate my birthday. Oh, it's just an and entree. I said to my wife, well, if we're gonna go, now would be the time to go. 
because this place normally is very, very expensive. They are a seafood restaurant, and seafood restaurants, when it's fresh seafood out here, these restaurants are super pricey. You're going to get gout, though. Joke, I don't have that kind of money to throw around. Oh, he didn't have that kind of money. Free dinner, all right? So I said, let's do it. For no, they said a free so entree, not a whole free dinner. dinner. Right, you just said it's a free entree. Go. But we went, okay? <clears throat> so the first thing we got is we tried their chowders. They have different chowders. And we tried regular chowder, lobster chowder, and this Cajun chicken chowder, okay? So the regular chowder was absolutely amazing. Probably the best clam chowder I've ever had in my life. It had a lot of clams. Louder with chowder. And it, whatever it was, the seasoning, oh my God, it hit the spot. The lobster chowder is definitely a taste that you might, you're going to want. You, like Certain people like it, some won't. The lobster chowder was very sweet. It was like a super sweet chowder with pieces of lobster in it. My wife didn't like it. She's like, oh, it's too sweet for me. I like it more savory. And then the other one was the chicken Cajun. That one had spice to it. Personally, I didn't like it that much. My wife loved that one. So it was funny. I liked the lobster. She liked the chicken Cajun. And then we both kind of liked the standard. Okay? And then for dinner, we had fish and chips and a seafood pasta dish. That was a seasonal dish. And we basically kind of shared. So the fish and chips was amazing these giant fresh pieces of cod and we're not talking you know you go usually get fish and chips like a fish strip bro this is battered. like worthless is like i can't even skip anything oh wait 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 i i, I got a good pause these when he says ginormous this is the good like photoshop you know, material you usually get fish and chips like a fish strip that's bad you can make anything like out of this look at this whoa yes yes i'm screenshotting this get a load of this bro <laughs> Come on, everybody, get your screenshots in. Come on, this is fantastic. This is beautiful. This is cinema to me. Pausing on D weird DSP faces is my favorite thing. <laughs> We're hunting. Yes, everyone, yes. Ginormous. And you can edit anything you want in his, in his hands. It could be anything. Juicy as shit. You can edit cat's head, like a horse head in his hands. Oh my god, I can't believe it's the best fish and chips I've ever had in my life. And then just put like, okay, we're back. 1,000, 6,000, 8,000. We're good. We're good. F5. Hit that F5. Hit that Brock Lesnar. Hit that Beast Incarnate. We're back. Like garlic and other sauce. Good. With, with tons Good. Of we have recovered. That have been steamed. And also some kind of a shrimp. I don't even know what kind it was. It was this small kind of shrimp. Uh, and it had peppers. And it had like mozzarella cheese. And it had, um, oh, like uh, peas. Dude, it was good. It was really, really good. So because we got a free dinner, it ended up costing about the same as a normal dinner we would get out anywhere else. So just to give you some perspective here. You know, normally we go, we'll go out to dinner or order a dinner at a certain price. It's the same every week. Usually it's around the same price point. We went out and we got two full entrees and an appetizer at this place. And it came out to the same price as a normal dinner elsewhere. Because we had a free dinner. A whole free entree for my birthday. So it's a pretty pricey place. And like we even said, we said, well, we'd like to come back. But there's no way we're doing this normally. It's just too expensive. We have to wait. Maybe next year for my birthday again we'll go back and get another free dinner. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was our day. And then after that, you Fantastic. know, we, a bit. we actually, oh, I should tell you this too. So we yeah, tell me. someone play the PC version <laughs> of The Last of Us Part 1. No, <laughs> no, we're going to get another oh fucking rant. Fuck. You want to talk about Naughty Dog not giving two fuck shits about shit. the Fuck, shit. Fuck. I couldn't believe it. Shit, fuck. So, the game boosts. Shit. And immediately says, oh, for optimal, for optimal experience, load your shaders. <sighs> Right? So the person has it start to load the shaders, does like a 20 minute segment with their Nick audience, comes back and it says shaders loaded 28%. <laughs> they expected <laughs> that boyfriend chowder. Fucking hours it's, for uh, it's free for anybody game. whose birthday is today. What year is it? 2001? I need my what the fuck is this? So they ended up starting the game anyway. Dude, it's a piece of shit. It is fucking choppy as hell. The frame rate is terrible. Yeah, it's okay, constant. okay. We get it. It's bad. And it's a mess, and there's glitches and shit in it that are just like animation, weird animation. Big up, uh, Swaggy Davis games. Jr. And he's, yeah, you know, he's playing, he's freaking out. He's like swearing and shit. I'm like, but you know, this again. I just talked about this the other day. The PC gamers are getting the shaft. They really are. In the modern day, the PC gamers are taking a huge shaft on this. They're getting fucked over. They're taking the shaft. <laughs> it was like this big. Should be getting 
the same experience as console gamers. Why is it that when how big was the shaft Phil? Tell us. PS5, it was flawless. Can you show us how big the shaft was? Oh, it was this big? Wow, that's a big shaft. I need my boyfriend. Trying to play the game. It's a pretty massive shaft, dude. Trying to aim. Yeah. For like you know the head of an infected, and it's going like woo. It's oh my god, this game is fucking shit. So, but anyway, so we watched that. That was kind of relaxing to watch that and. uh how was it relaxing? You're watching somebody to hate on him. I, I mean, I guess I'm relaxing right now, watching somebody and hating on him, so I, I get it. Very busy day. The thing is, like, because I'm super honest with what I'm doing, because that's literally what I'm doing. But the dude is going to, he put so much layers of bullshit on watching somebody to hate on him. There's nothing bad with watching somebody and hating on him. Some people are just hateable. Even though it's my birthday next week, like, oh, maybe we go out and do something. My birthday next week. Staying home. It was too much of a stressful day. It's the thing. It's supposed to be our day out. And we're out over eight hours. We're tired as shit. Yeah, bro. It's, it's... Our bodies are sore. My, my wife's foot was throbbing. Because, again, she had throbbing her foot. Her from, from earlier in the week. Her foot was like this was big. Throbbing like, dude. <laughs> sucks. You know? And some people are like, why don't you take two days off a week? I can't. I can't afford it. If I could take two days off a week, I absolutely would. But, bro, hold on. I wouldn't be able to pay my bills, guys. Hold on. I thought, I thought that other people wanted to be him. And level one was amazing. And now it's like, I can't even take an extra day off. You know, I have to be here six days a week right now. Bro. Things improve. You know, here's the thing. Uh, ago, come on. I thought I wanted to be you. And I get two days off a week and you just get one? Come on. It was right around That's not this time fair. two years ago. I announced to you guys things were looking good. I was full-time streaming on Twitch. I'd been there for almost five years. I told you, with the viewer base we have, with the amount of subscribers we have right now, if things stay the way they are, I'm going to be good. But I'll be able to upgrade things in the business. I'll be able to pay all my bills. Everything will be good. And then what happens? Then I get kicked out of the Twitch partner program because of the fucking trolls. And that... And Bro, then, but why are we back talking about Twitch made, on, about I'm trolls? I'm making significantly less money now than I was <sighs> Twitch. I, I but, can tell you that now because now I've done my taxes for two years since the Twitch thing happened. And yeah, and, and also... Bro. Reason to crap Bro. On naughty dog. Dog. Heel up. Dog. <laughs> yes. Uh... Food delivery and yeah, I'm gonna forget what I was gonna say. Weird. Yeah, well, that's that's what he does, man. That's just his thing. But hold on, he now he knows how much money he got and how much money he spends. And like a week and a half ago, they asked him on the side scrollers, "Hey, Phil, what's up with like this and this and this?" I don't know. I don't do my own taxes. I'm making a lot less. And now it's I'm I'm making a lot less. Not as profitable as Twitch. You know the views are less. Sucks. Like, go back on Twitch, Phil. Fact, Why don't you go back on Twitch? It's growing. It's fucking growing. I'm getting more views. It's YouTube growing. It's this big. Revenue <laughs> Why? Because YouTube's not <laughs> This is how big his channel is. You know, here, you don't get the amount of My channel is like, like this big. You just don't get those memberships. On Twitch, <laughs> I was consistently getting 800 to 900 sub subs a month. Here, I can barely hold 300, right? You, people don't like the features of the memberships on YouTube. There's Why no not? Twitch Prime here on YouTube. That doesn't there's matter. So lost revenue there. Then I said, there's insane. You can literally offer and nothing, and if people YouTube like you enough, they're going to become a member. Bits. So people will jump on those sales, and then they'll cheer a lot. They, they don't do that on YouTube. So all that has been You don't have to. But if you want to, you can have custom perks. You you don't have custom perks on Twitch, do you? You know, here you can have custom I, I, perks. You can give them a fucking if you haven't noticed, anything. I've been full time on YouTube. Have I not improved the quality of the content I'm putting out visually? The levels of content I'm putting out. Okay. I listen to your feedback. Now I'm doing a full react channel. Like full I'm react. You guys have asked for. I'm trying my best to improve. It's not becoming more profitable. You know what I'm saying? Like this is the problem with YouTube. You're not giving me enough I'm money. And you know what I'm saying? I want. I want to take more time off. I want to spend more okay. time with my family. I can't. I can't take another day off. I can't afford to do it. I fucking want to. We're, you know, yesterday, it's at the end of the day, and we're sitting down, we're like, my God, it's like 9 p.m. We're finally getting to relax for the first time, and we're going to have like an hour and a half, and then we're going to be ready, tired, for go to sleep, you know? And it's like, yeah, it sucks. I want to have a day off with my wife. I can't do I just can't fucking do it, you know? Every time, it's like I said, every time I get ahead, and it seems like I'm building to something better. Something happens and it screws me over. And usually, I hate to say it, these days, it usually involves the fucking trolls. Usually. It's, it's always involved the trolls. Kind of when was it your fault that you got screwed over? When was the last time it happened? I wish that it wasn't the case, but that's just the case. That's just they the case. Well, what are you going to do about it? Sitting on my stream, doing my normal stuff, doing absolutely nothing 
that would get the ire of anyone on the internet, mind my own fucking business, and they do whatever they can to fuck me over, you know? So there's nothing I can do about it. I'm just, I'm stuck. Sorry I'm stuck, but that's just the truth. And sorry that I'm not going to sell out and become... <laughs> sorry I'm better. What like Keemstar want me to do? Oh, just monetize all your lol cow status. You're a fucking piece of shit, dude. No, I'm not going to become a toxic joke on the internet. I have meaningful you, content. You're not going to become because you already are. You can't become what you already exist, bro. For my viewers that I put out for years and years, I'm not going to change just to make a buck because I'm some kind of an immoral douchebag. You know? Yeah. Sorry. Okay. I'm not, I'm not changing. Now, now you should point towards the members' goal and tell them how meaningful it is and that they should become a member. That's what you should do instead of selling out. Please don't sell out. Just ask them what drama documentary they want to watch you react to next time. Ask them that. Don't sell out, Phil. The worst, just to make money. Yeah, money. Up. These people want me to ruin who I am and my He's gonna ruin who he is. To get over and make Literal money. delusional narcissist having mental breakdowns on a daily basis. Bro, you are ruined a long time ago. You're just in denial. That's your problem. Wow. I love my job. I love my viewers. I'm I love my life. Them and, and my own self over just for the sake of short-term gain. You know? I'm just not doing it. So, I'm gonna keep fighting the good fight. I'm gonna keep doing what I love. And I hope you Keep guys fighting the the holy you know? war against this is people say, Why did you take negativity. I literally can't, man. I, I literally can't. Right it would have been great if I could have had two days off, and I was a separate day where I could. It would be great if he could have six days off, and on the seventh day he would rest because that's what God tells him to do, and he's a he's a Catholic. Appointments and everything, you know. What are you gonna do? Can't nothing I can do about that, right? So, again, I hope you understand where I'm coming from, and. uh you know, so easy from someone from the outside who's an ignorant idiot to say dumb shit. I'll just quit YouTube and become, get a nine to five job. That's the most dumb. Just uh, why don't you just become a, a trillionaire and an alpha male for over a decade? And That's I'm very easy. Pay as much as my YouTube presence. Just like put up a, a cam for Cat and tell her to bust it wide open uh, on the camera, and you just get all the money. This is the dumbest thing I've ever Just pimp out cat. You gotta be like a complete idiot to suggest Like, that. Like you're Andrew Tate. Come on, and guess go for it. I suggested stuff like that just a couple weeks ago. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And uh, wait, 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 wait. We're back shitting on Craig? I'm fucking hurt. Yeah, I'm gonna get a nine to five job that's gonna, number one, hire me when I'm out of the job market for over a decade. Okay, that's your fault. Pay as much as my YouTube presence. Yeah, no, nothing's gonna do that. You're, you're not worth that much. That's why you still do YouTube, because they pay you more than you're actually worth. This is the dumbest thing I've ever fucking Nobody's heard. gonna think you're worth that much, dude. Nobody. There's not a job that exists that thinks that your worth is equal to a hundred plus thousand dollars a year. No job. You gotta be a complete idiot to suggest something like that. Have to be a complete idiot. suggested stuff like that just a couple weeks ago. Yeah, guess yeah, what? Exactly. Yeah, what, exactly. The actual people that tried to help you, you fucking smug fucking moron. So anyway, um... Yeah, that's why he should just be spit, in, spit on and stepped on for the rest of whatever existence he got. That's all he deserves. Every time you try and fucking help him, you end up like Craig or like Rambo. That's how you end up. You wronged him, and now you're a terrible person and an idiot, and he knows better as he's on the, the bottom of the barrel and just, like, pretending like he's actually on the top of something. It is what it is. Thank you all. And uh, that was my day off. Suck a dog yeah. off. Let's get to Suck our other a dog topic off. today. It is absolutely official, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely official. You ready? E3. E3 is done. I'm going to go E3 get some water. Dead. It is canceled. And then pretend listen I'm doing good. something else, like DSP on a break, so I don't have to listen to this. And the writing was on the wall for this. I've been talking about it for years. Years. Even before the pandemic, I was telling you guys about E3 and how I felt like it had absolutely no use anymore, that it was on the way out. And other ones like, ah, oh, Phil, you're over-exaggerating. You're just being overly negative for drama purposes. It's like, no, I'm telling you. By the you, way, I told you so on this. the fact that he's going to say, I told you so. Exactly. And so did everyone else. It serve a purpose. But so everyone else also it's said that he's going to rant about E3, and he did. When, er when First of all, it's video games, right? It's not like, oh, we're, we are showing off, showcasing a physical product 
that you need to have a hands-on experience with. It's fucking video games. It's a digital experience, right? It's already digital. You can watch someone present a video game over the internet and get almost exactly the same experience as a hands-on experience. The hands-on experience maybe gives you a little bit more of a feeling with tactile feeling of the controls or whatever, but for the most part, it's not needed. Someone could easily do an, a, an internet demo of a game and show you everything you need to know without having to have a physical experience required, okay? <clears throat> so, for those who don't know, E3, or the Electronic Entertainment Expo, is a staple of the gaming industry. I think, it, I wanna say it started in the 1990s, I could be wrong, and every year they'd have this ginormous event in California somewhere, where basically all the game publishers and creators would come together and showcase their new games. At first, it was supposed to be a press-only event, meaning people who were in the games industry. You know, back in the day, people who worked on games magazines or worked, they were actually members of the game development community or press, would go and cover it all, and then you'd have the big E3, uh, you know, uh, issues of each magazine. You know, uh, EGM and GamePro and Nintendo Power and every game magazine, you know, you know, PlayStation magazine, Xbox magazine, they would each have the E3 issue, and it would be one of the best issues you could buy all year because you would cover all the games that come out. It was super fun. It don't happen. It don't happen. It don't happen. It's hard to realize. We don't need this anymore because we're not sitting on the internet. It's like you're at E3. All, there's video of all the games, there's pictures of all the games and all of that. Now, it took a while, I would argue, it was probably about 10 years ago, when 100% you didn't need to be at E3 anymore, okay? But, allow me to explain, because I attended E3 in 2012. At one point, I was a very, I know this may be very, very, you know, some people would probably at some point deny this too, which is hilarious, because they deny my Street Fighter history too. At one point, I was actually a very prominent YouTuber. At one point, I had a ginormous viewer base. I had a ton of people who liked my content. I was actually very well known and positively regarded in the gaming community on YouTube. I was one of the top guys on YouTube. And I was a partner with Machinima. You are positively so regarded now, E3, Phil. E3, if you know what I mean. They were going to pay for me to go and cover the event as long as I promoted this other video game as well. It was part of the agreement. So I agreed and I went out there. And it was uh, 2012. Okay. And basically, here's what I saw at E3 a bunch of ginormous booths that were over, like, giant budgets. You could tell lighting and effects and fucking people dancing around. And I remember the Capcom booth was three, a three group. One was for uh, Lost Planet 3, so it was giant ice structures from the game, and you go in there and play the game. And then it was Resident Evil 6 at the time was the hot one coming out. So it was, like, this big, decrepit city, and you go in there, and it was all this lighting and smoke, and you play Resident Evil 6 demo in there, right? It was like almost like a theater experience. And there was another one. I can't even remember what the third Capcom game was that they were advertising at the time. I don't even think I, I paid attention to it. There's three of them that year. Um, or there was Metal Gear Rising Revengeance by Konami. And you had to go into this giant metal structure of like metal beams and scaffolding. You had to wait in line to play it. You waited in line for like 45 minutes and you went in there, you played it for two minutes. And you couldn't even figure out what you were doing because it was too, you couldn't figure out it was too fast of a demo and you were out of there. All right. But there were other things that were definitely more full fledged. For example, you could play a full like 20 minute demo. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm man, taking the executive good. action of skipping through this, the E3 segment. It, he has like actually nothing to add to this. I think we've been watching this on like 1.1 1. 1 or something. It, it really doesn't matter. He has nothing to say about this. He just wants to say something for the sake of saying something and being right. Three. Because this, like, the objective opinion is like, yeah, E3, it's kind of overstayed its welcome. It shouldn't be a thing anymore. Big companies, they have their own events. There's no need for E3. There we go. Yeah. Watching the digital presentations over the internet than I did actually at E3. There you go. Because you didn't do any networking, Phil. Nobody liked you even back then. They saw you were a greedy piece of shit. For hundreds and hundreds of dollars just a pop. Kinda. Imagine paying $300 for an E3 ticket to go in there and wait in lines to play a two-minute demo of a video game. Yeah, but they met people and they had like social meaningful experiences. They didn't go there just to play a fucking video game. That's what they were doing. And this fucking, this, the, the head shaking, man. Hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Of so pop. frustrating. Imagine paying $300 for an E3 ticket. Like his, his body language is so arrogant and smug. Wait in lines to play a two minute demo of a video. Like, look at this. That's what they were doing. And so what ended up so happening So fucking was, obnoxious, bro. Those last few years, like 2017, 18, 19. Do you want to join uh, Dwight Club? Is it going to be in, in like 2K? I'm all up for that if, if yeah. What, are you going to make us in 2K? Before the pandemic. That would be a lot of fun. I would download it. We can do like a, a war games. The dance versus the detractors. That would be hilarious. People who were attending E3 as legit journalists or content creators started to complain. Say, I can't even attend the event 
and cover it like I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to go there and cover the games. I can't because there's so many fucking people in this thing now because they're selling public tickets. It's wall-to-wall -wall people. It's like a bunch of fucking sardines crammed into a can together, and I can't get where I need to go. I can't cover anything. It's not comfortable, and the waits are too long. Man, he's picking so his ear like crazy, and then he really wiped it off, off again. At E3 at that point, and they're like, there's got to be a breaking point where something's going to change because this is not worth it. Now, what ended up happening was right before, again, right before the pandemic, those last couple of years, a couple of companies, including Sony, announced. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They they're leaving. They're having their own events because it's just easier, and they don't have to compete with other people at the same event. They can just have their own event. You know, it just makes sense. It's for games, but we didn't just spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to build a physical stage at E3 and advertise to in-person people. We just did it online. Consumer just. Okay, and now we're live, so nothing can save you now. 2020, 2021, when the pandemic hit and no one could do the in-person stuff anymore, <clears throat> right? So, oh my god, E3 didn't happen, and the game world didn't end, right? And so that's what's happened. If you remember last year, 2022, the pandemic was ending, and a lot of events were starting up in person. The pandemic. A lot of things were kind of apprehensive to do it, and E3 said, we're going to do a digital event. Well, guess what? Jeff Keighley had already been doing Summer Game Fest for a year, and it was very successful. And he said, I'm going to keep doing it. And his Summer Game Fest, you know, for two years in a row, Summer Game Fest was way more valuable than E3 ever was. He was getting all these exclusive presentations and things. Remember, he was the first person to show Elden Ring gameplay. Uh, he had all the big exclusives, and E3 last year looked like shit. They had nothing. E3 was, was a waste of time last year. It really was. Um, <laughs> bro is acting so like like you had to pay to watch E3 it, bro. They were bringing it back. Everybody shits on E3 there's, constantly there's every year, and they just the do it. All right. And now they're not doing it anymore. And then people are like, wait, no, stop, E3, do it, everyone. please. Two completely distinct changes in reality. I loved E3. The games journalists are like, yes, it's back. E3's back. We have meaning again. We have something we could do exclusive just to us. We actually will be listened to for once. People will care. E3 is back. Everyone spread the word. Hit the streets. E3 is back, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> this dude is a fucking joke, man. And they're freaking out. They're going crazy. Uh, they're running all over social media, praising E3 is goat. back. All the games journalists are. Okay? But literally everybody... Dude, he's also kind of weirdly games, fat. Content creators. Like, when he got up, he had this weird, like, belly. Like... It's bizarre. Why? His physique is strange. Why is that coming back? We, it hasn't been around for three years. 2020, 21, and 22, there was no real E3. Games continue to come out, and they are damn good games. So why do we need an E3? What purpose does it, you know, what does it, what does it do in the present day? It's like day? hype and marketing, I right? guess. So I just find it hilarious. Again, these games journalists really don't understand that they are dinosaurs, and they are on the way out, and no one really cares. Unlike I mean, Phil, the they should all just make a podcast. <laughs> Dancing on E3's grave. Yeah, like with everything. I mean, he does this with like everything. Literally everything. Now you could see like what's a prominent channel. I don't know. Let's say fucking, I don't know. I don't know. Some some prominent channel. It's going to go down and it's going to get exposed for, I don't know, grooming some fucking fangirls or something. And he's going to be, well, apparently I hate to say it, but this channel, he was like caught grooming minors. And uh, he was like really big channel. I, I hate to say it. I really hate to say it, but that's what happens. From not being extinct is ad revenue that these companies are paying to advertise their games on these sites. And that's why they're still in, in effect. If it wasn't for advertisement and paid shilling because that's exactly paid what shilling doing. yeah don't yeah you don't really have to here. buy what they're selling that's the whole Even point won't expressly say it these these fucking ign GameSpot, kotaku they're definitely pushing certain games because they're getting paid for it or they're of getting course they are spoken benefit by doing it it's absolutely ridiculous. of course they are they get access so and access is everything it absolutely ludicrous nonsense. Death Loop is a fucking ten out of ten. Oh my god, Suck he's my dick. he's still yeah, fucking not over this. Over fucking Death Loop. And on anyone's scale, you fucking shit. Anyone's assholes. scale. It's on my scale, but on my scale, uh, ten is a six. So there you go. That's my scale. I'm sorry. It's a personal scale. I haven't even played the game. Okay. But I'm just giving so, it a number. There you go. The Anybody is, can do that. These game journalists are desperate. Suck a dog. They need to be pertinent in a modern era when they're not. 
everyone knows you can judge for yourself or watch your favorite content creator tell you what they think about a game and that's what what if they're it, shilling though they just what if your favorite it? content creator is biased and they got a review copy early and they want to keep their rights to have review copies so they give you a positive rating that, that makes no sense your favorite content creator what if they're a fucking shill dumbass game journalist all right so no and, uh, of course dumbass game journalist know the e3 oh my god an exclusive event and nowadays you can't even separate the game journalist from your favorite content creator because a lot of the times they're kind of the same and we're gonna get all the information we're gonna give that we're, we're relevant again except the game publishers and the game developers don't care about that anymore they found out you can just advertise your games online for relatively free no giant stage presence, not insane budget, nothing. You could just fucking advertise it online with a digital presentation, and it has the same, if not a better impact than the in-person E3 experience. And I, it ain't going bad. Once once that Pandora's box was opened because of the pandemic. The pandemic box. I told you guys in 2012 I felt he that. He told way. you literally 13 years ago. Year 11 years, years ago. I told you the same thing. He told you. This needs to happen. This is a waste of everyone's time. You know, it, it just doesn't make sense. And people yeah. told you back in the day to adapt and you didn't. So I guess they told you so. But they're not here anymore because now they're trolls. Actually, not now. They used to be trolls and then they left. And people every year say, oh, Phil, you're this, you're that. I don't, you know, people just want to shit on me because they don't like me. And they call me a lol cow. They're just morons. <laughs> I, you know, I'm sorry. I've, I've, people I've just shit on me because they're morons. And people just don't want to fucking listen. Well, guess what? Now it's come to fucking fruition, right? Yeah, but it, it wasn't for a decade until now. So what <laughs> happened is all the Phil, people told you to pay your fucking taxes and then you didn't pay them. And, and then it happened. Does that make you an idiot? This year said, we're not going to physical. Uh, There's no point. Sony, Microsoft, Nintendo. It's like the worst Sega, thing, man. Tencent, Ubisoft, they were all... And it's like, that. look at how, how small of a thing it is. It's just like a tiny thing that, like, your regular run-of-the-mill consumer wouldn't give a shit about. He made, like, what? what is this? Like a 10, 15-minute segment of, like, I, I know I was right this whole time, and you guys are idiots for not trusting me? Come on, this is fucking silly. So, what are they gonna do? Just have indie games? Indie game showcase is a whole E3. It ain't gonna support anything, right? Indie games, ah, uh, so, yes. Um, yeah. Yes, everyone. I'm yes. not shocked that this has happened. So what happened is everyone pulled out, and it was official yesterday that ES everyone game. pulled out except Tyrone. That holds E3. He's still clapping. Well, we had every intention of doing E3, but it just seems that I love the horse. there's not enough in uh, industry interest, so we're canceling it. Good. The funny part is, I guess the ESA, what else do they do? They said they do, like, some kind of consultation or advising. What do they advise? How to suck at business and how to become <laughs> fucking completely extinct and irrelevant? Because I don't know what else they do. I never, Bro, never, never, this I dude, they fucking do. if this dude was successful, he would be, like, the, the biggest baller on the internet. Because he would be like a trillionaire and he would shit on everybody and everybody would suck. But they would then actually they would actually suck and they would be broke and he would be like condescending on him and like, yeah, you're a fucking loser. That's why you're doing your fucking nine to five job and I'm on a private jet. And instead, he's just like a bankrupt fucking moron with uh, gaming T-shirts that are way too small. Trying to tell everybody else who is more successful that they're a failure. It's 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 incredible, man. <laughs> right? You know? It, it essentially, but if he was like, actually successful, he would be a boss. Business, if he would be shitting on everybody. Uh, you know, what are they going to do for their, for their... I don't know. I think what it is is a bunch of investors and stuff invest in them, but... You know anything that they do that's pertinent to anything? Not that I don't know about nothing, right? So... Anyway, uh, yeah, E3's done. And it sounds like if, if, it, if it didn't happen this year, it's not going to suddenly flip and happen again next year. And in fact, now what's going to happen is <clears throat> Summer Game Fest for, by Jeff Keighley is probably going to be even better because now all the companies are going to want to be a part of that instead. Or they're going to have their own individual you know, presentations. This is, uh, this is it. This is the death Summer now. Game Fest should have more oh, live performances of music. Uh, it should become like the Eurovision know, for Americans. Imagine anyone caring about E3 moving forward or even asking for it, except games journalists, because now games journalists have nothing to do. They sit and watch the digital presentations like all of us, and no one cares about their opinions. So, 
their mo their moot point. Like I said, there's nothing for them to cover. He is so like, angry, bro. Not Just not like bad. it's so bizarre. You know, would you rather trust? So bizarre how somebody like this has so much anger on like a or some daily basis out of nowhere. With some fucking journalism. Because like you know, I'm shitting on him, but I'm here to do that. He's there to like pretend like he's having something positive and then just like anger starts spilling out and he can't contain it because he's too emotional and he's too impulsive and it just like it, it bursts out just like anger and spite and bitterness right and probably don't even finish but so fascinating it, which was a big reveal if you don't remember, it was revealed last year an outright games journalist who was known in the industry admitted on Twitter, we don't finish games, we just review them. We don't actually finish them. This is an industry standard that we do, we don't actually finish the games, we just publish, publish a review anyway. <clears throat> okay, take a sip. He doesn't even close his seltzer water, it just stays so, open. Um, Would be a shame if Jasper know. jumped on uh, it. Sorry then say, it was like, Jasper did done. that! J Jasper uh, just I did saw that. the writing on the wall a decade ago. <laughs> And uh, uh people and didn't say, listen. He's literally like you know, a conspiracy it's theorist, dude. The past, it's time to move on. It's time to stop clinging to things from the past that we don't need. So like you? here's what I have to say about this. One down, one to go. What does that mean? E3 is done. We admit it doesn't need to exist anymore. What do we gotta kill now? Game journalists. What's next? Game journalists. I'll tell you what's fucking next. Advanced game reviews oh we have okay. to abolish this practice in the industry abolish that journalists and content creators get games early play them early review them early this has to end this uh this is not gonna happen phil towards actually making gaming whole again no and fixing this gaming <laughs> make game gaming great again and bullshit okay <laughs> mgga that's gone thank god <laughs> now let's get rid of of the advanced game review. We need this right kind now. of a president. This is the so president good. we need. The president of hate. <laughs> no more the king of hate. The president of hate. Your president. From the people. For the people. By the people. Um, tip him. Getting time to make gaming great again. Everything. Every time this happens, the game leaks. Everything comes out early. Abolish game gaming. <laughs> You got people fighting over is the game good or bad early, and you get overly one with abolish your bad games. Bullshit. We can have a game come out on release day, and if you're not sure if you want to play it or not, don't buy it. Yeah, he is funded by the people, the first crowd-funded president. Play it all on release day. Probably not the first. You can watch them play it live because there's no embargo on release day, and you make the judgment for yourself. Enough of this bullshit where we have to have all this special priority of the special snowflakes being paid shills and over kissing games butts and shit enough e3's done this is the next step all right one down one to go if both of these are abolished things are going to be much much better for the gaming industry and, and the gaming community as a whole but we're, we're halfway there i feel all right okay it is time for shout outs oh with pausing who re-upped their membership for 14 months. Thousand can suck a dog off 1,000. Thousand for the ongoing support of the channel. <laughs> Coburn. <laughs> that didn't work super out. Chat. I didn't have any says, joke planned. I sound like he Danny would take early copies every time if he could. Yeah, he would. And then he would justify how him taking them is actually good because he is different. And he is actually honest. And the other people, they're not honest. The, and they shouldn't be getting them. But they're getting them. But he's honest. He just like when he got that Hori thing. He did like a sponsorship of a Hori play controller or something, Joy-Con. And then he's like, I got this for free, but it's I, it's honest. Reviews. This needs to end. However, watch my reviews of TV series and movies everyone's already seen. Well, he wants to abolish advanced reviews. So basically advanced copies where you can... You release your review on like the the moment the embargo drops. Tilda's 1996. That's what he wants to get rid of. Big ups, uh, Dag oh F Cyberson for the subscription <laughs> sin. A Matilda movie from 1996. I'd have to go back and watch it. I think I've seen it. I'm pretty sure I've seen it. Um, have you seen Matilda? I've seen that as a kid. It's a well, pretty traumatizing I movie. Comparison. Uh, but I'd the teacher to, is hot. To, I'd have to see. Wait, the teacher. Teacher from Matilda. Is it any good? The Matilda movie? Maybe I'll no, go. No, not this. Oh, this one. Anyway. 
Thank you, Coburn, for the super chat. Yeah. And we already know Paris Solo gifted a membership. Yeah. Membership went to Cracker Jacks. So congratulations. No, I, I actually mean this one. Yeah. On the, I love the horse. <clears throat> YouTube side, of, uh, YouTube side of things. On the uh, tips side of things, we have a few tips. The tip style things. We start off with a two dollar tip. From Harambe, who says, Happy Friday, get ready for chill and relaxing <laughs> show. Yes, well, nice level one podcast. Chill and relaxing Ask part. the King. Ask the King is this hype. So much hype. This much hype for Ask the King. I'm so excited. Very nice. Thank you, Harambe, for the first Thank tip you. of the stream. And rest in peace. And then we've got... He's donating from the afterlife. A dollar tip from Ca Casanova. He says, Twitter's not a nice place. Ever since Elon got in charge, it shows really bad videos on my feed, like shootings and beatings. It's not getting policed anymore. Would you ever jump ship to another platform if it falls apart? Uh, like I told you guys, the best way to, to, to follow me is to subscribe either to DSP Gaming or DSP Reacts or both. That's the major way to be in contact with me. You also know, you know, my daily live streams. The best way to follow me is to you follow me, you guys. Me. Twitter, I really do think it's becoming a legacy thing. I'm still going to keep posting up schedules and shit. But anything I post on my Twitter, I... If you want to follow me, please follow me on my platforms that you can follow me on. anything anymore. Um, keep in mind, starting tomorrow... All of us who have blue verified Twitter check marks from back in the day, we're losing them all. They're all gone. Yeah. Anyway, none of us are paying for the, the check. The none of us. Money. None of do us. You, do you have a club? Okay. And then apparently. None of us. Uh, starting the 15th. None of us are paid. You can't vote on a Twitter. They're like syndicated. <laughs> um, the the former, sure. the has beens of Twitter. They're going to bring it up with the manager. They want to talk to the manager. Up in a For You feed, <laughs> unless you pay for a subscription. Yeah, he and really he thinks he's, he's someone, dude. He thinks exist. he's it someone. Well, I'm not paying for it. If you keep following me on Twitter, you'll still this, you'll see the same shit. But uh, that's it. I'm done. I'm not doing it anymore. I, I'm not paying for that crap. You're going to have so like 50,000 people impersonate him. For my business. I would Day be, one. I've been looking. It's like longer posts. I don't really care about that priority to be noticed on Twitter. Well, I've noticed anytime that I have a viral tweet on Twitter, it does nothing for me or my business at all. Yeah, so why are you trying? At all to add to my business. Maybe if Mr. Musk had Mr. found a way Musk. To Twitter positive for someone who operates a business, I would care. He hasn't. So why am I going to pay for a service I'm not going to get anything out of? Bro, maybe your business sucks. Maybe with like all the marketing in the world couldn't help so, him. There you go. I don't care. Mr. Lip Licker, sir. Let it go. Let it go. Twitter's going to suck ass, yo. Uh, this is not going to be a song. Let's go. No. A $2 tip. Uh, I already answered this. Someone, someone's saying, if I become a member on DSP Reacts, what's going to happen to people who are suggesting too many videos? I already said this on the podcast. You're going to jump off a cliff starting, uh, in Minecraft. I'll make an announcement. We'll talk about it on the show. And it's the, it, the only reason I had open nominations up to this point is because I just didn't have enough or had just enough. Now we have enough members on that channel that we're having more than enough. So now we need to start limiting the amount that people can suggest. And we're going to start that starting tomorrow. FYI. So there you go. Okay. And I got a $5 tip. Desire. From Ugly Tuna Roll. Says, you know Costco makes no profit from their food. Their marketing idea is to get their members to keep coming back. That's nice of them. You know? That's something that possibly other companies should look into. Maybe not every single piece of your business needs to be fully monetized to be profitable. You know what I'm saying? That overall, maybe the overall success is what? important. Like for example, why do you monetize every piece of your business then? Phil, why do you do late night chill streams? Don't you understand that when you're playing games like Oblivion or like a Dragon Ishin or One Piece? odyssey or you know i can keep going and when you play these late night chill streams you're not bringing in a lot of viewers you're not bringing in a lot of profit what is it for because every not... once in a while somebody gives them like a hundred bucks and that kind of makes it up and he doesn't need that much money on the night stream because he gets it on the day stream most of the time he gets like 80 to 100 bucks on a day stream i think that i think that would be the average i don't really pay that much attention unless it's like really low and i get to laugh at him but I would say that's the average. Operate a profitable business. And I say, I do it because I'm a variety content creator. 
And since I can make profit on part of my business, I'm then able to do the other things that I want to do and my viewers want me to do that aren't profitable. So no, bro, no. You literally, you monetize literally everything you touch. There's this is some weird fucking cult. This is not how it works. You monetize literally everything. Roll on. Just because you don't, they don't give you enough money on the night stream doesn't mean that it's not monetized. It is, and you still beg for money on the night stream. The scorn segment happened on the night stream. He's been begging on the night stream as as like recent as this week on the night stream. I toughed through a game that I did not like, but because it was supported very well, I was able to continue to do chill streams. Right now I'm playing Resident Evil 4 Remake on hardcore. And because I'm playing it on hardcore, we're getting more views, more attention, more support. And because I'm toughing through that, it allows me to do the chill streams. You understand? So it's kind of what I mean, like as a way to give back, as a way for me to have relaxing time on streams, even though it's not necessarily about money making, right? Not every aspect of every business has to be money making. A lot of people don't get that. You don't get that. Every single fucking piece of everything they do. That's literally what you do, my guy. Or bad, they just don't care. Are you serious? All right. Are you serious? There's a few, quite a few things that I do out there that, uh, dude, for the good of the viewer because I appreciate the support they're giving me. No fucking way. And sincerely, to any of you out there who've been long-standing supporters of DSP Gaming or anything else I've done on the internet, thank you. Go fuck Every yourself. Allow me through your crowdfunding. And your constant engagement and support to do what I love for a living, and I really appreciate that. Go fuck yourself. Okay. Suck um, a dog off. Let us do some very, very, very quick Q&A, because the thing is we're about to do a whole Q&A. No, you're going to do a Q&A. Questions or things they'd like to say or last-minute contributions. We're going to end the podcast in a minute here. Oh, so, yeah, okay. So it's not Q&A. It's last-minute contributions. That's the segment. Uh, no it's it's stalling for tips so segment. You've been wrong all week, and I keep telling you, and you don't Fucking moron. Yeah, I can't play both at the same time. Easter's next weekend, not this Sunday. <laughs> Derek says, Mara Wilson, who played Danny DeVito's daughter Matilda, was in Miracle on 34th Street playing Susan Walker and Natalie Hillard and Mrs. Doubtfire. Oh, I cool. Those are all the modern ver like I never, I don't think I even saw the modern version of Miracle on 34th Street. You should see the um, Nightmare on uh, Burnell Bruno, Street. I am not a game journalist. I hate to tell you, in no way, shape, or form am I. He's not. Absolutely not. He's the young yeah of alcoholics. Prairie Jackson, no cat does not cut my hair. We went to uh, our, our hair. We're like the young, uh, no. Yesterday. The yawn, yeah. Yesterday. You know, like yawning. <laughs> Pobra finds it funny. What product do I use to keep my hair in place? Water. Grease. Water. Seriously, I just put water in my hair and it stays like this. Because I have Italian hair, and I hate to say it. My I have Italian greasy. hair. <laughs> it's greasy hair. It's just, yeah, it sounds stereotypical. It's just how it works. I've always had greasy hair my whole life, so I just put water in, and zoop, I'm done. <clears throat> I have Italian hair. <laughs> uh, I'm not watching WrestleMania. No, I don't even know what's going on at WrestleMania. He's watching WrestleMania. Spoil it to him immediately. No, I'm not doing boxing challenges with another YouTuber. I told you, I'm done with the drama shit. I'm not. I'm, he's you know, done with the drama shit. I will shit. say this because someone, undoubtedly, someone's going to ask a question. He's, he's going to talk about the drama shit now. People are dying. I mean this. Dying for me to keep talking about the drama. They want me to talk about the interview two weeks ago. They want me to talk about Keemstar. I'm not doing it. I refuse. As much as, listen, and to me, there's a lot more that I feel like I feel like I should be able to say, right? To, to speak about how unfair the situation was, to defend myself. But the thing is, the viewers, my viewers, have outright told me in the last couple of weeks, we just don't want to hear it. We'd rather just you do your normal content because every time you address the drama, it's bad for everyone. It's bad for you, but it's also bad for us. We have to put up with this giant- Bro, shut the fuck up. Pool. Shut the fuck up. Look at his hair, man. Look at this. I took this from Twitter. Look at this fucking haircut. Bro. Anyways, back to the drama. Drama, and we don't want it. We don't so want as it. As much as I'd like to say, because I, man, if it ain't six stars, I don't happening. want it. More things have been said about me, and I don't care. I'm ignoring it all. I'm doing my absolute positive best to be the bigger man here, and they can say everything they want outside of my streams. They can insult me. <laughs> yeah, this is the simple Jack haircut. <laughs> negative detractor means and make more shit up about Simple me. Phil. Now, they can do whatever they want. What happened? What What are they talking about them now? Of my content. Just keep it out of my content. And I will sit here and I will do my best to <clears throat> continue to put out meaningful content for you guys and stay out of the drama. Or I don't want that to, 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 to negatively affect any of you. So I'm doing my best to really just keep my mouth shut and just stay positive and be here chilling with you every day. 
You know what I mean? Um, no. I hear you. <laughs> I've, had, I've had enough of it too. I just want to relax with you. Then guys. stop talking about it. Know, last week was a great step in the right direction. My God. It was uh, I need that screenshot. Um, I hear you. I've had, I've had enough of it too. I just want to relax with you guys and have fun again. Which we've done last week. <laughs> this this face. This is the hot face. The rat face. No teeth. Rat face plus teeth combo. Awesome. And I should probably play the song over it so so it's like extra juicy. I think I closed the song. Where does the song go? Nope. Uh, never mind. Let's go back to business. It was a great step in the right direction. My God, it was a really good week last oh, week. Oh, wow, this last week. Oh, oh, this last week, dude. This last week was so good. My God, this last oh, week, yeah, I didn't talk about drama at all. In the food that we ate last week, on Sunday during my uh, big react event, I had Chinese food. I had the black pepper chicken and hot and sour soup. He's commenting he's had those before and he really likes them. Add the gamer, that's not even true. He says, when I watch DSP versus the internet, it seems like you're watching the same content from the same people every week. That couldn't be further from the truth. There's different people suggesting stuff every week. That's because he reacts to the same content in the same way always. And it's just like repetitive. He submitted a ton. I'm going to pick some of the best stuff. But this is all stuff he's never been a member before. Who, Derek? So, it's just, what it is, is I think people are trying to find the stuff that they think is going to work. Yeah, just just look at his haircut. It'll be an interesting week. Again, we're getting there. Every week... The show gets a little bit in more interesting or different, and it's fine. It's good. It fits into the variety of content I'm putting on that channel. You got a react show <clears throat> for clips every week. You've got reviews every week, right? And uh, you know, then you have a variety of other stuff thrown in there too. So it's working out. The show it's working out. You'll grab Ask the King today. That's going to be variety for the channel. It's going to be good. <clears throat> Bear, but Gorilla, it's, it's DSP reacts members who submit videos for that show. It has nothing to do with DSP. Oh yeah, Derek doesn't really like the hot spicy spots. Hot sour soup is much. He doesn't like spicy foods. Some spicy foods. Derek doesn't like spicy foods. I'm Breaking news. I'm not in love. Like I said, I probably prefer wonton soup. But the hot sour is not bad. <laughs> okay. All right. Last chance. Anyone would like to say anything? And then what we're gonna do is end the show. I'm gonna move over to. Oh yeah, we're gonna uh, go on the different react. channel. I'm gonna set up Ask the King. And we're doing that now, I guess. see. We are getting. Look at this. Yo, this, this is so now. stupid. This looks like it's from MySpace. Look at how bad this is. Look at that. It's like some MySpace ass oh, like, you like that. You like them apples? GIFs. I actually changed. It's terrible. Who did this? It's 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 actually like I'm, I'm disgusting. Really now, let me tell you guys, I'm catching up with the people who did this 15 years ago. I'm finally there. Make the text a little darker to match. Look at that. <laughs> We're gonna do a blue a blue ass the king. Wow, I've never done this before. And in fact, you know what? Oh, cause he, cause he changed the 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 thing, huh? Look at this. I can actually make it a lot better. Arrived. It took me 15 years, but I can make color. Is this better? We can keep watching just like this. But I can at least do it. That was pretty cool, huh? This is good. This how Phil sees. Um. All right. So this is this how Super Blind Man sees. I have to set up a couple other things, like um. I'm sorry, Super Blind Man. I'm gonna ask. Hold on. This is the intro. Can do this. No, it's missing. The intro is missing. All right, what about this? Okay, this still works. Yo, we can watch them okay, like this. This is good. This still works. And then or we're like mega, there. like deep this fried. Still works. But the throne is missing. Shit. Because you're not the it's king. The male motherfucker anymore. It's missing. It's missing. I, I Where is it? I was around a couple months ago. I was redoing like my setups, and I was moving stuff around different hard drives. So I moved it around, and I guess I lost the male motherfucker. Which I guess is fine because I don't really get these from mail anymore. <laughs> this is the light side fill. This is the opposite of dark side fill. Inverse fill. Negative so fill. The show. It's all right. Doesn't that make him positive right. fill? I don't know. It's weird. Maybe I'll have to. Uh... Can oh, make him blue. It? Wait, you heard mail, motherfucker? Hold on. You heard it right now. Did you just hear it again? You no. did? I didn't hear it. Hold on, let's try it again. Ready? You're hearing it? No. I want Right now, no. But you heard it before. Did you guys hear this? What? Okay, hold on. 
Uh, okay, I do have. Bro, fuck off. And it's just a black screen. So this is the throne scene. Dude. This is. That's why he's the goat! So this is in 2023. Okay, I see. Hold on. See, it's not playing it here. This is so weird. It's so weird that it's not playing it there. So I know we're gonna, <sighs> hold on. I'm gonna add that. I'm gonna try to do this on the fly here. So if I go here, and I go here, and I go, where the fuck is it? There it is. So I got that added. See that? Fourteen years of Ask the King. What an evolution! And it's the same layout the whole time. Since the fourth year he's been doing it, the same layout. <laughs> it's not. He never got modernized. Uh, it's boomer time. What are we still doing here? Let's go on the other channel. I'm gonna play the song. Fuck this. Okay. Listen to some some club mix style mix. That's right. This is the United States of Phil. I am the supreme being. I like the rules and what I say goes. Uh, this is not a place for you to stand on your soapbox and complain about censorship and freedom of speech. Because the bottom line is you don't have freedom of speech. This is my land. Stop it! Stop it! Offline for a, a bit here, probably 10 minutes. Oh, we got a break. Questions off of Twitter. I'm gonna print out all the stuff. He's gonna print out the questions, pop ups, all of that. We're gonna jump over, we're gonna get started on DSP Reacts. But I turned the stream off. You guys are gonna see it's gonna lead you over there. There should be a link on the screen. Head over to DSP Reacts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go fuck off. Go fuck off. DSP Reacts. Let's go there. Hey, this uh, Baxter has a new video. Claiming skill issues are developers' fault. Oh, I'm gonna watch this later. You can go watch this now since we're gonna have a break. So here's the link in chat, or you can add it to your later type of thing. Devour. Devour. DSP React. Let's let's open this one. Waiting for DSP Reacts. Whoa! This is a great thumbnail face. I'm actually gonna steal this one. I'm going to put it on some kind of a thumbnail later. Alright, well, uh, let's see what we got. Let's see if I can actually... Can I adjust this in real time? Nope. Is this a thumbnail? Okay. <sighs> That's weird. What are we going to do now? Because he's going to be gone for like 20 minutes probably. Do I have times for a wrestling segment? Or I don't. Or do I? Or don't I? I don't really know. Let's see what else we can do now. Hmm. Very sus. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, he did he send people over already? No, nope. I don't think he has. I don't actually think he has. Um, let's see. What was I doing before this? Did we watch a review of something? Oh wait, I, I need to change the stream chat. Okay, so we can replace the batch of dents with a brand new one, which are the same because he forwarded them 
over to this sister channel. It's the sister channel. The King of Reactions. Did it update? I think it did. No, it didn't. Bleh. Yep, now it did. Okay. We're good. Uh, I don't know. Do I have wrestling time? I don't know. I haven't set up any kind of gaming stuff, so I don't know if I'm going to be lazy enough or if I'll have time. Can I Photoshop a banana in his mouth? Maybe I can. I don't know. I can Photoshop way more than a banana in his mouth. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Uh, What can we do? The dude is still not live, huh? I don't think he started the stream yet. He didn't. Because he needs to go and print out the questions. And let's see the Twitter questions. I did see them earlier. And they probably don't have new ones. Uh, oh, yeah, there are actually a lot. Uh, why did you not bring up the 10-year plan on side-scrollers? Only six more years left. Because that's not active anymore. <laughs> then we have... If you're in charge, how would your dream souls like look like? So he's going to answer this one. Then the dude asking, how's that gout, Phil? He's not answering this one. And then we have this, this one. I love this format with the, with the speech bubble. <laughs> uh, this one is great. Then how is life, Phil? He's not answering this one. What has been your best pull in WWE Champions? I don't know why he wouldn't answer this one since he admitted to playing the game. Uh, I think he, he's going to be an honest guy and just like answer it. Why wouldn't he answer it? Why wouldn't he answer it? It's a very reasonable question. Uh, then what do we got? Why is it whenever you play Souls Likes, you complain like a child and compare them to previous games that you played, but yet you complained about those games that are being compared as well? That is a pretty good question. That is a reasonable question, I think. It's pretty fair. But it's a detractor because it's a negative question. Uh, will you ever do a podcast that doesn't include talking about trolls? That is a good question, actually. And the answer is no. Hey, we got Meth Bear. Cat should know Jenna is jailed in Los Angeles on felony charges. She's eligible for bond. Bring her to the snort fort and get a third income. <laughs> uh, the goat Meth Bear. That's why he's the goat! Uh, can you talk about the Street Fighter 2 scene back in the early days and how was it? Oh, that's... I hate this. I hate this. This is gonna be terrible. He's gonna actually answer this one because of course he will. He's never gonna pass up an opportunity to talk about things from back in the days that were better than things now. Because, you know... Oh, this, this one is just ruthless. How disappointed are your parents? Um, this much. Approximately. Maybe even more. But they, they definitely give him this face. They, this is definitely the face on Dave's face. Mr. Dave. Uh, then what do we got? Uh, Mr. DSP. Is it true you blew your life savings on a mobile game made for children? <laughs> yes. Mahomes. Uh, and I mean, that that's that's them. And why do you refuse to play Sewer Shark? What is Sewer Shark? And who has ever asked him to play it? And why is he not playing it? Sewer Shark. Is it a troll meme? Is it a detractor meme? Uh, sewer Shark. Is a first person rail shooter. Made on what? And is the first on a home console to use full motion video. I don't I don't know. I mean, I guess he's the he's the king of retro. He should be playing games like this. Is this stream even on? It's not even on yet. So we're yet to even see any sort of music or something. So kind of forwarding people loses meaning when the stream you forward them on is not even live. It doesn't mean a lot, but um he's a businessman and he's good at having a business. Also, you see the thumbnail and how it has a frame. And how he is actually in front of the frame. I guess this was intentional, but I don't know. This doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. I have to be honest to the best of my abilities. 
and I think these are these are the main questions. What's your favorite PS2 era Grand Theft Auto game? And would you ever come back and play them again? Um, I don't know, or maybe, or yes, or no. Stream going live now, almost ready to go, says Phil in the chat. Let's see if he's lying. Oh, he's not lying. Wow, we have music. This revolutionary. Let's look at some fan art. Dark Side Phil YouTube stream and a result. Dark Side Phil. This is not bad fan art, I guess. It, it is like competently put together. And this is just a shilling link. If you like my content and want to support me, you can pledge to my Patreon and have access to some awesome perks. New stream, dark side fill, load stream, save stream, end stream. Is this supposed to be like a menu? I guess. And this one, this this is like the greatest of all time fan art. This like, <laughs> this is like, it's it's this cool. It's, it's this cool. It's fantastic stream. It is just like he's surrounded by frogs. Did he, uh, I remember like he said Frogga once and then he realized, wait, this is kind of racist. I'm not going to say it. Did he say Frogga? Uh, king Frogga. Oh yeah, there was like a King Frogga. <laughs> king Frogga. <laughs> king Frogga. I subscribe to the channel. Thank you, King Frogga for the sub. Thanks, King Frog. Uh... I haven't he heard this song before. But you you can't even hear the vocals. They're like like so like <laughs> low in the mix. Uh, anyway, so this one is pretty cool. AI Phil welcomes you to DSP Gaming. And this is not really, like, I don't know how AI this is when you just give the AI a photo and tell it, fuck my shit up, fam. And then it gives you this. I don't know. I, I guess it is. It is AI Phil. 14 years and still going strong. Established 2008 DSP Gaming. <laughs> uh, and then we have Fight Club. Friday Night Fights. Uh, he's not doing it anymore, but we're advertising it, I guess. Okay, DSP Gaming. This one is pretty cool. This is like an actual cool type of fan art. Because it's, you know, it's custom and it actually looks interesting. DSP's Closet. We have all the hats, all the shorts, the neck phones, the vests. And here is just like Review Tech USA fan art for some reason. I don't know why. But this is this looks more like Rich than it does Phil. Yeah, I don't know why he's bald. And then this is like what what is this? This is just a, a shilling screen for Xbox. Dark Side Phil proudly presents Xbox Series X, powered by Game Pass Ultimate. He's literally just like shilling a product he's not even paid to do. We're shilling it for free. Uh, late night chill with Dark Side Phil. Let the games begin. DSP Gaming 2021. Pretty relevant. Rules. Okay, let's use the rules here. Let's let's see what the rules are. So we make sure not to break them. That's that's very important. Do not post links because you can't. Like, they don't allow you to post links in chat. You physically can't. Do not abuse caps lock. Do not text slash emote spam. Be respectful. No advertising or self-promotion. No discussion of haters or their content. Okay. Sounds fair enough. I'm not going to break the, the laws because there are consequences. Dark Side Phil presents Chill Gaming with Mr. Jasper, the cat. We got a all caps the because it makes sense. Except it doesn't. I guess now would be a cool time for me to actually set up my gaming stuff. And sniff your fingers after. What the fuck? That's what? ridiculous. Consequence have action spam. Uh, profile. Name Dark Side Phil. Ah, I couldn't read this one. Fuck it. 
Dark Side Phil. This is the most sensational video game streamer in 2021. If you say so. I mean, if it says it on a fan art, it must be true. Dark Side Phil. Retro gaming playthroughs. And then we have, I love these. The ones where it has the HTTP link, they're the best. You know that that's high quality. Just like, follow on Instagram for random antics. He doesn't post on Instagram. I don't know when was the last time he posted on Instagram. Then DSP wins. Perfect. Well, they're not lying. He is perfect. And this one, like, this one is not bad. I mean, it's somebody who actually can draw to some extent. So I recognize this one. This one is bad. This is a bad one. Friday Night Fights with Dark Side Phil exclusively on YouTube. <sighs> Updated daily raw gameplay. Huge archive. No BS. I'm sure he could replace the, the slideshow with something more interesting. That would actually make people talk in chat or something. He could play... I don't know. He could play one of his old videos. And be like, hey you guys, while I'm getting ready, you can watch this classic playthrough from Persona 3. And then he can just play it, except, uh, you know, so you don't look at these just shilling plug links. Uh, yeah, I don't think he can put the chat on the screen, because that means that people are going to troll him and, you know, you know how he is with stuff like that. He's not going to do that stuff. He's not going to do it, because he's Phil. Phil has to do things differently because he is different. And then he's like, dude, but I'm the same. Oh, this is my favorite one. A word from the king. And then we have everything is rainbows. From the bottom of my heart, thank you all for being a part of this community. No, this is a safe space for all. And you are welcome and loved for the perfect and unique people each of you are. Is Derek perfect? He, he damn is unique. But I, I agree with you, Phil. He is unique. Eh, I don't know about perfect. My streams have and always will be a place for fun, adventure, and friendship. You are what makes this community great. That's a quote from Dark Side Phil. So you don't think it's from like Obama or something. How? Uh, you broke my nether portal. How? DSP on the floor. Shoot him in the face. <laughs> I wish I wish we had a, a, a clip of DSP actually saying this instead of it just being like a wall of text. He broke my nether or no, he could just record himself like promoting his stuff and giving you the schedule. So and then he could play it as an intro or he could play the daily rap from the previous day. That's actually a very good idea. He could play the, the previous daily rap so you can actually be up to speed on what's about to happen. And what happened yesterday in case you missed it you know that that's a good point i know i'm giving myself credit right now but i, I do think that's a pretty good uh, good piece of advice instead of just playing music that's like 10 years old and slideshow that is at least two years old how how i thought i was much worse off than i am i'm okay i'm serious i'm not going back to the nether again unless i have how resident phil this is not bad. This is also like a pretty good sketch. Resident Phil. And this one is suspiciously similar to what Ludwig made. It's just kind of been repaired. Because in the original one, the original one is, is great. It's actually like fantastic. 15 years of DSP. This is terrifying. And I'm pretty sure this is a troll. This cannot be a, a real, like an actual real fan that sent him this. He's getting trolled. No, no real fan would put such unflattering photos. First one, he looks like he's actually pissed off. Second one is just like a random, just a screenshot from a video. Third one, he looks like he's constipated. And fourth one, he looks like he's just about to commit some horrific crimes. And he just doesn't care anymore. And then we get a, a replay. We get a rerun. 14 years and still going. Let's see what's happening live. He's still not back. He's printing out questions now. He couldn't do it when he was setting up his stream yesterday. Because you know he was flexing during the day off segment? Yeah, I came here in the office. I prepared everything. And he didn't prepare anything. He was just watching the videos Derek submitted. So he can know which ones to skip because they're trash. And YouTube demonetized. 
what you do is you have to apply to what have someone review it and then within you know usually a week they what review we... it and then they monetize it again. is he here so it's just it's junk their their algorithms don't work at all is this a part of a song oh no he's actually here Typically this doesn't happen with gameplay but it seems to happen crying about monetization again these days. Bruh, give right. me a break so it's bullshit absolutely a q a show with my viewing audience should be monetized and valid but they demonetized it already wait what okay? so for example anyone watching this i don't get any credit <laughs> this is already demonetized why premium i also get credit all right those are great ways to support the channel what is happening right? so i'm just urging you if you like this content and you want Buy to premium if you like dsp reacts please consider becoming a member or maybe watching with youtube premium because outside of that <laughs> uh there's not much else i can do youtube you know works how it wants to it's automated it's junk <laughs> this and, dude uh, sucks ass bro hopefully this dude sucks to right like now. literally the vast majority he of sucks in like new and innovative ways he's like an innovator in in how much you can suck um it's just youtube's issues okay he's a pioneer at suckage anyway, we're gonna start it's gonna be a three hour q a show roughly a little under that oh, only three hours the parts. come on we oh, should have a six hour q a if you contribute during the show i'll give you a shout out there will be animations for that um and i will answer your questions live if you contribute um thank you for that this is my first stream as if this were a normal streaming day so if you could support the stream, I would really appreciate it. Again, crowdfunding the streams is a great way <clears throat> to help out the channel and support it. Because really, it's things like super chats, super stickers, memberships, tips. That's what I'm making my revenue on in this channel, not ads. Ads is like a tiny, minuscule part of any kind of revenue because of YouTube demonetizing everything. Okay? All right. Guys, we're going to get started. Thanks for being patient. I just got to grab my cowboy hat. Hold on. All right, everything is set up on my end as well. So we got we got Phil and we got gaming, because you probably won't care about much like what Phil does, because there's no actual gameplay on his stream. Yes, Derek. I'll so see I made my gameplay a little bit better, uh, bigger. All right, everyone, ready to get started? I hope so, and I hope we get more viewers. Like I said, we had almost 400 viewers on DSP Gaming. I come over here somehow. We lost 200. Figure that one out. Uh, yeah. All you, right, ready, you took way too long, man. They're not gonna stay there all day. You're taking too long to start your fucking stream. <sighs> All right, and he's gone. Oh no, he went to uh, grab his hat, right? Mail, motherfucker. Mail, motherfucker. Hello, what's going on, everyone? There we go, everyone. Still here. Welcome to Ask the King. Welcome to the first ever episode of Ask the King to air here on DSP React. Okay? Since I rebranded this channel about a month and a half, two months ago, uh, I put a lot of variety of content on it. Right? <clears throat> and uh, thank you to those who have supported this channel, uh, you know, in the last month, month and a half. I really appreciate that. Ask the King is my bi-monthly Q&A show. It's been all over the place. It used to be on an old vlogging channel. It was on another vlogging channel. It was on DSP Gaming. Now it's here on DSP Reacts, okay? So thank you to those who stood by this show. It's my legacy show that I've now been running for like 14 years or something crazy like that. This is episode 95 of Ask the King for March 31st, 2023. I'm going to split this into three parts. That'll all be on demand after the fact. However, I should make an announcement. This is the first episode of Ask the King on DSP Reacts, and we're doing something new starting today. If you become a member of this channel, all right, a paid membership, you will have access to all of the archive streams immediately the moment that that stream goes offline. It becomes members only. So members can watch things in their entirety. Everyone else, what I'm going to do is split up the parts to be like... Truly part revolutionary today. ideas. Today, ask the King is a Truly revolutionary. One part today, one part tomorrow, one part the next day. And so there's a benefit there. Get access to the content right away if you're a member. Or I'll spread it out for slower uploads not to flood the channel if you are not a member. Okay? So there you go. Something new to do. I hope this sounds good. And uh, thank you for being here for Ask the King episode 95. Um, for those who don't know how the show works, maybe you don't, maybe you're a newcomer to the channel in the last couple of months and you're curious, how does Ask the King work? Well, allow me to explain. This is a Q&A show 
where people post up questions all over the place. All right, first of all, I have a website, dspgaming.com. People post up in a forum there. I obviously own various YouTube channels. DSP Gaming is my gaming channel. This React channel is for this kind of vlogging style stuff, reacting to content, etc. If you're a member of either channel, you get massive priority to get your questions answered on this show. In fact, no exaggeration, two and a half pages of questions are for members. That's most of them. Seriously, there's almost no other questions. So it's pretty much almost a members only show at this point, but it works well that way. <clears throat> I love giving my members the priority because they're supporting me, okay? So that's another way. Become a member, get your questions answered on the show. If you're a patron of mine at patreon.com forward slash dark side fill at the $20 or greater level, you also are guaranteed to get a question answered on the show. And therefore, we're going to have that as well. There's a patron who's going to get their question answered. So many ways. Now, there's also Twitter. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Twitter's on the way out. It really is, okay? Twitter's falling apart. Because <laughs> they're going to take he's away his uh, check mark. And now he, so now he's it sucks. He's instituting tons of changes. He's taking away people's verified check marks if they don't pay. He's making it so that your Twitter doesn't show up at all unless you're a paid verification. I'm serious. You won't show up at anyone's feeds. He even made it. You can't even use Twitter polls if you're not verified. That is pretty stupid, though. So at this point... You can't use Twitter polls. I don't think there's a point to even... like. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put stuff on Twitter... Moving forward, I'm going to echo my schedule and stuff, but I'm not going to be actively caring. Like today, I posted up on Twitter, hey, post up questions. I got like 12 troll troll idiots and like two legit questions. <laughs> 12 troll like idiots and two questions. Right? <laughs> well, what we'll do is we're going to phase it out. Twitter probably won't be a part of the show anymore. Uh, rest in peace, like, Twitter. You were good when he was getting okay, viral. It is what it is. Times change. Twitter fell apart. Sorry about Yo, that. Oh, we got it Pastor Miller in 2K. <laughs> No way, like, well, dude. And he got the... Oh, look at this. He got the balaclava, dude. He's lit. Okay. Let's I'm getting him. Let's get started. We have a lot of questions to get to. Now, I'm getting guy with like two names as well. I saw him. Like the vlogging I saw content, he's there. If you like Q&A, if you like reacts, if you like reviews, please support this channel in any way you can. He is right? lit, dude. I'm so hyped. All right? Becoming a member... Or gifting Which guy with two names community. should I get? Though? Absolutely great way to support. I'm looking to maybe get three new members by the end of today. We actually already got one. Shout out to B-Boy Cyclone, who became a member this morning. I really appreciate that, B-Boy. That gets up to 88. It would be great. We can maybe hit get this 90 one. members. That would be the most we've ever had. We get 90 members. That's a record. How so many 90 members? Wow, we're okay. taking off, dude. Outside of that... Um, this yeah, channel to the moon. Tips, all greatly appreciated. This is my first actual stream of the day. No gameplay on my main stream today. It would be great if you guys could support it and thank you in advance to anyone who does. Hey, if you're live here, even liking the stream helps. We try to get 100 likes on every stream. That would be amazing. <clears> that would be great. Do a little celebratory bubble blow on the <laughs> camera for a while. All right? <laughs> Very silly. All right, Very guys, silly. So ha, ha, ha. Let us now begin. Oh, yo, Derek is in the game. The king. How does that sound? You ready to start? Look at him. I'm ready to start. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. So, <clears throat> we start off today with patron questions from Slayer. Slayer is an ongoing him. patron of mine. I really appreciate Oh, Slayer. That. Let's see yeah, what so Slayer has to ask. All right. So, they're completely unrelated, by the way. Um, what? Let's see here. Okay. Says, the first question is, after watching the top 100 most viewed K-pop songs last month on Patreon and seeing the songs that are in the most viewed list, what do you think of songs in the list? Do you think they deserve to be highly watched or some of them are too overrated and heavily watched by their fan base and the mainstream viewers? Oh my god, he doesn't so give a fuck, dude. He's watch these countdowns of like the top 100 songs in a whole year. We do not okay? care. And what I'm Nobody to do, does. I watch these countdowns and I'm trying to compare it to like pop music of the 1990s when I used to watch like MTV and they used to have like Total Request Live and stuff like that, right? What I'm noticing is these trends in the K-pop, they're kind of similar to trends you used to see back in the day in America, where you'll have certain songs that just seem to be more more popular in line and, and there's others that are kind of fringe songs, but somehow they make it to the top. Like for example, most almost all of them are a whole group, not a single person. It's usually a group of people, like five or more, right? Mostly it's all one gender, either all men or all women. It's not like, oh, mixed. Mixed is very rare in K-pop. Like, it's almost never men and women together in a group. Um, and it always seems to be big choreographed videos, right? Elaborate sets, dancing, and stuff like that. There's some, some exceptions. There's a couple solo artists that are just doing more like, like almost like chill R&B stuff that, you know, used to also be popular in the U.S., but it seems like it's way less popular in, in K-pop. And also... Um, like some hip hop style stuff, like actually like almost like rapping and stuff, and that's rare to see. But there's maybe one or two artists that stand out. Now the weird thing to me is when I was watching these countdowns, 
I'd be like, why is this group in the top 10 three times? And then I watch the people who are like in the top, b bottom 50. And you're like, people in the bottom 50 are like the same. There's not like the quality is better, the singing is better, nothing. It's almost identical. Why is this group in the top 10 and this other group in the bottom? And the way Slayer explained that to me, because he actually answered the it's question. such a was, worthless answer, you know, dude. It's popularity. And it's going to bore you know, everybody like, away. You know, in American music, and I'm sure worldwide, certain groups are the hype group at a time and therefore get all the priority and get all the attention. <laughs> While other groups kind of get swept under the rug. It's kind of not fair. Just because you're, you know, why are you Mr. Pride? BTS, right? For the biggest time, they were like the giant group that everyone talked about. And I know for a fact, BTS, I think we watched the countdown. They were still in the top 10 for one of their songs. Like, but why? Everyone else seems to be innovating, doing stuff better just because they're at the top. That's it, right? You stay at the top. You know, it's kind of like YouTube, I hate to say. On YouTube, once you're in that. Oh my that God, this is really stupid. Subs and views. You kind of once you're popular, you're always popular. Way up there in popularity, and then all of a sudden just disappear. You just, just does not make any forever, sense, Phil. Because once you have this certain viewer base, it just kind of keeps itself. You're popular for the sake of being popular. No, now, those people at the top, they gotta struggle for relevancy all the time, man. The dudes like so literally have to put out videos every day to keep stuff. themselves relevant. Uh, you don't know how any of this works because you don't watch any of them. And you've when, never been when there. Opposed to watching videos, music, or movies that are not American made and from other countries. No. Do you think you'll enjoy and probably continue to choose movies or shows that are not American made? For example, no, they have subtitles. Korean dramas uh, are very good writing and have good plot lines, but they can end up being a bit long. Uh, no, they have Asian Wondering people in them, and Phil doesn't like possibility them. Possibility for DSP React reviews in the future. It would be good if you give it a try. Thanks, and I hope to hear your thoughts on it. I am not opposed to watching non-English content. And I think it's what it is, really English spoken versus like countries where they don't speak English as the native language, probably dubbing or whatever, either or, or uh, subtitles, right? I'm okay with that. <clears throat> um, I, I saw that movie Parasite a few years ago, a couple of years ago, I loved it. I thought the movie was super good. And it was a social commentary, it was fascinating, it was good acting, like it was a really good movie. Um, so I would like to be exposed maybe to more of that kind of stuff. The problem is, you don't really get that stuff prominently. Like, I have HBO Max right now. And when I open HBO Max, it's all English-spoken content. Does HBO Max have non-English-spoken content? Maybe. But I don't see it. I remember when I used to have Netflix, it was kind of the same thing. <clears throat> where I know that there was tons of non-English content on there. But it was very hard to find. Like, it would always... I guess what it is, is whatever region you're in, it would push that content to the front. So if it's English spoken content, you're always going to see that content before you see the other content. Do you see? Um, so unless these sites change the way that they operate, I don't. I think it's harder. It would be. It would have to be based more on recommendation, uh, no. like viewer recommendation. Like no. viewers say, hey, you can you can go on the foreign category and you can actually spoken. see the foreign movies. You know, Stop right bullshitting, you Phil. You just you just full of really shit, my show. guy. If you recommend it, maybe I would check it out. But it's hard for me to know what's what's worth watching you you're know just being I mean, stupid you're, right now your feedback but i'm not i'm not close-minded i've watched many you know anime i always prefer watching anime with subtitles as opposed to english spoken because i think it's better you get the original voice acting or whatever you get the more authentic uh feeling same thing you know we play yakuza games or like a dragon games they're called now same thing i'd, I'd much rather hear the the japanese with subtitles you see <clears throat> so there you go okay um, so as we're going to head to the member questions now. People who are members here on DSP Reacts and also over on DSP Gaming and their questions. But so we had only do, one Patreon uh, question from, from uh, saying, the Patreon no, GOAT. Go. Let's go team. Yes. For Ask the King, I always wear the cowboy hat. Um, that's always been in effect ever since I started the show back in the day. Way before we ever had a hat goal. However, what we do is, if I hit... $100 in tips on this stream, which normally would be considered the hat goal, I'll put on a vest instead. All right? So we hit 100 bucks. You guys will vote on a vest for me to wear for the Ask the King show. Thanks to anyone who has already supported, and if anyone's considering it, thank you as well. <clears throat> okay. So now we head into member questions. You ready? Our first member question is from Brad Buxer 268 and he says the following. Here we go. I'm a well-known fighting game player with many notable top eight placings. I'm Ooh. indifferent to a lot of the criticisms and misconceptions around you. But honestly, it frustrates me when I see folks downplay your fourth place finish at EVO. <laughs> this is bait. Super Turbo this is obvious blatant changing, bait. But all competitors had that knowledge well in advance. Using that no. That you had no. No. A leg up is completely ignorant to the fact. No. How do you feel when people try to tear down the achievement? 
to. Maybe back in the day. Now we're gonna get like a 20 minute today. segment. Dude, you, you fucking said, suck. It's become more harsh as your reputation has declined. Any other context you want to provide fuck to off. understand how significant the bracket was? Thanks, Phil. Good shit. And hope that you, you take a liking to Street Fighter VI. Um, I guess we got to go through the story. Okay. And of course, we got to go with Broke. He, he took the bait immediately. Professional fighting We've heard this story a million game. times. This you is know, fucking sick. Before it came out, there was no way to make a living playing fighting games I at can't all. believe this Not happening. The pools, By the way, look, I'm I'm doing a tag like, team. It's Lol Cows versus like the Tractors. People, people, you'd win the tournament and win like $600. Well, that's not enough to make a living, right? So that's how it was back then. Why? Why no is his answer always it was all grassroots. so long? It was because this is the gimmick of this podcast, is that the answers are long on purpose. Made outside of that. This is so literally the selling point. Yeah, right? It was a very different time back then, for sure. Now, there was a point where <sighs> I was sucks, trying man. to be Big up Swaggy uh, Davis very competitive. And Steven. And I was trying to play Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Good as God. My Does game. he get cat to write these the questions? In the early 2000s, it was the first half no, of the this was. I'm, I'm sure this was bait. There was no way this was not bait. Sadly, it was just phrased in the exact way that would get him to get baited and start explaining it. My local tournaments in Connecticut and like yes, but as soon as I stepped outside of that comfort zone, I went to like New York, New Jersey. Pick up Steven. Maybe I would make like top five, top ten, and that would be it. I would never really get any higher than that. I am officially drinking beer from now on. But a game that I started playing was Super Street Fighter Two Turbo. Now this is the original Street Fighter game, Street Fighter Two was the first fighting game that became popular. And this was the final version of it that everyone considered the best, the most balanced, the most fun to play. But it was old. Even by the standards in the 2000s, it was an old game. It was from the early 2000s, or the early 90s. So a game that's almost a decade old, people didn't really care about it that much. People cared more about the Alpha series, Street Fighter 3, and the Versus series. So it was kind of like the game you played as a fun, casual game, but no one really took it that seriously. So it was easy to jump in and try to learn but it was hard to learn at a competitive level because there wasn't a lot of competition, quite frankly. Well, what ended up happening was over time that kind of changed. Um, and as things got a little bit more played out in the fighting game community because Capcom wasn't putting out new fighting games anymore. So essentially what happened was instead of having new fighting games to Watch, play... Watch, this is the pastor before. making a big the entrance. Four were as follows. <laughs> Street Fighter 3 Third Strike, Capcom versus SNK2, Marvel versus Capcom 2, and Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. If you were going to attend a Street Fighter tournament, those would be considered the big four games they would have that would bring butts to seats. Now, admittedly, Super Turbo was the one that had the, le the least. It was the oldest game. It was the yeah, EDP game. is also in the game. I'm going to make EDP versus also. Wings. Okay. That's going to be the next matchup. So It's going to be like a ladder match. It was in the early <laughs> 2000s. Now, at one point, you know, I, you know things wasn't, weren't going so good for me, I'll be honest. Um, Money-wise, job-wise, and... I was really trying to, to get find some kind of meaning in my life, and the Street Fighter thing really wasn't working out. I was, you know, I was traveling, I was trying to get better, and you know, I didn't have a good reputation in the Street Fighter community because I was an online shit talker. Everyone knew it. Anyone who knew me in person thought I was a nice, friendly guy and loved to hang out with me. Oh uh, yes, they but loved online, him in real life. Talker. And we've talked about this. They before. loved him. You know, I actively regret. They were like, Phil, I love hanging thing. out with you. Like pro wrestling, where you, you, whoever talks the biggest has the most feuds, is the person that gets the most notoriety in the community. It was stupid as shit. Look at Derek. Back then. Okay, very, very immature. <laughs> He's going to um, get clapped so hard. So, His I overall is like 30. I was going to go to... Legit. <laughs> and I didn't have any money. So the only way I could even go was to like take out these loans against my credit cards, cash advances and shit. I didn't even have the money to do it. I just racked up all my credit cards to afford to go on this trip. And my focus was supposed to be Marvel vs. Capcom 2. But it just so happened that in other tournaments that I had been playing in the last year, I've been playing a lot of Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. I was learning the game. I was trying to get better at it. I was trying to play with various different characters like DJ or Vega or Balrog. Like this was saying, I was trying to learn a variety of characters, not just one. All right? And the thing is, back then, that wasn't common. A lot of people who played older games like that, they were one character focused. And so they had that one character who they would try to adapt to every situation. For me, I was trying to learn a variety so that I could apply it to any situation. I could adapt on the fly and switch characters if I needed to. 
Bro, we've heard Tony this story bad. like a thousand times. I, I can recite this story in my sleep. Practiced to some extent. Everybody else, they didn't want to play the game, and he was straining. He prepared for the game, and then he beat them, and they still discredited him. And I wanted to play it, and I even had practiced a little bit on the version because they had announced the version for Evo, which was going to be the PlayStation One version. It was not going to be the uh, arcade version, and that was a big, a big reason for everyone to argue. I was one of them. Uh, I was against the conversion of fighting games from arcade perfect versions. Yeah, he was against conversion console. therapy, you guys. He was based. Every game were inferior. Even the ones that were considered great conversions, like Marvel vs. Capcom 2 on Dreamcast, had differences from the arcade version. <clears throat> and a lot of people were very resistant to going from arcade to console at that time. Now, today, everyone plays everything on console. There's not even arcade versions of these games for the most part. But back then, it was a different story. Okay? So, during that year... It was 2005. Or was it 2004? I don't even remember anymore. I'm serious. I don't even remember anymore. I think it was 2005. Okay? <clears throat> Basically, uh, what happened was they decided they were going to do the PS1, PlayStation 1 version of Super Turbo. And a lot of people were, were putting up a stink. They're like, no, this version is not that good. It has a lot of issues. The, the character hitboxes are different. The damage scaling is different. It's just different. It doesn't play like the arcade version. It's inferior, and we shouldn't have it. Well, Evo stuck to their guns and said, no, we're using this no matter what, so it's this or nothing. So you're like, all right. So a lot of people said they weren't going to enter the tournament, and which was bullshit because most of them did. I think the only notable player who didn't enter Super Turbo that year was Alex Valle. Everyone else still entered. All the top players of Super Turbo still entered the tournament anyway, regardless of the fact that they knew the version wasn't arcade perfect and they didn't like it. They still entered it, okay? <clears throat> now, I practiced, okay? I did. I practiced at home on the PS1 version. When I went to the tournament, I played casual play for two days before the tournament even started. I was there early, and I was playing against people on this PS1 version, trying to learn the differences. I learned that characters like Chun-Li and Vega were much better in this version than the arcade edition, like way better than they should have been. And other characters were far inferior, like I think Balrog was actually way inferior in the PS1 version. <clears throat> so... I learned the differences, all right? I played in that tournament, and that tournament was stacked. And I wasn't in some bracket where I didn't face good players. In one bracket that I was playing, I played, and this is going to be notable player names. You probably won't recognize a lot of them. Bob Painter, Jason Wilson, Mike Watson. Oh, all these John legends. Choi were all in my bracket, okay? And I beat them all. I beat every one of them in this tournament. Back to back to back to back. <laughs> Surprisingly he enough, the ball. one person that I lost to was another up-and-comer like me whose name was Bucktooth. He was a player from Texas and wasn't well-known at the time for Super Turbo, and he was doing well just like me. Do you want to know why? Because he practiced on the PS1 version just like me. And he played Chun-Li and I played Vega. So we had learned the differences. Okay? And because of that, we were doing well in the tournament while all the known players were choking and getting bodied by everybody else. All right? So the one person I lose to is another up-and-comer. I get knocked oh. into the loser's bracket. Wish I fight my way out of the option. loser's bracket into then the Then we could just skip the whole thing. But so now we can't because we're watching it live. Time, you're out of the tournament. That's not going to work and out. I'm, you know, I'm sticking in there. I'm fighting it out. And the game is different. It's a little wonky. It's just weird. Okay? <clears throat> and finally, I get to top eight. And even in top eight, it's a tough ro ride. Um, you know, I think I had to play NKI, who, again, is a top-notch Chun-Li player. And I ended up beating him in the top eight. And now it's just me and three Japanese players. That's it. And I ended up playing a mirror match against Tokido. And it's a close match. I actually, for the first time ever in years, I watched the matches back recently because I found them on YouTube. And they were close. It was like, he wins around, I win around, close final match. He wins around, I win around, close final match. They were real close. And the thing is, I hadn't barely played any Vega Mirror matches back then. So I went into there with almost no knowledge. I was trying to learn on the fly how to play this matchup, not knowing. And, I, you know, the fact that I even won a round is something special, you know. But he beat me. And so I got fourth place, and all the other Americans were below me. I was the highest-ranked American that year, <clears throat> and a lot of people hated that. Because, again, I was known as the big shit talker in the Street Fighter community. No one liked me. Well, I take that back. People who knew me in person liked me. People who you know, knew me only online, hated me because I was an online asshole, okay? <clears throat> so knowing 
that I was an online asshole. People didn't want, oh, we don't want this guy saying he's the best Super Turbo player. And I continued to talk shit. Even after that tournament, I continued to say I was the best, highest placing Super Turbo player of the <laughs> he year. He beat the, the shit out of his mic. <laughs> I did it on purpose because I knew every little Why? time you were an asshole. Like that online, it pissed off these elitist douchebags who thought that they were so good and their shit didn't stink and they were the best. And God forbid that someone beat them in a tournament. You know, I was beating some of these people in the tournament and they wouldn't give me respect. They're like, oh, that didn't count. That's literally what happened. I get fourth place at that tournament. After the tournament's over, Alex Valle demands that we have an arcade cabinet after hours tournament in the middle of the night in a hotel room to determine the real Super Turbo champion for that year. He calls it the secret tournament. And then he says, that was the real one. That's the one that really counted. I, I lost because I've been playing all day. I played longer than anyone else. <laughs> Those dudes were like a bunch of like you know, frad bros back the Japanese, in the day. I was beat. And they it must have been in like in insufferable. Right, and I lost. And like too, I went out and too. I was like, whatever. I don't care. I'm fucking tired. You know, and I went back to my room. Um, But according to them, that was the real tournament, right? That's how salty they were about all having been beaten in this tournament. So back then, the reason that people didn't want to give me recognition was because I was a big shit talker. Now, here's what happened. In the years that followed, I backed my shit up. It wasn't like, oh, this was a one and done flash in the pan. I was a top player of Super Turbo. Every version, because there were multiple versions that were played. The next year, <clears throat> it was Anniversary Edition, the one that we just played in Capcom Fighting Collection recently. That was the one that was the tournament level game. I was winning numerous tournaments all over the East Coast, the West Coast. Everywhere I went, I was winning tournaments in this game. Okay? The next year, there was another version of Super Turbo that was on PS2. I was winning tournaments in that game. It's all well documented that I was a top Super Turbo player for several years. There was one year I was going to every EVO qualifier tournament because there was regional ones. East Coast, West Coast, South, North. I went to every one. South Coast. And I won or qualified to be in the finals like five times. There were I would have been in the final bracket for Super Turbo like five spaces. They had to give them away to other people who placed lower than me because I was doing so well that year. I was taking all the spaces at EVO. Okay? All this is well documented. It's factual. It happened. But in the eyes of the internet, Phil only ever placed once ever at EVO. It was terrible placing, fourth place, and that's what he thinks is like, you know, that's it. No. It's bullshit. That's not true at all. It's completely untrue. I was actually placing for years and years after that. I was known as a top-ranked player, and I cut out the online bullshit. I stopped talking shit. And because I stopped talking shit online, people started to respect me more. I started meeting people from all over the country. They were happy to have DSP come to their tournament. I was a welcomed guest when I went down to Texas and other places. They liked having me there. All right? So it was a little different. I changed my tune Phil's chat after realizing, man, this whole shit talking is stupid. I'm gonna yeah, I can see I some people are, are complaining and about it. I started running tournaments. I ran ECC. One dude said, this this answer is a little bit of long-winded. But that's the gimmick of the show. He's killing his own show by being long-winded as fuck. Multiple tournaments. He has no idea what he's actually doing. I was asked to volunteer and try to help run the tournament because they knew how well of a job I did. Okay? <clears throat> so I went from being like the black sheep shit talker of the Street Fighter community Within three years, I was like well known and respected, and people he was were respected. Happy to have me as, as, a, as a participant and a guest in a tournament. Okay. So what happened? Well, in 2007, I quit. I had a back injury, a very severe <laughs> back injury. My, my disc was hurting. He had a back, back injury, like a wrestler. Where I couldn't really he, travel. He, he could have been the goat, travel. but he had a back injury. He couldn't play video uh, games. Or fly so he decided to dedicate the rest of his life to, to playing around. video games. You know, it was just, it was too much. This makes sense sometimes. Um, if you and no one else like, was really doing this stuff, everyone else are was crazy. Like, you know, oh, rel they were relying on me to drive the tournaments and shit. So to some extent, when I stopped driving, a lot of people stopped going to tournaments just altogether. Okay, so basically, I was like, well, it is what it is, um, and I'm just gonna retire. And I did. And I got that's when I got more into console gaming. And I started playing more, you know, got into like GTA 4, Mass Effect, Bioshock. And then within a year of that doing that, I became a YouTuber. All right. So that's really was a changing point in my life where I stopped being a competitive Street Fighter player. So once that was happening is now I become a YouTuber and I was very respected in the Street Fighter community around the 2007, 2008 time frame. And I quit. I just retired. I said, I can't do this anymore. I'm, I'm too much pain. I just can't do it. I can't even get to tournaments. Um, 2009 comes. His body gave up on him. In 2009, Street Fighter 4 comes out. Now, I start covering Street Fighter 4, all right? I start playing a ton on my channels, 
and I start getting prominent on YouTube as a Street Fighter 4 person. Are we going to go through the literally the whole history of his whole life? One up, the King Kindred, and maybe one or two other YouTubers who were prominently known for playing Street Fighter 4. At the time, it wasn't pro players. Pro players were not known for being Street Fighter 4 like on YouTube. No one even knew who they were. People preferred people with charisma, personality, and people who could talk to an audience. The pro community was not that. They were just a bunch of people playing the game in a lot of cases shit talking to each other. It, you know, it didn't exist. And that's at the time frame, that's why guys, admittedly, like Mike Ross and Gutex, got popular. They were charismatic. They were presentable to a camera. They were representative of a community with hype. People liked that. Were they the top tournament players at the time when they got started? No. They eventually became top tournament players, but they weren't well known at the beginning. They got known for their charisma. You see? <clears throat> so what ended up happening was I became a top tournament player. Excuse me. I became a top YouTuber for Street Fighter 4, a but I wasn't YouTuber. a tournament player. I wasn't really going and actively trying to attend tournaments. I wasn't trying to uh, do anything notable besides just make silly videos. I was doing Dan Madness series and shit and getting insane amounts of views. The Street Fighter community turned on me. And after the years that I had built respect and everyone admitted that I was a top player in Super Turbo and liked me as a tournament organizer, they resented the fact that I was getting popularity on YouTube when I was Oh yeah, they player. hated them. They, they hated them because they were jealous. They and, win, and they were winning tournaments. Yeah, all of them. No they were jealous. I was the one who's getting all the views on their videos for dumb videos. Admittedly, and he started this. this he started this story by shit. saying how he was talking a bunch of shit and nobody liked him. So people didn't like that. They were upset with me that I was getting attention for Street Fighter. Ah uh, yes. Ah uh, yes. Top tournament players, right? Of course. <clears throat> so that's, that's what all of them say. The whole community turned against me. Oh, fuck. You had Mike Ross going out and talking shit about me. I'm like, I don't even know who the fuck Mike Ross is. I never never talked about this guy, right? Um, <laughs> Some dude so sent him a super chat to say, Pig Roach with, with the same guy. back in my day you know? story. That's, that's <laughs> He's about to get lean. Is, uh, you know, you had a situation where these people kind of turned against me. Because yeah, they, they turned they against them. They definitely resented um, that stuff. And you know that was it. And since then, now it's a like, really stupid match. I never existed. I DSP never existed. Time. And the the funny part about it now is, I was not competitive in Street Fighter Four. I was not competitive in Street Fighter Five. Right. So now you have two generations of gamers, who I've never been in any kind of a tournament capacity. So to them, I don't exist. And so they'll they'll take jabs at me. They'll insult me. Oh yeah, why don't yeah? Why don't you talk more about your your tournament placing fourth at Evo? That's not even all I ever did. I was more well known after that as a top player all over the country, traveling and placing everywhere I went, running tournaments. That's what I was known for. Not necessarily the fourth place Evo placing. They want to erase a four to five year history to pretend they like- wanna They so want to so erase him. They want to erase him. <laughs> from the Street Fighter community. I don't care. They want to erase his legacy. I tell you guys, I don't want to be a part of that community because that's how they are. I don't want to be a part of a community that doesn't want me to be a part of it. Constantly. There's always shit going on over there. Why do you want to be a part of that shit, right? I would rather say, no, I want to be nothing to do with that shit. Uh, you know, I'll play fighting games and I'll cover them. Great. And that's all I care about. Oh, no. Phil played a beta and he happened to play someone who also was a notable Street Fighter player and they beat him. And? I don't and? I don't play these games competitively. I haven't in over a decade. So I'm not going to be good at them. I just enjoy playing them. I like covering them, sharing some of my know-how and some of the knowledge from being an old school player back in the day. Some people like that. Some people don't. It's not a big deal if you do or don't. It's your own personal preference. But to say that I was never prominent and they just try to erase my legacy of anything I've ever done, it's a joke. It's called insane jealousy. It's called insane jealousy. Maximilian is far benefit, more successful you know, or than Dave. To get a rise, to get a dream, I've become still is respected in the FGC the and in the industry. Person who's in fun to make fun of. Well, because right? Max they is just so everything DSP wants to be, to, and to be and is not, oh, but did. has convinced no himself that he is. Yeah, it's called being a, ch a child. It's the same as a bunch of kids on the schoolyard making fun of one person who's who they want to pick on, right? And everyone's, ah, it's fun to pick on that person. The I'm sorry, but everybody online, should pick right? on DSP. And the funny part is, it's all online. It all, it's, you know, why do you think? Because it's online community shit. The shit, you know. What, do you want them to pick on him in real life? Person to people, right? You want them yeah, to right. pull up? These are people who only have these fucking balls online to do any of this. Most of them are anonymous people who don't know who the fuck they are anyway. No one will ever care. That's why they do it, right? De you know, degrade the person online. And now we're shitting on trolls. You know, you don't do nothing in person. You're never going to. You're just someone who ro wallows in online memes. Wait, wait, wait. Are you, None of it matters. Are you trying to tell people to, like, mess with you in real life? 
in the competitive Street Fighter community. It was a very different time. Like I said, the pre Street Fighter Four time was all. Phil, you should stop it was trying to provoke respect. people like that because someone will. Yeah, like, there are people crazy enough to actually fuck with him in real life. Because that's how it was back then. The only way to get notor notoriety was to talk shit and then try. Not to me. I fuck with him in 2K. Look at us. I'm destroying his ass. At the time. It was a different time. Today, now it's all about the money, all about the online clout and hype. No one cares about you. I don't care about your fucking online bullshit. Don't name drop me. You know, I tried to tweet someone last fall because they put up a post of their home arcade. And I was noticed. I was like, wow, you know, one day I actually used to aspire to have something awesome like this. I don't anymore. You know, times change. I'm older now. That's oh, not what you said, though. Me. Why are you insulting me? No, that's me? not what you said. You. I didn't say anything negative about you or your arcade. Yeah, or you did say negative, Why are you bro. Oh, yeah, Mr. Mr. fucking... PS1 Super Turbo. Who cares? Dude, what are you talking about? What does that have to do with your arcade? He now? didn't fucking insult him, bro. It was it was a diss. Right? He dissed so the guy. Part of that community. I don't. And then I the guy clouds back and Phil was like, well, I have a podcast. Enjoy it. I'll casually play it. I'll play people Give online. Give me a fucking break, man. That's probably he was like dissing the dude. Now he, he doesn't have enough spine to even admit dissing the dude on Twitter. People are just scumbags to, uh, uh, for no reason. You know, and that's how it's become. It's sad. It's, it's very different today than it used to be. Um... But that's what happens when everything goes on. But back when it used to be, you were talking trash on the internet too. You don't, you don't remember. And when you got confronted in real life, you cried. And you asked them not to beat you up because you're an alcoholic. That actually happened, Phil. It is what it is. That's what happened, and that's why they try to erase me from the community, even though it's bullshit. They all, you know, everything. It's just like I say, it's selective remembrance, right? Everyone wants to remember <laughs> things that are negative. No that's rich coming from Phil. Despite that, they're. I don't mean Review Tech USA. Interesting, huh? Okay, I got a couple shout outs to do. Um, Barely Legal gifted a membership and it went to Lars Newtbar fan. I have no Newt idea bar. what Newtbar Newt is, but <laughs> thank you, Barely Legal. That gets us up to 89 memberships today. Hey, it's Barely Legal, legal like uh, like Panda Lee. I was trying to reach. And uh, I appreciate your support very much. That's going to be a, a record. If we hit 90, that'll be the most we've ever had. And we hit 100. That's a cool milestone. But we're at, you know, trying to hit 90 today. Thank you so much for that. And I received a tip. A tip? A $20 tip from One Minute Man. Thank hey, you. there we go. Man, I right on that. schedule, buddy. Your usual support is always greatly uh... appreciated. No matter where I'm streaming, no matter what content I'm putting out, One Minute Man is always there to consistently support it. I really appreciate that, man. So enjoy your uh, your animation. And uh, let's get you up on the leaderboard here as the biggest tipper. Let's get so you up far. on the leaderboard, pal. Again, guys, this is my main stream of the day. There will be gameplay later. So tonight. please tip stream. me. Thanks for watching. If you would like to support the stream in any way, simply giving it a like helps a lot. We're trying to hit 100 likes. It doesn't stream. help at all. That I do. Uh, super chat, super stickers, memberships, give to memberships. Likes don't help, help you at all, Phil. Stream. You could have had 1,000 likes. It wouldn't mean okay. shit. Excuse me. Let's continue on. The next question is from AJ Normal, who asked the following. With massively successful remakes of horror games like Dead Space and Resident Evil and even Silent Hill coming up, is there an underappreciated horror game or franchise you'd like to see get the same treatment? Thanks, love, thanks Phil, love and positivity. You know what? <clears throat> there is a franchise I've always wanted to play and never had a chance because it's just not available in any... Uh, it's just not available in any medium that I can really play. There's a horror franchise that back in the day people used to talk about all the time. I used to see it in game magazines and everything. And I just don't see it anymore. And that, that game franchise is called Clock Tower, right? Clock Tower, I guess, used to be a really notable, scary horror franchise. Have I ever played it? No. Do I know what it even plays like? No. But I, it used to be all the time. People used to say, oh yeah, Resident Evil, Clock Tower, Silent Hill. Now, we still talk about Resident Evil and, and Silent Hill because they kept getting made. But Clock Tower, at some point... It just vanished. And how would you play Clock Tower on a modern console? You can't. They never ported these things. They're not on any on-demand, you know, no subscription service or anything. They never did HD remakes or upgrades. I would love to see Clock Tower get remade. Even if it's not the originals, remake the franchise, like, like reimagine it for a modern audience. I would love to see what it's all about. I have no idea. <clears throat> Kid says you can on PS3. Kid at PS3 stopped production over a decade ago. Stop for production, <laughs> yes, but it still fans. exists, though. It's not viable. For you have a PS3. Games, they have no access to Clock Tower, including me. I would love to play it. You cannot play it actively today, okay? <clears throat> 
Okay, never mind. Go, go suck you a dog off. Go fuck I yourself. I would love to try it out and play it in a modern setting, reimagined for a modern audience. Okay. Um, Big Ol' Bean. With the following question. Another channel. These are all channel member questions, by the way. Um, My girlfriend recently started her own YouTube channel. What's the best advice you can give someone who's starting off as a longtime content creator? I look forward to your input. I give the same answer every time, but it takes a while. Usually, usually like once a year, someone asks me this question. So I'll, I'll answer it again. <clears throat> Here's the thing. Today, it's very different. Back in the day when I started, the market was not saturated at all. And this is another there stupid bait question. Jump in and try I, I feel like everything is Today, bait. Outside of this of previous market. question about Clock Tower. So it's very hard to do anything innovative or different. All right? What I would say is if you're someone who's getting into being a content creator, it depends on the kind of content that you're making. Now, in particular, you're saying that... You didn't really specify what kind of content she's making, you know. Um, OnlyFans style. I would say gaming was my favorite thing. And, of course, now I do React style content, you know, hanging out with you guys, reviewing stuff. I like doing that, too. What I would say is if you're going to get into YouTube or content creation of any kind, start with something that you have passion for and you already like so that while you're making that content, you're absolutely enjoying it. And here's what I mean by that. I know that there's people out there who basically say, I have the intention of do becoming big on YouTube. I'm going to make uh, some kind of a challenge channel. I'm only going to play Dark Souls with like these challenge runs. And I'm going to try to blow up doing it. Or I'm going to, you know what I mean? I'm only going to play games on the hardest difficulty. I'm going to challenge myself to do speed runs and stuff like that. Okay? And that's perfectly fine. <clears throat> There's nothing wrong with that kind of content. But people who jump into content with the distinct intention that this is going to be my occupation and I'm going to blow up doing it, you're setting yourself up to fail, in my opinion, okay? What you need to do is you need to make something a fun hobby first, all right? And then, once it's your fun hobby and you're having fun with it and you're enjoying it, then see if you could turn that into something that could be more, whether it's a you know profitable business or even just a side project that makes a couple bucks here or there. You understand what I'm saying? Too many people, I think, in this day, they look at the... Oh, my God. Look at this YouTuber who has a million, a million subs and all these members and a, a Twitch streamer with thousands of views, and they're raking in the dough. Look at the cheers are coming in, and they see the dollar sign. Like, I just want to do what I love and make money doing it. Most people don't get to do that in their lifetime. Phil gets to okay, do that, though. I have to though. reiterate it. Phil gets don't to have do that, that opportunity. Yeah. Sadly... You know, they have Phil's to reality is everyone's down. fantasy. Multiple, multiple, Everyone wants to do like Phil. Life, just to make ends meet and to, 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 to either support themselves or a family or whatever it may be. You're incredibly lucky if you get to do what you love. And I, I don't think those people want to do that shit for a living, man. Like, you got to understand, doing YouTube for a living sucks ass. And it's incredibly stressful and you get people shit on you for nothing. It's just constantly way of things. All right? And you have to go into that with that mindset. That even though maybe I, I think I feel I'm passionate, I feel that I have something different to offer, something unique. I want to be successful doing it. It does not mean you will be. So, if you're going to do a YouTube channel, if you're going to do a Twitch part, uh, a Twitch channel, and if you're going into it with the mindset of, hey, here's something I already have passion for. Here's something I love talking about. Something I love doing. Let's say you do it, and let's say you have so much fun, it was worth it, no matter what. Because even if you fail and you don't blow up and you don't get successful and it doesn't become a job, at least you had fun doing it. It didn't feel like it was a ton of work. It didn't feel like it was stress. It didn't feel like you put everything into it and not failed and now you don't know what to do. Don't do that to yourself. Go into it with the, uh, the, the intention that this will be a hobby. right? Do it, for, do it on the side. Still hold down something else. That's what I did. I had an office job. For two and a half years when I was doing YouTube. Then you got office, fired and you started begging for fucking off, people to click on the ads, dude. YouTube. We all remember. I wouldn't recommend people going into it with that mindset, especially today with the oversaturation that's there. It would be a foolish endeavor to think that you're just going to jump in head first and you're going to become successful. Um, <clears throat> and you're going to be able to maintain that. So do it as a fun little hobby side thing that you love, you have passion. And here's the thing. If you have passion for it, all right, <clears throat> you were going to essentially show that in the content. People are gonna see the difference between someone who's just sitting here hoping to make a paycheck versus someone who actually loves it. So like you right? and Max. People can, people can notice that, people can tell the difference. They're not dumb, you know? You can see the, the shill versus the passion person, right? <laughs> the passion people, person. This is so ridiculous, know. man. The, lower, the small time people, so fucking those are the people silly. who love what they do. Everyone else out there who has the million subs and shit, probably they're just doing it to, to, to monetize, right? So 
<clears throat> approach it from that angle and if your passion comes through this is worthless advice this is literally like i really feel level it. one advice no pun intended it's like actual like even though bullshit nonsense worthless commentary all of that truly my passion for games came through and things like my and it's all about him that. it's how it's all about how amazing he is there's nothing like actually constructive you disagree but that's my best advice you can disagree as a casual thing, treat it as a hobby. That's a fun thing, something you have passion for already. Hopefully, that'll come through. People will catch on. It'll be good content for everyone, and they'll enjoy it, and then you'll be successful. If not, hey, at least it won't feel like you wasted your time, because guess what? You still had fun doing it, right? There you go. All right. Um, thank you for more contributions here. We had Silent Scoper, as well as King Gabriel, who each became a member. And with that, it is official. We have topped 90 members here on the channel. Yeah, so we, we done did one. it, you guys. We I mean, did it. We hit it so early. Obviously, this will be a stretch. We hit goal. it from the no, back. I hit 95 today, but I'm just saying, hey, thanks so much already for the support. We already have the most members we've ever had here on DSP Reacts. Thank you for that. And uh, thank you guys so much. Also, I received a $20 super chat from this who says, do you know who Avoiding the Puddle or Eris is? No. I know very, 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 very little about them. This is a person who I know is known in the Tekken community. And that's really why I don't know that much about them because they're primarily just Tekken and that's it. Um, you know, that's about it. You know, all I know, the only uh, involvement I ever had with that person was over a decade ago, they were trying to do these reality shows in regards to everything. They had the Ultimate Gamer. They had <clears throat> the Tester. And then there was one that they were doing for a fighting game community. And the guy basically got exposed because he was being toxic to the female who was part of the show. And she came out publicly complaining that this guy was constantly, like, ha harassing her, bullying her behind the scenes. And she didn't appreciate that. She was the only woman in the, on the show and felt that it was completely unfair treatment. And there was this big divide in the community uh, that some people supported Eris and some people didn't. I should talk to Eris. Why? I have no idea. At the time, I was just stupid. This is over a decade ago. Because he should talk to everybody. I always wanted to interject myself into situations for no reason. And I think it was dumb. Now I look back and I'm like, I didn't really know the situation. I don't know what happened. I should have kept my mouth shut. I'm just, but back then, I was stupid. And I just I wanted to always be causing controversy for so people would know who I was, you know? And at the time, I, I said and done did stupid, uneducated things. At this point, I have absolutely no idea at all what the truth of the matter was. To my knowledge, he's still part of a prominent part of the fighting community. So, obviously, he didn't get canceled. Then again, 10 years ago, getting canceled wasn't a thing. <laughs> so, that's about all I know. Like, literally, that's about all I know. And I don't know nothing getting about Getting canceled at wasn't all. a thing. Well, it wasn't called getting canceled, but yeah. you could still be controversial okay, and, like, not have people like you. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. Continuing up. With more member questions. By the way, we will split the part in about 10 minutes, just so everybody knows. Okay? So. Split those um, parts, Philip. Uh, Sith Alchemist asks the following Have you ever played an MMORPG? Why do you think even the biggest ones like World of Warcraft, Final Fantasy XIV, Guild Wars 2, Black, Des uh, Black Desert Online, Elder Scrolls Online have been slowly dying for the past 10 years? And they're essentially now on life support, surviving from each expansion to the next. I played MMOs back in the day. I played one of the original biggest ones, EverQuest 1. I tried playing EverQuest 2 and it never ran well on my computer, so I stopped and I've never played it significantly. I also played World of Warcraft twice when it launched and then a couple years later. And then I played City of Heroes and City of Villains. And that's really it. I never really got into many others. I did play Final Fantasy XI for a while with some friends in a PC version as well. Um, when it first released, before it was even a console game, I played it only on PC. Um, so that's it. And then after that time frame, I stopped playing them. You know, when I became a YouTuber... That was kind of the end of that. I became a console gamer, essentially. Um, MMOs take so much time investment and so much, uh, you know, co-op gameplay to really be viable that I really didn't see a way to make it viable for a YouTube audience. Um, you know, I did try MMOs years later, many years ago. I tried doing MMO events, like, oh, I'll play World of Warcraft, and all that happened was trolls would show up and ruin it and make it so that... Yeah, that was play. pretty cool. I remember that one. Never really tried. That shit was pretty cool. If I tried cool. an MMO, the same thing would happen. No matter what MMO it would be that I played... People would come and harass me. So back in the day, I did play them. And here's the thing. I get it. I totally understand the social aspect of how that could make an MMO uh, so awesome. MMOs 
have this ability to become these amazing co-op experiences with all kinds of camaraderie and conversation. And, you know, I remember joining, you know, a group of people who were like two of them were my co-workers and other people who were their friends playing World of Warcraft and I would join and help them out as an extra body. I wasn't that good at it, but I was an extra body helping them out, which was fun. And it was fun to have that, you know, let's talk, let's chat, let's joke, let's have a good time together or whatever. It was actually quite, quite nice to have that. Um, and uh, I get it, but over time, you know, I just kind of fell out of love with them and I wanted to play other kinds of games. More console was more my, my style. Now, why would they have been failing the last 10 years? The only thing I can think of, all right, is that essentially people are finding those same experiences elsewhere. But where are they finding them? Maybe now, instead of an MMO, like a classic MMO that's an RPG style on a PC, maybe people are migrating over to games like Destiny 2, right? Or one of the Tom Clancy shooters, or, you know, any of these, The Division, right? Any of these that have been direct competition for that style, I don't know. Um, that's all I could think of. Honestly. Like, I don't know why. I mean, yeah, that kind of makes some I sense because those are like that whole social aspect to games, them that I makes guess. them prominent and different from other styles of online gaming. So I don't think MMOs are ever going to go away completely, but why would they be on the decline? It very well could be for reasons like that. I'm not sure. Okay? Okay. Let's continue on. Uh, Add the Gamer asks, if you could choose a series of games for every single game in the series to have a complete remake, which game series would you choose? I would choose number one, Infamous, and number two, Bioshock. Uh, Infamous right, has Bioshock Infamous is 2, years old. Even Bioshock which is, is over 10 years like, old. why would you want? Now would be a cool okay. time for them to remake those with modern modern it's graphics, what he wants. better gameplay elements. The story's fine. You don't even need to redo the story. All you can do is redo graphics and gameplay elements and make them feel more modernized. And I think that it would be awesome to have like a Bioshock trilogy. My God, please redo Bioshock 2. That game's gameplay was shit. I didn't like it at all. It would be great if they redid that and retooled it and made it more modern and better, more polished. But Infamous, seriously, great game franchise, amazing story, great voice acting. The graphics for the time were outstanding. Even the gameplay kind of holds up. And it's sad to see that those Infamous games have been completely forgotten as if they don't exist. You know, you had Infamous 1 and 2 on PS3 and Infamous uh, Second Son on PS4 and they just ended it. Went, and now no one talks about Cole McGrath. No one talks about <clears throat> those games anymore. And they were like big time giant hits. And I don't know what happened, but I would absolutely like to see a return for Infamous. So those would be the two that I would pick. Okay. Uh, one more question, then we'll split the part. Toy2 Legacy asks, what are your thoughts on the paranormal? Have you ever had experiences with ghosts or UFOs? And do you think the government is controlled? Oh, let's by see Phil's ghost experiences. Well, everyone knows the government. Maybe he saw his, his aunt. Guy. That's given. We don't even Philly. have to Okay. But I'm sorry I gave you gal. All right. I've never had a paranormal experience in my life. Drink your cherry you know, juice, Philly. I don't have anything that would make me think that it's real. At the same time, I'm the kind of person that keeps an open mind. All right. I had one time when I was a kid. Now, I was just a kid. All right. And I remember I, it was the middle of the night and I used to sleep upstairs in a bedroom, you know, across the hall. Was it across the hallway from my parents? It was. My parents would sleep. Actually, now I'm trying to remember. At this point, did my parents sleep in the hallway across, or did they sleep downstairs? Because my parents have had two different bedrooms. They moved around over the years. And I can't remember if they were sleeping downstairs or across the hallway at this point. All right? But anyway, so I remember being asleep and waking up. And as I was a young kid, okay? I was probably, I don't know if I was young enough to be in a crib, but I was a young, young kid. And I remember waking up and looking into the hallway, hearing a noise in the hallway. And I looked in the hallway. And I saw a silhouette, just a shadow, that looked exactly like the, the shadow of my uncle. He oh, it was his uncle. The guy, so his body was ch big, chubby. Glasses, the glasses, silhouette of glasses, like, like reflecting. You know, you see shadow of glasses protruding from his face. Even his hairstyle. Like, it looked exactly like my uncle. And it freaked me out because my uncle's not in the house. And I saw the silhouette walking through the hallway, just the shadow passing through the hallway all right and that's all i heard and i was scared shitless like i my heart stopped I, rem I still remember it to this day my heart stopped and i was like oh my god so i got so scared at first i didn't want to scream because i was afraid if there was something in the house that was going to come after me i said no nah, i have to so i started screaming 
and called my parents. And my dad came running up. What happened? What happened? I explained. I was crying. And he says, all right, I'm going to check the whole house. And he did. He went all around the house checking. There was nothing in the house. He's like, oh, there's nothing here. You must have seen things. Now, was it a lucid dream where I was half asleep and in my brain just started thinking about my uncle and somehow it turned a shadow on the wall that looked like my uncle? I don't know, right? The thing was, I remember, I know for a fact, the way our house was laid out, in the hallway, upstairs hallway, there was a window that faced forward to the street. And when cars would drive by with their headlights on at night, the headlights would sometimes, like, you'd see them move by and they would go around the shade because my parents didn't have blinds. They had just like a pull-down shade. So you would have little slits on the side of the shade and the the headlights would kind of, like, shh, go by as the car drove by. So maybe it just created this shadow effect in the hallway that made it look like a silhouette walking down the hallway. Oh, and now he's trying to debunk his know. own ghost story. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know either, out. Phil. I, re I still remember that to this day. I remember it in my head, you know. But that was really the only thing that ever I think I saw or heard that would make me think maybe there's something paranormal um, outside of that. Uh, no. So here's the thing. I am not going to dismiss the possibility that there could be something paranormal out there. I feel like that would be very ignorant, right? To say, oh, there's absolutely nothing paranormal out there, right? No, you don't do that. You don't say that. Hey, maybe there is. But I've never experienced anything. That doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. It just means that in my experience, it, I've never had it. So, well, maybe, you can't you know, actually you physically prove it. it. That's that's, yeah, that's very happened. difficult to do. Maybe that's why they believe it, right? But I'm open minded, <clears throat> and uh, you know, I I you know maybe one day I will see something. I mean, I'm about to be 41 years old, and I haven't seen anything yet. He's gonna um, see a ghost when he becomes kind of one. To just shut your your mind off. I've never seen it, so it doesn't exist. I mean, if that was the case, science wouldn't exist because science is all experimenting with things you've never really you seen or can't or see seen science. Before. And all of a sudden, you get a result you didn't intend. Wow, we just got a new thing. We learned something new about science, right? What? So it's kind of the same deal. Maybe there is something out there. All right, sure. there you go. Whatever you way, say, Phil. Next like question. Let's split the part. Membership at the ultra level today. Yeah. The release date of April twentieth. I'm aware of that. I believe I do have that in my gaming schedule. And for those interested, he's been ghosting time, uh, really Dead Island for a long event. time. All right, right here on the channel, that is my birthday event. Oh now, my god, it's fucking birthday! I'm so tired of it already. Gaming. Birthday week hasn't gaming. even started yet. I'm tired, we'll tired see. of it. But that event, we're gonna actually go through the game schedule, and during that game schedule segment, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, you know, figure out what games I'm interested in playing and set them out for the release dates so that we can actually check them out and say, oh, this is what I'm definitely interested in. People can look forward to it. Right now, I haven't done that since like January, okay? So in one week's time, it's my birthday celebration event, a little marathon, and that's one of the segments we're going to do is go through the games and we'll set them in stone which ones I'm interested in. Maybe Dead Island 2 is one, maybe it's not. I guess we'll have to see, okay? All right, so guys, remember what I say. Here's how it works here now on DSP React. Contributions? If you're live, Thanks for being here live. I hope you're enjoying the show, and thanks to those. Yeah, who if you're a member, so you get if this. If you're watching on demand, yeah, okay, these videos okay, will okay. be coming out one a day for the next several days. However, if you become a member, you can watch the archive stream immediately. So if you're considering, oh, I want to see all this stuff archived right away. I don't want to wait. Becoming a member will give you that opportunity. So please consider it. Thanks to those who've already supported. I'm going to split the part here. There'll likely be two more parts before the end of the show. So thanks for that. For those watching here live, there's just going to be a short break. But if you're watching on demand, just look for parts two and three. Okay, guys, thank you so very much. And I'll see you in just a bit. Wait, what do you mean just a bit? Are we having an actual break? Okay, guys, so yes, oh, no. I'm going to take a short break. Oh, yes. Ah, oh, fuck me. Right? It's not going to be break, five minutes, dude. And then I'll be back. Thank you to those it's gonna who are be here fucking and chilling and gone for like 10 anyway. minutes now. Uh, again, this is my only daytime stream of the day. So it would be great if you could support it, you know, in the way that normally my normal daytime stream would have. Oh, so we we'll beg now. Back in just a couple and we'll continue. It would be All great right. that you would support it in the normal ways that you normally would. What the fuck does that mean, Phil? It would be great if you support it in the normal ways you normally would. So with $150, I guess. Or more. Ah, and we get fucking music. Shut the fuck up. So I've been trying to make myself in, in 2K. Obviously, I don't get the face uh, accurate because I didn't really spend any time on it. Uh, I was thinking about, um, like, scanning my face in the game. I just don't know how that shit works. But I think the outfit is pretty cool. Somewhat. Uh, and I'm gonna be a high flyer, you guys. I'm gonna be doing flips and shit. 
And my first match is gonna be against Derek, because I have to get over. I have to impress everybody. Select Persona. Oh no, we don't need this. Alright, so... While the dude is gone, I guess I'm just gonna... Um, copy a tire? Yeah. I'm gonna make myself and then play some... Some Dobia Dobia Wii. And I wanna... Um, I wanted to import my face in the game. I just don't know how that shit works. So I gotta figure it out. But I got my body type on point. I'm skinny as fuck, so I got it. I got it right. Now let's give myself um, some sort of a. I think there was a cape here. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna walk out with a cape. And it would be cool if you could import custom music, but I can't do that. Oh yeah, look at that cape. Shit is cool. I look like a reject from some like D DC CW TV show. I'll be fantastic. <laughs> hey, this is not gay Spider-Man. This is a very Why are you heterosexual like Spider-Man. Very heterosexual Spider-Man. Very adequate Spider-Man. Let me see how I can I'm about to save. Yes, I will. I will um I will try and scan my face in the game because that shit would look hilarious. But I just want to see how that's possible. I think I need to go on some random website somewhere and upload a photo and then submit all my rights to it. What? Share it. Okay, upload, I guess. So you can download it if you want to play as me, I guess. <laughs> me be made by me. Hashtag. Uh, can be re-uploaded? No. Hashtag, um, my hashtags. Let's go with DSP first, because it's going to be easy to find, because it's just three, three letters. And then I'll go with the name. Are we still listening to The Rain is Very Fucking Heavy? This shit is trash. Ugh. Uh, I'm going to a PSV game in May. Is Eindhoven any good? Uh, it's... I mean, any good depends on what your standards are. It's pretty boring. But, I mean, it's a... Put-together town. It's kind of an industrial type of town. It's not very interesting. As, you know, like The Hog or... Or Amsterdam or... Rotterdam or anything else. I guess, yeah. Let's see, uh, Detractor. Maybe the DWO. We can finally have a DWO. Description? I'm not writing a fucking description. Get fucked. Can I figure out how to upload stuff? And why does it say Resident Evil on my screen? What's a Detractor mean? Upload complete. There we go. Let's go on online again. Let's try upload my photo. Community creations. Uploads. There we go. What is this? A remix of Thugs on the Floor? What the fuck? Image. Select an empty slot. Oh, there we go. Your rank will increase. Upload. How do I even do that, though? Um, hmm. Go to creations and create some. Or upload some images to WW2K.com. Okay. Okay, let's do that. I spawn, I die. I'm gonna play my own song. Fuck, fuck this dude's stupid ass song. to the song um yeah just a second care about money that i just can't help it i'm so just enveloped in greed 
Here it is. Money. I need money. I need money. You can subscribe to the channel. It's uh, all the music gets uploaded there. Pleasure and fuck everyone else. Fuck everyone else. Why my toxic? Why 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 my toxic? Why my uh, face photo? Okay. Okay, let me take a photo of my fucking face. Why am I This dude is still gone. Fuck him for real. Taking random ass breaks. Devour. Control this desire. Her take. Control her take. Devour. Okay, fantastic. Uh, I'm about to get the pick. Wow. Unable to save preview. You fucking idiot. You fucking idiot. What do you mean? Okay, there we go. Oh, this has been like... The, the first part of this stream is like total trash. They asked him about his history with fucking... Uh with with the fgc and it was obnoxious as fuck it was so tiresome he's still gone uh file size is too big please upload a smaller size bruh you 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 gotta be fucking kidding me how big is this oh yeah this like it's like a whole ass megabyte. It has to be tiny. Because obviously it's a 2K game. They're not specifically known for having the strongest servers. Because it might crash the server, you guys. If it's, if it's a little bit too big. Wow, it's uploading. Wow, this is amazing. I'm gonna be a real 2K player. <laughs> Upload now. Okay, agree and submit. There you go. I think it's up. Oh yeah, it is up. There you go. Are we gonna get it? Manage uploads? Do I need to like... What do I need to do? Okay. Uploads, let's see. No? You don't have any content, bruh. How do I not have any content? I have so much content. I'm one of the most prolific content creators of all time. Uh, what for program do I recommend to make remixes of songs? Uh, I use FL Studio. That's what I would recommend, because I use it. I don't really know of the other stuff. Image Manager. Let's see this one. Incoming. I guess. Can you just... Ah, there we go. Look at my fucking face. Download this shit right away. Make a copy of it. Hell yeah. So I got it now. Oh, and now we get the classic thugs on the floor. It's a certified hood classic. Thug style classic. Oh, I think he's back because the song stopped. There we go. We're back. We'll go for about another 45 minutes to an hour to split the part and then have the final part. The final part. Back on here. <clears throat> Can't wait for the oh, final part. It's my favorite right. part. Here we go, everyone. Uh, 
face texture. Can we get this? Oh, no. Fill up. Oh, wait. I forgot to switch the screen. There we go. Male mother fricker. What is going on? Welcome back, everyone. Thanks for being patient. If you're watching Ask the King Live, but if you're watching this on demand on DSP Reacts, thank you. First episode ever on the new channel. Hope you're enjoying it as well. So far, one part down. Hope that you guys uh, enjoyed it. Please continue to uh, enjoy. As I answer your questions, we got many, many more questions to get through today. And uh, thanks in advance to anyone who supports in any way. If you're live here on the stream, liking the stream, you know, uh, engaging with me, supporting the stream via super chats, super stickers, memberships, gifted memberships, tips, all appreciated. If you're watching on demand, hey, consider becoming a member. If you do, you can watch this in its entirety rather than having to wait for the parts to come out over the course of the week. That's a new feature here on the channel. Maybe a super thanks if the video is even eligible. A lot of these videos get demonetized for literally no reason, but it's the problem with YouTube these days. Anyway, <clears throat> without further ado, let's jump back in. Ask the King Part 2, episode 95 for March 31st, 2023. Our first question is from O.P. Boone, who asked the following. Phil, a new name for Ask the King could be called I can do AMA a lot better than this. Ask Me Anything. It's a popular name for that kind of format. Celebrities do AMAs on Reddit to promote their new movie or TV show. I also think it has better search algorithms than using a proprietary name so you might reach new viewers. So, I heard of AMA. <clears throat> but you're absolutely right in saying, I've only heard of AMA on reddit i've never heard of like doing someone doing an ama on youtube or something like that you're doing an ama right now moron ask the king predates amas on fucking reddit it does <laughs> i've been doing this show oh, for a decade of um, course it does this show still has its legacy phil name. predates um, uh humans right, he's a proto human want to see me kind of phase out anything to do with calling it the king i'll be honest with you guys i'm not getting rid of the chat crowns too bad I like the chat crowns. I think people enjoy having the chat crowns and the different levels of crowns for being a member. <clears throat> That's not going away. But outside of that, I do hear you on all the other shows. I recently just rebranded Feasting with the King. It's now called Feasting with Phil, the Tasteful True. People seem to like the new name so far. The video's only been out for a day. But people seem to like that, okay? So, what I talked about, we actually just talked about it uh, recently. People are like, well, listen, this is episode 95. Your show's been around for a decade, right? Over a decade. Here's what you should do. <clears throat> Let it go to episode 100. Then you got 100 episodes of this thing under your belt. All right? Then when it's time, retire the, the moniker of Ask the King. Change it up. Call it something different. Right? But let it hit 100. It would be a shame to hit like 90-something and then change it in the middle when we're so close to hitting that 100 milestone. I kind of agree. But I did the math. And if we do this every other month like I've been doing, what it essentially means is that this will, will be going into 2024 and then like that first episode of 2024 right will be episode 100 i'll probably during that episode announce the new name so that when we continue to do the show in oh, 2024 he's gonna have a special announcement of the new different. name okay so let's think about it over this year AMA, Ask i don't think so phil Actually, it's already been used on reddit if you say ama everyone's gonna think well where's the reddit threat but maybe we could think of something better. Maybe we could think of something different. I mean, we already got Feasting with Phil or The Tasteful Truth. Those were great suggestions to fix the name of Feasting with the King. So maybe now we can think of something over the course of the year that's a little better, right? <clears throat> so there you go. Let's think about it. Let's talk about it collectively as a community over this year. Let's see what happens and go from there. Sound good? Okay. All right, continuing on. <clears throat> Lady Charisma asks the following with the rise in games biting off of more mainstay series where do you draw the line like when does it stop being in the same genre and it becomes a full-on knockoff in your eyes i feel like it's a very thick line thick thick line i didn't even say thin line it's a very thin line with the rise of souls likes i wanted to know your thoughts here's the thing i mean definitely Soulsborne games is a great a great example of what's been happening in this with gaming, right? So you get one game that's so popular, now it gets a bunch of sequels, but now everyone else wants to ride that wave of popularity because everyone seems to like that style of game, right? <clears throat> and I totally get where that's coming from. I absolutely do. Um, at the same time, if you're going to be making a game that's you know similar to what someone else did, you have to find a way to innovate, a way to make you feel a little different, a way to make you feel like it has a creative twist. I think some games do a great this job. This is all to get them ranting about So let's compare two directly. You have Dark Souls and you got Bloodborne. Then you got Neo. 
What Neo does, it takes that formula and it puts it into feudal Japan, puts it with samurai, ninjas, stuff like that, some demons and stuff like that. And what it did is it took the more sluggish control scheme of Dark Souls and it made it way more active based, way more reaction based. Like now, an enemy's coming at you and almost instantly, you can do a counter attack that parries and moves them out of the way. Now you can do a big counter combo, right? <clears throat> weapon variety. In Dark Souls, there's definitely weapon variety, but in Neo, you can now switch between weapons on the fly, sometimes in the middle of a combo for extended combo ability. You have the ability to transform into a demon or summon a, an enemy, a, 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 a creature, and that also changes the aspect. So it's like, take what they did with Dark Souls, but change it up in many different ways. The visual style, the activeness of the controls that they're way more responsive, and the, the you know combo ability and things like that. You know what I'm saying? So all of that makes it feel unique. Now, I'm not saying it's better than Dark Souls. In fact, I don't think it is. I do think that the Dark Souls series is better than Neo, but Neo is still good, you know? It stands on its own. Now, let's compare that to a game like, say, Lords of the Fallen. All right? I mean, come Lords on, bro. You picked literally the, the worst one. Was so abysmally bad. It was such a pathetic attempt to bite off of Dark Souls that failed <laughs> miserably. The controls felt worse than Dark Souls. The graphics, sw fr frankly, looked worse than Dark Souls. The game was buggy. The game was unfinished, wonky platforming, bad physics, enemies that you would run away from you in the middle of a fight. You would chase them down the hallway. They would disappear, reappear instantly, and have respawned with full health. The game was a piece of shit. It really was. Now, I've heard over the years, they patched it and patched it and patched it, and now it's a playable game. But to me, I always remember back to that launch experience of how bad that game was and how they really, <clears throat> really wanted to bite off of Dark Souls and failed so badly. It is such a, a unpolished, you know, unfinished, wonky-ass cash grab style experience. Cash grab style. That's the difference. It's okay <laughs> if you take... It's a cash grab style, style experience. Add to it, right? <laughs> This, Take a look. I mean, I this dude, it. bro. <clears throat> Nothing in cash Fortnite grab history. style. They one hundred percent bit off of games like DayZ. Uh, what was the other one that I played? That I played on console. You know, they they ripped off of two or three other games that were battle royale. And originally, if you remember, Fortnite was not supposed to be battle royale. Fortnite was supposed to be a tower defense game where you build a fort. Hence, Fortnite. In the night, it's attacked by the zombies, and you're supposed to build all these defenses towards it and keep the zombies off of you. Are there any zombies in Fortnite? There were. No. They completely undid their idea because they realized it wasn't going to sell. <clears throat> so instead, they made this other idea that ripped off everyone else's. Only what they did is they added in some cartoony aspects. They already had building mechanics that were inspired by for, uh, tower defense games, and they just added them into their their battle royale game and it make it feel made it feel very very unique right it does fortnite <clears throat> at least when people started playing it, it felt unique from the other battle royale games today it's funny because now it's the most prominent battle royale game so you'd argue oh the other games kind of feel similar to fortnite actually no fortnite was late to the game when it came to battle royale it was already very popular on pc way before then Big games like player unknown's battlegrounds and stuff did it before did it did it you know bigger and better on pc and then when Fortnite hit consoles, it was like, oh, the kids got their hands on it. It's free, so all the children play it. The kids love it. It's a viral success with kids. And it's just, it, you know, made unprecedented amounts of money. Um, you know? It's pretty sad, honestly. Because the, the imitator yeah, chest high wall for overtook the, sub, the originator in that case. Like, how many people still talk about PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds or, you know, Daisy, eh, uh, maybe a, a, a PC group? A PC game of enthusiasts, but really all the people playing Battle Royale kind of moved on to other things, and Fortnite became the prominent one, especially because of the kids, right? So, it's pretty insane. Now, again, where do you draw the line? I'm okay with a game that innovates and adds something that feels unique or different. If you know you're playing a game that just feels like a knockoff, that's not good. So I already said Neo, and I said Neo did a good job. You want to know a game that did a bad job? Wolong Fallen Dynasty. That game so badly wanted to be Sekiro, but it didn't have all the gameplay mechanics of Sekiro that made Sekiro good. It tried other gameplay mechanics that don't work as well, in my opinion, and it's wonky, and it's annoying, and it's too yeah. and it just The whole point was that we would get to this point where he shits on Wolong. 
And so it's all bait. You know, is it a oh, today is just no. bait, man. Well, man. When you play it, you wish and if it's not bait, Sekiro. it's people it's literally just trying to get him talking about shit that he I hates. Really like Sekiro, which means even Sekiro, his own right? fans want to listen then, to him talk about shit I'm he hates. Long, I'm like, man, I wish I was playing Sekiro New Game Plus. People what like, a positive what? guy. You didn't really like. Ah. Uh, you didn't really like Wolong. What a positive uh, dude. Why are you saying that when you're playing Wolong? Because now that I've played something worse that definitely is a knockoff that's cheap and not as good, now I respect the original more. Even though maybe I didn't respect the original as much originally, now I do. You see, it's all about perspective. So there you go. By the way, shout out to Straw Hat Man, who just became a channel member. That has now jumped us up to 92 total members and climbing. Again, that's a new record. We've never had this many members on the channel before. So thank you so much to Straw Hat Man. We're getting Bro, I hate this space fucking today. creator. Oh it's so God, stupid, man. That'd be pretty man. We'll see. Thank so you guys bad. for your support of the stream so far. Remember, with over 200 this people on the stream, guys, please consider giving the stream a like. Thing. Hey. Likes are key for engagement on YouTube. We have about 50 some likes. It would be great to hit that, and I will do a silly celebratory bubble blow for you a guys. A silly we'll celebratory like bubble blow. Hey, big ups, Francisco. His oh, fans know he's on. only passionate, <laughs> passionate <laughs> about hate. It's from Cyrex the Rapper. That is the, 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 wait, what? Cyrex the Rapper? There's a scenario where you and John could become friends and start doing Oh my god, it's literally bait. Years from now. It's not like you guys ever truly burned a bridge. You never said bad things to one about one another. Yeah, they did. Do you know what he's up to these days? Yes, it's insane to think that. It's wishful thinking. I understand why some people think that. My way. friends it's telling me I'm a bad person is miscommunication. To John since 2015. It is 2023. It has been eight years since I had said a word to John. I yeah, they should get over John. Not spoken to John longer than the time frame when we were close friends making content together. You realize that? <laughs> right? Like he started coming over my place and doing content around 2009, 2010. Through 2014, it was like a four-year period. I haven't spoken to him in f eight years, right? It's just that people think that that time was such a, a, an awesome time. I agree with you. I totally agree with you. And they just kind of reminisce back on it. Oh, the good old days, right? But the good old days have been gone for a long time. And you roll on with what's what's in the present, right? Um, Here's the thing. We don't live near each other. I don't even know where he lives. When I did move, he lived in New York, New York State. I live in Washington. There's really no opportunity to get together there, right? John has had my co my uh, contact information ever since he stopped talking. Oh, John me. didn't I was contact the one who was me. Contacting him, and he was upset with me for contacting him, right? He basically was giving me every sign saying, "I just don't want to hang out with you or talk to you or do anything with you anymore," and he was upset with me for talking about him or contacting him. He had every opportunity to contact me. I'm pretty sure he doesn't want to talk to me ever again. You know, he's literally off the internet. The guy has no internet presence. He just disappeared several years ago and hasn't put any new content. Maybe up. he got kidnapped by the cartel reason. or something. He doesn't Who want knows? to be bothered. He wants should to have try a looking up. life that's offline and doesn't deal with online drama. I don't blame him for that. All right. So, no, there is. It is pretty insane and crazy, and there is zero chance that we're going to become magically friends again and start doing content together. It's never going to happen. I would say. To the extent of, if out of the blue one day, if John called me and said, I just want to talk, and I called him back and we had a conversation, you would never know about it. Because that's between us. Ha ha. Nothing to do with the internet. Nah, you would know about it. You know about everything. Guys. Okay? You so, would definitely yes, know about it. Yes, I would it. say Cyrax the Rapper, it is crazy. Eight years is a long enough time. I think you can accept that we're never going to be getting back together as friends or we anything. We're never, like that. ever, or anything ever anything getting you back know together. It's bullshit on the internet and it's nobody's business. <clears throat> okay. Not toxic at uh, all. Just a little bit. Antone. By the way, people ask me questions I answered a million years ago. Why don't I call him? I don't have his information. I got rid of it ages ago when he was mad at me for contacting him. I purposefully deleted all my shit. Because remember, I was depressed. <laughs> I was drinking and shit. I told oh, you. Oh, yes, I was depressed. In my documentary last year. That, you know, he was upset with me for contacting him. So I said, well, what's the best way to make sure I don't do that again? Delete all his shit. So that way I can't do it when I'm drunk or depressed. And that, you know, <laughs> that's what I did. this has already been addressed in full last year. When I oh, John fuck off, here. my guy. Those fuck answers. off. This is so pathetic. Uh, go watch that. Okay? You had to delete his phone number so he uh, didn't drunk text uh, them. And tone. Like, how did you think this would make you look good, man? You just look more pathetic. T 
Oh, Bill. Ask the question. Stop saying shit like that. Very simple question. Man, this you. fucking character Number is one, trash. Number one, does your YouTube channel have capacity for more emotes? And if so, could we import Probably. a few copyright-free Franker Face Z emotes, Pog Champ, etc. for the channel? No. Hey, big up Sparrett Wells for four months, that's dude. A, Throwing the baby out with the bathwater. He's, let's of let's course they're never being friends mind. again. It's been too long and they're too butthurt. Does your YouTube channel have capacity and for big ups to uh, drooling Ling Idiot? Over one Ling Idiot? members. I guess. Back with people the membership, dude. Tons of memberships, okay? It's been gone for many months. So we already hit the max there. There's no way to get more. Hit the and max. here's the thing. Here's how YouTube works, which is really weird. We hit the max a million. Say, for example, right now I wanted to change an emo on DSP Gaming. There is no change emo option. There is delete and add. Then delete it and add a new one. <clears throat> and we don't have enough e uh, members to support that level of emotes that I have. Oh, yeah, it's going to get locked. Guess what happens? You just lose the emote slot. So let's say right now there was an emote people didn't like for whatever reason. Uh, just an example, thumbs up, which I know people like. But let's say people said, oh, I don't like thumbs up. Get rid of it. Put a new one in. Delete. Gone for good. You lost a slot. Can't add a new one. Oops. So Oops. makes no sense to do that. I'm going to keep all the emotes I have on DSP Gaming. They're going to stay there. Okay? Here on DSP Reacts, I do have a new emote slot that we did not populate yet. Why? Because, I'll be honest, I don't think people really care about the emotes that much here. All right? Why not? Um, on this channel, it's more about the member. What do you get as a member? He pedals. Oh, my God. We get questions. to repeat the shit again. He pedals all this membership shit and then is like, oh, yeah, you guys don't care about the emotes. I'll, kill, I'll tell you what you care about. On the long form I will tell you. Don't worry about it. Today, you're now going to have You don't have to worry about it. I will tell you what you care about. For members only. All this is with the reasons why people become a member here. I don't think anyone cares about the emotes. If they did, they would be asking me for more emotes. Which well, the dude just asked, asked you for the emote. When I started this channel. I would love to have yeah. DSP Reacts exclusive emotes that are just for this channel. Guess how many people are interested in that? Zero. 69. No one asked. No one suggested. No one submitted. No one did anything. People just don't really give a crap. So it seems to me people would like, like content on the channel, but don't really care too much about that kind of stuff. Now, you're suggesting Franker Face Z and PogChamp. I have no oh, idea. Oh, yeah, PogChamp. Franker Face, that dog that you to on Twitch, right? PogChamp is the freaking Gutex face. There's zero chance I'm using Gutex face on my fucking channel. I don't want him on my channel. Bro, uh, it's PogChamp. Okay. Um, but I don't know. Franker uh. Face is that cute dog face. The thing is, aren't those owned by someone? Are, are those emotes not the property of someone? No. Right. I don't give a fuck. I, I have DSP emotes in my chat. And I did them because I'm petty. Just so, uh, I just because the SOK back in the day was crying emote. about people now using DSP as an emote. So I just community. put his face there. You're not going to have a chance that someone can they can get claim fucked. or cause problems, you know. There was a time years ago. Someone like they were having like crybaby Twitter drama over it. Some of the emotes I was using, they had made. It was a complete and blatant fucking lie. Okay. But they still tried it. And I, you know, I had, to, I had to deal with that aftermath too. So I mean, if you have your own, it's your face, it's your content. That's a lot safer than using someone else's emote from a third party site or whatever. So if you guys are interested in having more emotes on DSP Reacts, I'm down for that. I think we have at least one slot. I mean, look, we're close to 100. When we hit 100, I'm sure we're going to unlock even more. All right. But what do you want? And if you want something special, let me know. Maybe we can have someone work and maybe design something. But I would much rather have original emotes. Or if you guys just want to see me bring back classic emotes. Ones that we've already had in the past, and you want to see them, you know, here on this channel as well. We could do that too, but I don't know what it is you guys would want because we haven't really talked about it. it. Really, again, it hasn't just been any kind of a focus on this channel. It seems more it's more about the content than anything else, right? Okay. Second question from this person: Can you do a quick masterclass to train on the stream deck and integrate it into the stream? <laughs> no. no. I have a stream deck. It was donated no, by a fan he has a, a couple of years stream ago. Deck. It just sits there him. gathering dust. Sent it with something else instead of improving his stream. Can't use it. It needs Windows 10 and I have Windows 8.1. Well, upgrade. Upgrading my Windows. Nah, we on. can't do my, that. My computer's so outdated that if I were to upgrade my Windows, undoubtedly things would not work with this PC. There'd be components that stop working. Issues. No, and that's not I true. I don't deal with that because it works consistently right now. Oh, that's not true, Phil. Problems. That's full of shit. I'm when sorry to break it to you. I do upgrade this PC to a new one, and I Fucking have a new version, a modern version of Windows. I would be 100% in line with using a Stream Deck. I would love to, because these things, they're not working anymore. 
They're not. Listen to this. Ready? No. I don't know why. There's batteries in it. It doesn't want to work. This one doesn't work at all. And it has new batteries in it. So they don't work. All right? A stream deck would be amazing because then I could have sound effects, animations, things playing on the fly. I wouldn't have to do this. Stop it. Get some help. I'd just be able to press a button. Yeah, then why don't you put some play. effort into making it happen? A million years ago. Ten years ago. Why are we acting yeah, like you can't actually do it, man? Animation. I just press it. Every time I fail at a game, I could press it. We all it. know you can actually do it. You just don't want to. Silly memes and stuff. If I had them all programmed into the stream deck. But I, I don't have a new PC. I need a new PC to do he it. He needs a new right? PC. So right now, it's out of the question. Maybe of course. Of course. He <laughs> needs it. Man, I really oh, want to get that PC. I got to get okay. that fucking Actually, surgery. Maybe your questions there. Let's move on. Uh, how are we doing on time? About 20 minutes? All right, we still got about another 20, 25 minutes before I split the part. Cool. Split the part. The next question part. is from Battle Duck, who asks the following. Thank you, Battle Duck, by the way, for your question. Now that you've done a couple React sessions, both on documentaries and member submitted videos, correct? So that would be the long form Reacts I did on Pro Jared and Wings of Redemption, as well as my weekly DSP versus the Internet series. What are your pro what is your prognosis? Do you think that this is something that can last for a good long number of years? Could it be possible to of run out of content can. at some point in the foreseeable future and then have submitted content repeating? You can never run out of content to react to. If you happen sooner, if it happens sooner, if it happens sooner than you hoped, would you go back to less frequent event style documentary reacts? Um I think so far it's working. Listen, initially, and this is what happens with everything. Initially, you have interest because people it's something new. I want to see what it is. And you're going to have more people watching at the beginning of something launching and being new than you're going to have a few weeks to a few months down the line. Now, the hope is it's going to catch on. You're going to have a consistently new viewer base that will come and say, oh, I like the content, so I'll subscribe to the channel. I'll watch the content over time. <clears throat> yes, it's true with DSP versus, DSP versus the Internet. Yes, that's true. Some of the videos you know, don't get 1,000 views. Some do. Some get way more than 1,000 views. It depends on the subject matter. Overall, the first episode had like 7,000 views and each part after that only has had like 1,000, if that, right? It's on, a, it's on a decline because we're trying to find the sweet spot for React content. And again, when we find a video where there's something really neat that I'm reacting to, usually gets more views, right? The good news is this isn't about overall views. The channel is not, not supported about views. by views. The ad revenue yes. is The channel is supported by really, your donation. Insignificant. So as long as you keep that giving show, money, he can stream more, even more in front of five people. Members. Right? With five views. About consistency of support during the streams. It's so all good, dude. Get support it's during that about it. week, and people consistently become a member. We're okay. Do you see the difference here? It's not like all other YouTubers. Oh, I'm so reliant on on tons of video. <laughs> He's so much better football. than other YouTubers. Okay? Now, I have those seen fucking idiots. Other projects doing pretty. I good. hate other all YouTubers. Are doing decent. They're each getting at least a thousand views, if more, over time. Phil is the best. The reviews that I'm putting out, for the most part, the movie reviews and stuff, are getting about a thousand views, if more, over time. So again, it's subject matter related. Some subject matters people want more than, or less than others, and it's going to vary. Like the Sonic the Hedgehog two review is probably the worst one I've done views wise. There's other ones that have gotten over two thousand views. So it all depends again. But overall, it's working. Yes, it is. I can tell you this. DSP reacts has become a significant. This is like a literally like a shitty politician. Doing on the literally. Internet. And the thing as is, as long as you support me, vote for me. It's working. I can feel it. One stream a week for DSP. We're we're lowering those taxes. We're one stream a month. We're getting better as a society, as an economy. A couple extra minutes, a couple times a week for the reviews. Okay. And outside of that, it's literally you know, like a media, pathetic, a shitty politician in like a corrupt this is something that's gonna third be world country, once, right? He's just and so trash, and it's content. so like obviously show. trash. Day, there's one or two He's not even trying to hide it. Right? I, I mean, he is trying to hide it. He's just really bad at it. Uh, there's one or two new videos every day, so there's consistent stream of content, and the channel is doing better and better every day. It really is. It's doing, you know, oh, look at that. The income, you know, I'm making a good oh, amount. Look at on that. This. I'm making a good amount. It's it's adding up, and I feel. It will get better over time as we get no, more that's, members. It, it's only going to get worse, we'll man. Because with DSP, as it, the moment the hype wears off, it just flops. Yeah. This is like with the feasting, like but with the reacts. I do every other month. Barely anybody cares now. People are just tired of this. I don't know. This is something that I've told you guys for the last two years. I thought of phasing out of my content. And for some reason, people kept demanding that I was doing it. But here we are. We're more than halfway into the show. We're not even close to the tier one tips goal. You know, I would say... Ah, uh, there we go. We're begging. Members is nice. But 
obviously I think people are actually kind of bored. Bo this is the low, one of the lowest attended streams I've, I've ever done on the channel here. Yeah, so the lowest attended, the tips are low, so now maybe it's it trash. Kind of maybe we do 100 episodes and we just retire the show. And we're begging. Filthy, filthy. You know? Filthy Let's fill. See. But again, it's up to, it, all, like everything, it's up to you guys. Right? It's up to you guys. So you Give guys. me money. What works, what doesn't. Now. We continue what we don't do. Right? It's really up to you. Or don't. And I'm going to hey, beg you and make you feel bad. You know what you think. Do you still like the show? If you do, what do you like about it? What could, what could improve about it? Why do you think that today is such a slow day? Because again, but I But Phil, you, you don't I approve the comments that tell you what you can improve about it. Streams and memberships. You don't well, actually approve those comments. Those people get banned. Ages. Okay, just being honest. You see, he's being honest. So, does this support an entire daytime stream? Honestly, no. I, you know, I probably could have done a lot better doing something else. But it's really, you know, it's an experiment. It's the first time we're ever doing this on DSP React. An experiment. I didn't know if it was work or not? We had we had double the, the parasocial experiment. I would like oh. to call it like that. All right, so Battle Dog, I hope that answers some of your questions. Now, we have Mr. Nashville, who Mr. asked Trashville. me fire questions. Okay, I'm gonna do my best to answer each one of these. He's trying to hold ask the king Let's hostage. See. Like question number one. Christmas event. Enjoy Resident but bro, like, ask the king is so much less stakes than the Christmas event. It's just ask the king. It's something that he does every single day, every single day, with no exceptions. To a modern game. But Resident Evil 4 is doing a really great job as well. I don't know what kind of like authority he thinks he has with this event. Resident Evil 4 was more modern to begin with. It's just even his folks are bored. To make it feel like a better modern game. No, even don't. his dudes. At the same time, the things they've and they don't usually get bored by DSP added, shit. I really enjoy. You see. So again, it's kind of a mix. Um. Do I like them both? Yes, I do. What's better? I can't answer that yet. Question number two: Do you like to eat mashed potatoes? I like fresh mashed potatoes. Like you take real potatoes, you mash them up. And you make them fresh, maybe with a little bit of butter, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of As opposed to what, like, like microwavable mashed really don't potatoes? Like instant mashed potatoes. Yeah, they're not good. Like That's why you don't like them. Like grainy, and they're not as flavorful. But, you know, you of can't Of course, because they're mostly chemicals. A lot of work. So, fresh, yes. Instant, no. Are you looking forward to Diablo 4? I don't know how to feel about Diablo 4. Uh, no, Diablo he doesn't care about any of those games. Okay. I was basically in a situation where I loved Diablo 1 and 2 in the 90s. I absolutely loved them. I really did. And I was thinking that Diablo 3 was going to be another hit. I did. I thought that Diablo 3 was going to be like, wow, it was going to really catch on with my audience. And people were going to see my passion for that style of game. And it was going to be addictive and fun. But keep in mind, Diablo 3 came out before I was doing live streaming direct capture stuff. It was like right before. I think it was StarCraft and Diablo 3 was like right around that time or right before. <clears throat> so... What ended up happening was it came out and people hated it. They were absolutely bored by my Diablo 3 playthrough. Now, if I was an interactive streamer, maybe it would have worked. Maybe if I was talking with people and constantly interacting and we're having chill streams of it, like late night relaxing and we're having conversation about other things other than the game. You know what I mean? The social interaction we have during streams like we had over the years, Minecraft or Oblivion or other like the Fallout. Social games. interactions. Like the that, parasocial interactions. It wasn't. It was a focus solely on the game. And people really didn't seem to like it. It was actually... Out of all the playthroughs I've done, one of the least successful ones I did for the amount of time I invested in it, people didn't like it at all, okay? <clears throat> so maybe today it would be a little different if I played Diablo 4 because now I actually have chill streaming. Like the right same time frame that Diablo chill 4 streaming. Out, I hate the, the way he six, tries to brand it, split it to and slap it a label on it. It's a, it's a label in the store. You know, online, Phil's online, chill online, gameplay, online. not day, like your ordinary it's gameplay. It's much different. We alternate and we because it's boring. Day. Maybe then it would work as a chill stream. Buy now. now. You know what I'm saying? But I just think Diablo 3's formula did not work for the time frame that I was making content and the kind of content I was making. Do you understand? No. So am uh, I reiterate, please. Maybe, maybe not. I'm curious about it. I, do I want to play it? Yes. But at the same time, I'm apprehensive. I'm going to buy it, and everyone's going to hate on it again. Actually, I when this Diablo dude is done, I might I play Diablo some Resident Evil. I don't think Diablo Three was as good. Because I'm, I'm kind of feeling the vibe right now. Pretty good game. I don't know if people are going to like low key vibey. Okay. You know what I mean? Oh, you right. don't? Next Allow question. me to reiterate. Street Fighter Six. Yes, I am. Why? Because for the first time ever, it sounds like Capcom has listened directly to the consumer, and instead of just making a game just for the pro players, that's a tryhard's fucking online, you know, paradise. They're going to have a lot of content for other people. 
a, an online, or excuse me, an offline. Is the Tryhards Paradise the character go throughout the world, fight uh, you know against you know comp opponents that are controlled by the computer, but you earn abilities, you level up your character like an RPG. You're building the character's move set, which is really neat and never been done in a Street Fighter game before. It has been done before, but it was actually in the Soul Calibur series that did it back in the day. I remember having Soul Calibur on Dreamcast and it had the same mode where you could go around the world, you fight, you earn new weapons and abilities, you could customize your character as you played. And this game is doing the same kind of thing. It's been a long time since we saw something like this in any kind of a mainstream fighting game. That sounds exciting to me because it sounds like single player content anyone could enjoy. But then you're going to have the whole complex, robust online system of all the competition of these characters. There's a ton of characters that launch that are going to be in it. Now we're seeing new gameplay of Kami and Manon. If it's Manon or Manon, I don't know how to say her name. And Zangief and other characters. Like, oh, this looks really neat. This gameplay we're seeing looks fun. The characters are playing differently. This is nice. I can't wait to play the game and jump in and play it in different ways with different characters and stuff. So it looks great. It really, really looks great. Every aspect. So even though I'm going to be playing it in more of a casual capacity, I'm going to be covering it a lot. And I hope you guys will join me in June. Okay. What is my height? I am five foot 11 and a half. Five eleven. So technically I'm five foot 11. They don't give you an extra half inch. What's that in centimeters? So like five eleven. Can somebody just look it up? Feet. Am I taller than Phil? Um, which is your favorite memory when you were playing Street Fighter competitive? That's, that's too hard to call. First of all, a long time ago. <laughs> I really have to think hard about the various different accomplishments. I'm laughing at the at the you game because I'm so fucking stupid. On stage, on the only <laughs> oh, I'm taller than him. Yeah, I'm taller than him. My own. Not getting can suck my dick. Having close matches with the Japanese I died player. in the stupidest fucking way. That was way. pretty awesome. And then, you know, the years after that, like I said, that year when I went all around and I qualified at every major <sighs> Evo qualifier in the country and I had a spot. Yeah, his posture is real bad, though. In the finals. I could, I could probably that beat was amazing. his ass. Amazing feeling. That was really a way to show that no one could talk shit and say that it was just a fluke because I had the definitive evidence to show that I was good. And then people just forgot about that evidence like it never existed, which is hilarious that people forget the history selectively. To oh, they're trying to they're trying to rewrite but, his history, yeah, dude. Uh, Phil never you know, happened. Part, there's other parts, you know, just fun hanging out with people and stuff. Phil never existed, you guys. Happened, he was a figment of our imaginations collectively. Long time ago. We made up Phil um, existing. Who would I consider... Would I consider releasing a song someday? Like me singing? I don't think I really have the chops for that. People have remixed Come my on, dude. various songs and things over the years. Yeah, we every still do. Pre streams and on commercial breaks. Uh, I do, because I'm stupid. Music? Probably not. Okay. Have you watched anything else on HBO Max? You should release a rap song, though. I'm willing to produce it. We could do a collab. Another show that I've watched on HBO Max. And, uh, and then we can put it on his channel, and I'm going to copyright yeah. strike it. Yeah, <laughs> you see, that's created. the long con. The creator of Seinfeld. It's the big app. I actually really like this show. I think it's funny as shit. I know. I always heard about it. I'd never seen it, and now I'm watching it slowly, and I'm really, really enjoying it. I think it's a great show. In a lot of ways, I swear to God, it feels like my fucking real life. <laughs> it really does. I know it sounds sad, but it really does feel like a lot of situations I go through in my real life. <laughs> what? 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 What song? Okay. Um, would I ever consider learning a new language? At this point in my life, no. When I was younger, I thought about other languages. I can understand Spanish, but I cannot speak. You understand part, Spanish. Someone saying if they're speaking Spanish. Dinero, but por no, favor, really dinero. Is it 40? Por favor, so, senor. <clears throat> okay. Dinero. Uh, would you consider having a fan meet up one day in the future? No. You know? Because there are not this enough is, of them, and they're all very dangerous to it's society. It's significantly tougher than most content creators. Of course, because they're all because slow. I hate to say it. As much as and I it needs to be wheelchair accessible. I know would likely want to meet up with me and maybe have an autograph session and just shake my hand, hang out, have a discussion, chill for want to shake his hand. There's a lot of scumbags out there. And all this insane amount of slander and defamation against me on the internet has sadly made a lot of people not like me and hate me to the point where now they do messed up stuff. So, you know, to give you an example, there was, there was a perfect example of something we did a week ago. We were reacting to the Wings of Redemption second documentary by June the King. And Wings is just sitting there trying to play Call of Duty. And he's got someone following him around. Or was it, was it Rainbow Six? It was one of the games. And someone's completely trolling this it was guy. Rainbow Seven. Like making his life miserable. And he actually opened up voice comms with the guy. And he says, why are you doing this to me? He says, you know, I, uh, I don't know you. Right? At all. I don't know you. I don't know you from anyone. Why would you harass me like this? And they said, oh, well, because I saw the Sunny V documentary. 
and the Sonny V documentary. Oh my sure God, shit. bro! From that documentary, that this true. is just so he can and shit on Sonny V too. Piece of shit! I'm gonna harass you. This is literally like he's Which using like, Wings like, drama to make it about himself honestly, again. Intelligently, you do realize that everything on the internet is not true. What a fucking sack of shit, of man! Things out of context. They don't explain the full situation. You know, I'm not a perfect human. I have many flaws, but. Likely what you saw in that documentary is, is kind of exaggerated or not correct. Oh. Fan meetup for, for Phil would be an FBI sting Twitch operation says, I don't today. care. Now I know you <laughs> this shit. I'm going to right? Yeah. So. The FBI this sting is operation. Here. Yeah, right. Derek. Let's you can I show up. Day. Make sure to be I'm by yourself. You know, there's like hot, right? of age, alive, and, uh, unrelated girls. And they're all like very excited to see you. I'm going to meet up. I'd like you guys to know. That I'll be at this convention. Don't worry, come over. Would like to meet up with me? Perhaps I would like to be in this place at this time. If you would like to meet me and shake my hand and get an autograph, right? What's to stop one of these fucking nut jobs who saw all nothing? This I'm coming for you, Phil. To go Look at how I'm place. killing people in the video game. This no, is you in real life. Once I get you, no, I'm not. You're I a finish, dude. Come assault me and shoot me or something. I'm like going to assault you. But that doesn't mean that someone wouldn't try. I am coming. To harass or cause problems and make my life miserable. I will get a special Why vest. Put yourself in that situation. If you know there's so much I am coming shit for about you. you on the internet, and there's so many people who are dumb and actually yes. believe it all. I'm crazy. Word for word, they don't understand. I'm obsessed with destroying your life. Exaggerated the for the purposes of entertainment, for the purposes of personal benefit. Let's face it: the more you exaggerate, or the more you say is real that's not actually proven to be real, it'll give you clickbait. It gives you money. It gives you popularity. It makes the meme continue. Ah, uh, yes. Intelligent people get that. But sadly, not everyone on this planet is intelligent. There is an increasing group of stupid people who watch it on the internet and just fucking believe it. I mean, there's entire conspiracy groups on the internet that believe horse shit about government and fucking, you know, WWE politics, champions? All these insane conspiracies. Oh, no, we're it's talking about, that. like, QAnon. If they're that dumb to believe that, they're probably dumb enough to believe everything they've seen on YouTube about me, right? So if you've heard... Yes, the QAnon crowd is going to come after Phil. Right? Because he about, scams idiots for money. You say someone won't believe it, and now I meet... I, oh, I'm, let's have a meetup. And this person comes and tries to do all kinds of fucked up things, not only to me, but also to my viewers as to well. To my family. You have to understand, again, when things happen, it's not just me, it's also my fan base that gets affected negatively, right? Two weeks ago, all that drama didn't just affect me. It very much affected my viewer base, and they were very upset. I mean, it seems like when Keemstar does all fan meetups, he content. survives. Right. I made a mistake. So I don't know, I dude. a group of people. And he is far more hated correct. than fucking DSP just, is. You know, once again, someone out to exploit, out to, you know, get a, ben a positive benefit. Um, a positive of, benefit, of, of, of as opposed to negative they benefits. Care about the repercussions at all. Ah, yes. Me that yes, my children. They yes. They don't, they don't negative they don't have benefits. Like a lot of us do. All right. So there you go. And These what has got a negative you know, benefit. A whole week of, of stress and drama and harassment and all kinds of shit that we had to put up with. And I'm sorry for that. I've already apologized for it. Right. Oh, uh, he's say, example, he's I never gonna get go over this man. He is finished. His there brain is, is just turned to like mashed potatoes. Wow. And I don't know if the risk outweighs the reward. Does it make sense? There's no reward, man. You got no fucking fans. They don't give a shit about you. Get real. Get a fucking job. We could be harassed. We could be trolled. We could have people doing really dumb shit. Yes, I am coming for you, as I said. really messed up stuff has happened to content creators. I will live in your walls. Fucking ice Poseidon, right? So what's to say that that crazy shit like that wouldn't happen? Nothing. I can't prevent that from happening, you understand? I can't. I can't make crazy people not believe the dumb shit they've seen on the internet. And again, well, you can make them by the disproving them. Oh, everything's just innocent. Oh, it's all just in good fun. That's how the internet works. No, this is how people get killed. <laughs> really? This is how people get oh, fucking fuck, killed because you promote toxicity stupid. on the internet. You have a, a responsibility when you're a content creator who has a viewership and a viewer base to propagate positivity, not toxicity. If you propagate toxicity, toxicity propagate game, positivity, not toxicity. Problem with the internet, and you're Fucking the reason idiot. why people get hurt and killed because of trolling. It's fucked up. You think it's funny? It's not. You made a this few bucks. This guy thinks he has the level of exposure a dictator has. Don't yeah, you? man. Like his opinion of himself. So, I, I I get I it. People really have fucked with him, but does he really think somebody's right. actually gonna try and kill him? Is, it like, is, is he actually does thinking it really that? Sense? Somebody's yeah. gonna risk their own life and go to jail just to kill Dark Side fucking Phil. Dark Side fucking Phil. To meet in real life. 
it's fucked up to think that way, but that's what I- Cause why? Cause he played champions. And he shits you know, on except, people on his just, streams. Oh, just go through life accepting everything will be good and happy. And everything will be fine. I can't do that. I got too much going for me. I got oh, a family fuck. I love. That you know, I got I got people I gotta care about. I yeah, bro, you're not gonna, gonna get you know. fucking shot in the face. You're not that prominent. Nobody's gonna risk their life for yours. So Your life is finished stuff. enough. You're washed up. Like you're done, man. Friends. You're paranoid. You're fucking schizophrenic. You're why finished. Wouldn't well, wouldn't I like to meet with some people? Get who a grip. Like Come on. I, do. who talk, I talk with every day. I'd love to meet some people from the chat who are regulars and stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. Out, shake a hand, totally. have a meal, have a drink. Have a meal. You know, shoot the shit. It's awesome. I did that back in the day, remember? Too many games. Uh, screw that gaming convention. Uh, you went there fast. for Those like other type of reasons, that we though. Spent time. We played games at arcades together and shit. It was super fun. I don't think I can do that anymore because the internet took that away from me. The internet oh, took that it. away the from me. You took, took that, that away from yourself, the idiot. Decade of harassment. The decade of toxicity. The harassment. Allowed. Harassment no is out of nowhere. It just happens to exist. Jokes. Do you really think it's just jokes? With the amount of fucked up things that have been happening? He was playing video games so. and one day he just got swatted. Jokes. And he did nothing massive to provoke any of it. Harassment. It just, just it just started one day. It spawned out of nowhere. It was RNG. That can be done. It just happened to be Phil. Now, if someone tried to do something in real life, you call the police, but you're already setting yourself up. Call the Phil. police, Phil. You know what I mean? So yeah, it definitely 100%. It's not going to save you from me when I'm over. Like I probably shouldn't. <laughs> Let's make this new meme that I'm coming to get him. <laughs> I'd love to spend time with my viewers, but I can't. Uh, that, that ability seems to have been taken away from me by a group of. I'm like an obsessed fan. Let's pitch it like that. Gain and had no moral compass whatsoever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you know? sure. I can't make those people. Bro, look. Better. If if you're like one of those not, dudes trying to make yourself look like a good so person on the ago. internet, Here's there's no group. point. Just another one. Just another There's a lot of bad people who are very successful. It doesn't really matter if you're a good person or a bad person. At the end of the day, it's kind of all for you. I'm done with this. You can jerk yourself off all you want about being a good fucking person and a moral person. And you can still be a failure and beg for tips every day. You know what it doesn't really matter. Why even bother? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do my thing, enjoy my life with my wife. We'll do online content together that's safe, so that way we don't get fucked with. Safe and online what else can content. I do? You know, it sucks. I would hope that one day things would change. But it seems like the more that I've ignored it, because everyone says you don't entertain trolls, you ignore them. When you give them entertainment, when you give them the time of day and t attention, that just makes them get worse. No, actually, it doesn't matter what I do; it gets worse. You know, I've tried. So, I've tried completely ignoring. I've tried addressing. Neither of it does anything. No I don't one know cares. what to tell you. And they just keep doing what they do because they can I'll get away. I'll touch them anytime I feel like. Care about I'm touching them now. With themselves, selfish fucking people. So yes. In that regard, you know, it is what. When it is. has DSP I been selfless? I Literally point, everything he does no, is related to personal myself, gain and personal of some gain. type. I just don't see it. You know, it's either financial been, or it's views or it's ego. Like it's all like related to personal gain. Exclusively, what? almost. No one wanted to do that. No one wanted to care. Everything he does it. needs to be dangled in your face as a favor he did for you. He did it for you, so you better appreciate it in the form of money or views. You can have your toxic fucking Mister. I'll be no part of it. I don't want to be any part of anyone's bullshit ever again. You're not going to bring me the key part of success for your formula of toxic bullshit. I'm done with it. I'm just not. I'm not. I'm not going to deal with it anymore. There's no point. I love this narrative I'm, that they I'm used so him for success. I don't care about your. They used a fundamentally a failure of a person for success. Fuck you. you know, I'm not gonna give you that opportunity. It's yet. actually impressive you know, that they did off. it and they and were successful alone, at it. My fan base alone. We're just gonna do our own thing on my channels. Leave yeah, me alone. To do with Never talk to me or my son Derek ever again. There you go. All right, one more question before we take a break, okay? Oh, and we take another break. Uh, Come on. Um, from Castro I gotta Jenkins. show people my shitty when gameplay. I was you play Street Fighter 6 during some matches, you seemed kind of disappointed in the game. Maybe you weren't. However, my question is, what are your thoughts on newer fighting games and the direction the fighting game companies are going? Uh, they suck and to more casual they were better back in the day when he was relevant. Um, See, without you specifically referencing... He literally is taking breaks from a Castro, from answering I questions. I don't know exactly... I, I can't actually doing. believe he's doing it. When I was playing the Street Fighter 6 beta, there was a few observations that I made. All right? Personally, I didn't like the fact that the I forgot I, I've, I've totally forgotten what it's even called. Drive cancel, drive impact, drive impact. Is it? I think the drive impact moves. Drive style were just impact. Too because 
The online play is better. But I wanted him to, to interject to the word imp uh, impact style into down. literally everything. Spamming literally them. everything. Because of the super armor nature of the move and getting cheap hits leading to giant. Having power. a midlife style crisis. If you're going to have a giant a divorce move, style proceedings. It could end the round for you. That move should be insane. A virus. federal it's style investigation. Round tops. That's, that's so much more back. fun. It's funny because be, oh, Street Fighter Six doesn't have so much back. more fun. Yes, Just put style in everything. Game. Everything is stylish. Okay. But, we styling and profiling. Like, I felt like he was overpowered. You could keep, keep doing it. People we're doing styling it and racially the profiling. Like, what is this shit? Why is look? It there's there? a black woman. She's gonna steal the black pack. Automatically overpowered. I wanted them to. No. Nerf I don't know if they will in the final game or not. I feel like it's stupid. Again, unless you have like a perfect stupid. internet connection. This is criticism from Kim. This is stupid and I don't like it. And, get and it's for doo doo heads and it's stinky duty. It seemed like it was set up to really do this that. is a 40 year old guy giving criticism. Outside uh, of that, you know, doo -doo. playing a game for the first time. This is my and opinion. You're encountering a character or whatever and you have no idea what this character's capabilities are. I'll be honest. Yeah, it seemed like there were certain characters who would be throwing out normal attacks that were almost unstoppable. Really. It was like almost unstoppable. Um. I'm sure that's not the case. As I said, the beta was very limited with what it had. So maybe there's going to be characters that are specifically meant and designed to be other characters. There always seems to be this kind of rock, paper, scissors. I hope somebody sends character. him a question uh, about why he overpronounces the T's. Usually be and what's up with that? Because that's that's a question right? I'm genuinely the interested in. Character because I feel like it's it genuinely gets harder for him to actually speak. Zoner usually can be as he gets older and drinks more alcohol. I think it's right? like it's actually rock, harder for him to maybe, talk. And I'm fighting Jamie, and I'm trying to figure. I out feel like he's Jamie. genuinely having Jamie difficulties pronouncing stuff and just like using his mouth. It's almost like his muscles are becoming paralyzed. Stop this kick, and it's fast, and it doesn't really can be punished. What am I supposed to do? This stupid kick. But maybe I don't know enough about the game. Or maybe I just don't have the right character. To or maybe... You know what I'm saying? So, uninstall. I feel that when the full game is out, there's going to be a lot more options. You're gonna, I'm going to have the full range of grapplers, zoners, everything. There wasn't all of that in the beta. It was very limited with what was there. So actually having that ability to try all these different characters in different situations, I feel like it'll be a much better game to learn and enjoy. Now... Casualizing of fighting games has been happening ever since Street Fighter 4. He's had Street multiple Street silent Street strokes. Street I don't know Street much about that to know. I know he has Chain one Street. stroke for sure. I've for seen example, it. It's on video. It used to be if you wanted to do a dragon punch or And he doesn't really want to talk about it. You'd have to tap forward down, and the rest I don't down know. forward like this with your finger to make sure you can come out. That was the motion and then you press a button. In Street Fighter 4 they said let's dumb it down. So instead of having to do this complex motion, you literally would just mash like this at the corner and press punch, and you get a Shoryuken. So by dumbing it down, it appealed to the masses, but it also dumbed down the skill level required to play the game at any kind of a competitive level. So what you ended up seeing was more and more people playing competitively, but not necessarily the game being as tough to play. When a game is tougher to play, you're going to see higher level matches, more variety of gameplay. You're going to see skill. What's happened with Street Fighter, especially with Street Fighter V, oh my god... The skill level went boop to play it, and the, the player base went oop up. But it's funny because you would say to someone who plays Street Fighter V, "Man, this game's you know me missing meaningful footsies." And meaningful. Play, like, what's a footsie? What's meaningful? You don't even understand the competitive terms. Meaningful of footsies. Because the game was dumbed down to the point where you didn't. Even Maybe you're just dumbing understand. down the way you express your thoughts, Phil. Game. So what Maybe I'm that's your problem. Street Fighter Six. That's not the case. I hope that it's going to have a competitive skill level needed. This game is not meaningful ground. enough. Maybe Make not. it meaningful. We'll have this easy level entry again, Mr. Burnell, what is meaningful? Street Fighter Five. Also, this but is a Burger King. Want to play it, you know, at a competitive level. I'm really, really strongly hoping that Street Fighter Six will have that high level competitive edge that Street Fighter Five I felt did not. All right, all right, guys. All right, guys. That's it for part two of Ask the King. We have one more part left. I'm going to take a brief Let me break. reiterate. Live on stream. If you're here watching live, it'll be like a five-minute break. Why? On demand. Well, there will be Why are we going to be doing this? To watch. And what we're going to do is do some Why Twitter are you questions. gay? A couple Twitter questions, some shout-outs, and we're going to A couple Twitter questions. Chat. I thought there were no more Twitter, Twitter questions. questions the show. Thank you all for being a great audience, those who are watching, and those who supported in any way. Thank you as oh, well. Oh, what a great audience. We'll back shortly with the third and final part of Ask of the King. Of dudes who complained about Thanks him answering stuff then. the whole time. Well, I guess it's gaming time. It's champions time, so I'm uh, attacking an outpost. 
in the game. Okay, everyone. What? So indeed, I am going to go on a break here. It'll be about a five-minute break. Run some. Go on a break, dumbass. Last chance to contribute in any way if you would like to. Oh, we're begging. Stream, as you can see, literally begging. For some odd reason, this is one of the least supported ass the kings I've ever. Literally. Done. I don't know. If people are just done with the show at this point. Um. Pathetic. I guess we'll see. Maybe we can pick up this last part. This is my whole main stream of the day, so it would be great if we could get Pathetic. a little bit more of any kind. Uh, when I come back worthless for the final content let's do unrecorded it. begging and it's like really humiliating pity party begging a little bit uh, this is my only content for the day man ah, I wish you guys would support it a little bit boy uh, so anyways I'm playing far style cry 5 bro 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 these fucking songs are gonna give me multiple strokes let alone Phil uh, anyways I'm playing far style cry uh, number five and he can't be at 10 bucks, man. He can't actually have $10. Because one minute man was here. Yeah, 20? Oh, wow. He got like 10 in total. Some some moron is going to send him like 50 bucks. I can almost guarantee you. Because that's how most streams go like this. He's going to beg in the end. And in the final stretch, somebody's going to save the day. So anyways. I am playing uh, Cry of the Farness. And... It's the fifth style one. So this is what I'm actually doing. I don't know why I'm playing it. I guess because it's kind of chill. You can just go around, kill a bunch of like cultist individuals and clap their cheeks. And now I'm breaking into some random outpost that I actually don't even remember playing because this is like my second playthrough of the game. Overall, not my favorite. Uh, I, I don't love it, but it's fine. It's, I, I guess this is like my ultimate review of any Ubisoft game. It's not my favorite, but it's fine. Because it scratches a certain itch, and there's like a million of them. Depending on like, what, what, what you're into. So if you're into um, open world GTA imitations, you can just play Watch Dogs. If you're into medieval action RPGs, you can play Assassin's Creed. And if you're into FPS, you can play Far Cry. And it's basically the same thing over and over and over and over again. So yeah, that is, I guess that is supposed to be the selling point and the good thing about it. And watch this. Wow, I hit him in the face. And now he's on the floor. And my dog is just running around, but I guess nobody's gonna detect him because uh, some cool NPC. Okay, dropped. Busted my ass. Let's loot this buddy. And uh, let's see what we got. I think I tagged everybody, which is probably my least favorite feature of any Ubisoft game is the x-ray vision where you can literally see everybody and when you disable it the game actually becomes more fun because you can actually think about where people are on the map imagine this it's groundbreaking mentality but I'm kind of too lazy for it I'm looking for kind of a, a chill playthrough it's a Friday night I don't want to be stressed out playing video games dude that's why I'm going to be playing Resident Evil later so it can scare the shit out of me so yeah, in case you're interested in that, you can stick around because I really, I really don't do, not, not that I don't do well in horror games, they just scare the shit out of me. I'm very easily scared. Uh, and if I play something like RE7, I think I'm gonna positively lose my mind. So it's probably gonna be pretty entertaining for, for people. I still haven't decided if I'm gonna do Resident Evil 7 or the remake. So I'm going to run a poll right before I start. So it's going to be like a five minute poll. And I might make a break to get myself a drink or something. And then we're going to get started. I would like to do this outpost at like undetected. And potentially like ghost it if I can. Because like this is the, the more fun way to do it. So if it's possible I can do it. But I don't have any silencers. So I'll have to do it with the knife. If I take down people like this guy. Oh, and I missed. Okay, I got him this time. Don't fall. No. Oh, he fucking fell. Now somebody's gonna see him. Okay, no more alarms. So at least I got this one. Uh, yeah, I see chat was split on the... Um, on... On Ari... What was it? Uh, I actually can't turn it up, but I'll turn off my sidechain. At least I'll turn it down. So this should be kind of better. Uh, 
yeah, I see chat was split between both Resident Evil, so I don't know. I'm fine with both. I have them both, so. I think, personally, 7 is going to be scarier, because I've seen some bits of the game, and it's, it's like first person, so it's, it definitely looks like it's going to terrify me way more. Okay, this dude is getting killed. And, yeah, he's dead. Now I'm going to teabag him just to assert dominance. Did I get a um, remake 4? I haven't. I might get it when it gets cracked or something, because I'm not big enough fan to get it full price. And it's also not something that I can get a lot of mileage out of. Because, like, I bought WWE... Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, no. Yes. That's how you do it. Stealth boy style. Anyways, I got WWE 2K23, but that shit, I can play that for, like, at least 100 hours. And there's, like, the community creations and stuff. I also bought FIFA 23, because it's the last one. They're not going to make any more. Or at least called FIFA. So, yeah. And eventually I'll get it when it gets, like, uh, when it gets discounted. Or when I actually play the other ones. So I think there's, like, what, three guys more? But I gotta take him in a stealthy way. Hit him like, oh, fuck, how did I even miss? Okay, this guy is down, but the other got triggered? He's not actually alerted though, he just knows somebody is there. He is aiming. Okay, let's try and flank him a little bit. Because I can't, like, actually shoot. Or else they're gonna get me busted. Okay, I got one. Oh, no, 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 no. I cocked the grenade real quick. And I got no more throwing knives, but if this dude is truly the last one, I should be able to just shoot him in the face. No. Okay, there we go. Yeah! Undetected. Zero alarms. Banger, there we go. That's how you do it. You shoot him in the face, because uh, he's a cultist on the floor. There we go. And this is how you do play Far Cry 5 on the easiest difficulty. It's not the easiest, but these games on normal with all the HUD on are easy as hell. They're like amazingly easy. And now when I put a silencer on this rifle, it's gonna get even easier. But I would rather put it on the gun, uh, I mean on the pistol, because I like me some 1911. That, that shit is always good. It's such a good looking gun. And gets the job done. I also like this this one. I haven't unlocked it yet, but eventually I will. Uh, this one. No, not this one. This one. Yeah. This one is cool. Anyways, let's just slap a quick suppressor on this one and just keep moving. Yeah, there we go. Good rifle to the father. They are a murderer and a coward. These games, they always have way too much, um, way too much HUD. It's way too much stuff on your screen. It tells you too much, like with the X-ray vision. Of course you can turn it all off, which is cool. I usually like turning it all off. And there's a helicopter here, which is even cooler. Uh, no, I don't want these. Take it down to the AI is terrible, though. And a lot of these games, if they had some better AI, they would genuinely... It would really elevate the experience. Especially because it's... Ah. Come on, man. Okay, fuck it. Ah, fuck it. Um, especially because they're single-player games. So a single player game with some good AI that convinces you that it's actually like intelligent, it, it really elevates it. it. Really makes it like much better than than having a Ubisoft AI that just kind of exists. So what was I gonna do? I was gonna go to the main mission and the the only place in the map that actually is fun, which is Falls End. And the rest of the map, I gotta say, this map is boring as hell. Like we, oh, Phil is back. Let's uh, let's split the part, you guys. 
Last chance to support if you would like, guys. Last okay. chance to All support. Right. Last call. Anyone? Support? Please? Hello? Please? Please? Anyone? No, I guess not. This last chance. Last chance. Any support will be appreciated. Mail, motherfucker. Mail, motherfucker. Well, big ups for not supporting, you fucking idiots. All right, everyone. Welcome to the conclusion of Ask the King for March 31st, 2023. This is episode 95. Yes, the show has been running for that damn long. I hope that you're enjoying it. It's hard to tell from the live stream, I'll be honest. It's actually one of the lowest engaged live streams I've had. <laughs> so maybe people are just tired of the show. I don't know. Immediately as he starts. Immediately. Versus this oh, I don't even know if you're Let enjoying know. this, you guys. Is, Do you have it indicated with your I'll financial you contributions? I've been telling you guys two years ago <laughs> that I thought maybe this show was getting played out and maybe we shouldn't really care that much about it anymore. But you guys essentially have asked me to keep the show in the rotation. Oh, and now you see what we're doing now. So you see what we're doing. Oh, you guys wanted this. I don't know why today is so low, lowly supported and we transitioned right into that. It's so abusive, man. And it's so transparent. That's what pisses me off even more. Because it's like, it's so obvious what he's trying to do. All right. And uh, please, you know, share. But I mean, distinctly today, attendance on the stream, very low. Engagement, low. Obviously support. Everything was low. So let's see what else happens if, you know... It's just a filthy begging stream. Disguised as I care about you guys. Anyway, this is part three. This will be the final part. All right? If you're watching live on stream, thanks for sticking with me and uh, and enjoying the stream. If you're watching on demand, this will be the third part for this show, and then the next one will be in a couple of months in late May. Again, to reiterate, I talked about this at the beginning of the show, but ways you can post up your questions. Number one, I've already made a thread on dspgaming.com would you can post up questions. Why are you bringing show? this up? That's You're supposed to have all your questions right. already. Around probably early May, people who are members on DSP Gaming or here on DSP Reacts will have a special thread on the community tab where you can post up your questions for the show. We've now gotten through all the member questions. So you saw how much of the show that was. It was a huge chunk. Um, yeah, because so he was meandering and giving sure. intentionally okay. long-winded responses. Now, in addition to that, Re um, you know, yeah, I thought that season passed, questions. dude. We're gonna answer that season questions. was paywalled. Like I said, a lot of trolls on but here, so I didn't really pay too much. I, I guess we got more. I really do feel like Twitter's on the well, way. Well, that's how it is, dude. It's I the season all year round. And then you know, of course, live. It's on a the festive well, event. Patron as every, well, every right? time. So there you go. Over and over again. Okay. Um. Let's uh let's continue. Let's do a few, some it's like in questions. purgatory. Some questions from the forums. All right. It's purgatory. So we've got Jidose Kishimonimi one. Huh? Jidose Kishimonimi one says, "Listen, <laughs> what a name." Ko Gaming one. What equipment would you recommend for an as aspiring game streamer to get? Do you have any suggestions to keep prices low and any advice? You give them starting. Uh, seven twenty p cam and a games. big dildo. You know, some key components that you need. Obviously, you need a capture device of some sort. <clears throat> the question is, what kind of games are you ca capturing and streaming? And do you care about the quality? A lot of people shit, still shit. to this day stream at 720p because they care more about, you know, interaction with their community or whatever than the quality. I would recommend 1080p to be the standard for game streaming. So yes. people don't even do that. But I would say 1080p should be what you go for. In which case, you want probably at least a, a mid-range capture device. You don't have to go top of the line and go crazy 4K stuff. Most people can't even watch stuff in 4K these days. I would just go for 1080p. That's not right? true. Most people um, can watch stuff in 4K. You're going to need a setup that's going to sound and look good. It's I'm just not really worth it. A more professional grade mic. I've seen some people just buy a Yeti, and that's perfectly fine for their purposes. You can just get a good headset. Professional grade many years ago, and... I'm very happy I did because let's be honest, here we are many years later, it still works fine. Well, he is a professional, good. I mean, obviously. obviously. He's making hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. Tripod, not a tripod. Well, it is a tripod, but it's got a uh, this arm that holds it in place. This is a pop guard that stops from when I say pop, pop, pop. You don't hear like a big poo, poo sound. Yeah, but we can still That's hear your sword. background noise, dude. So all um, that actually, fucking jerking off is kind of pointless. Music. Uh, music and uh, audio capture device. I don't know what it's called. It's called the Scarlet, Scarlet something. Um, the Xbox Scarlet? And that's Scarlet? what these professional grade mic plugs into. All right, and then that converts it for USB to go into my computer. It's not just a plug and play USB mic I use. It's actually a professional studio quality mic. And that's why it's lasted so long as it has. And it's a really yeah, good mic. Fuck this. Um, it's expensive. You know, this mic's probably 200 bucks, but it's still really It's not good. that expensive you know, that, for the amount of money you make, dude. 
What are you talking okay. about? You fucking lunatic. Out of it. We're using it all day, it's expensive. Day. It's literally the thing you use every single day, um, all the time. Upgraded my lighting. It's my the, god, the god, only god, thing you want to invest god, a lot of money in. Months. My god, using this ring light is so effing good. Look how different I look today than I did for all those years when I was using some crappy lamp in the background. Wait, there's I a fucking couldn't machine recommend a ring light uh, more strongly. And this is a cheap one. This is one that's not expensive. It's a Kensington. This is a computer uh, peripherals company that has made you know these kind of peripherals for many, many years. I think this was like 30, 40 bucks, this ring light, if that. And it has nice settings, adjustments. It has daytime. I use the daylight setting, but there's also a, light, a setting that's way brighter that makes you look more white and washed out. And you know it has much more brightness than I'm using here. So tons of features and it's cheap. It just sits right on your tripod. You have a little light adjuster. Super duper useful, okay? Um, you're going to want a webcam. I don't think you need to go crazy with a webcam. Most webcams today that say they do 1080p, likely you're good enough. This is not an expensive webcam I'm using. This is just a kind of a standard Logitech 1080p webcam from a few years ago. And it, it serves its purpose. Anything that says it's 1080p is probably going to be good enough. Unless you're some kind of crazy, oh my god, I'm, I'm a model or something. You want to be sure. Oh my god, I'm a model. Sure. You probably don't care about the quality of your webcam that much. But this I would say trash webcam, fucking advice. ring light, tripod for the ring light professional grade microphone or even just a yeti you could plug in it's like a cheap one for usb that's fine as long as it doesn't sound terrible you might want to invest in some soundproofing i have soundproofing behind me you can't really uh, see no it no 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 that's up, fucking bullshit that's they're some they're fucking they're bullshit they're wait they're i i have to pause you on that. that you fucking piece of shit look if you actually give a fuck and you're like you want to um, actually try and optimize your setup and you want to look up stuff how to make it all seem good and look good and sound good or whatever you can do it with a quarter of the money that he spent get way more value if you actually care he doesn't care so he just buys stuff and plugs it in the electric socket and puts it in front of him and then it works and it exists and then he flexes about it but you could do it way more efficiently at a much better budget. And you can actually go out there and look for stuff. You don't have to ask Dark Side Phil because he doesn't know shit. Of the you can update stuff and do stuff when you're not just sitting there in front yeah, of your look, screen. Yeah, look, it's a Here's keyboard. Buy a keyboard, little, little, little you guys. Little accessory Buy a right? keyboard. Headphones. Obviously, you need some kind of headphones. The thing is, I've seen people just seriously just stream with standard stereo headphones, and they don't, you know, it's not a big deal. Yeah. Because you're a crazy audiophile who's caring about like you? sound and stuff. Like you? You don't really have to go crazy. You care like about surround sound. Or anything like True that. surround you know sound. So, is it cheap to get into streaming? Is Phil a crazy no. audiophile? Probably minimal. Minimum $500 just for the bare basic low This end dude is fucking Probably. tweaking. You're this dude is fucking tweaking $500. Webcam, ring light, microphone. You are fucking sick. You are sick, my boy. $500. Wow. You need. You're gonna to get into streaming, out. to literally oh, stream on Twitch settled. in front of five people. $500? Are you serious? Bruh. Last, and it'll, it'll get you into it. You know, those are the basics. There's way more advanced things you can get Give me a that. fucking break. Why is it so quiet you know, now? You're just, you gotta start somewhere, you know? Oh, it's but actually A lot of people me. think, oh, if I'm gonna get into streaming, I need $2,000. That's really not true. That's really not true. You, you could get away on sales and stuff, and you could get stuff for cheaper. You know what I'm saying? So... There you go. Hopefully that helps. Um, the next question is from Puck Factor, who says, Phil, I've been a longtime viewer since 2009. I watched you as I've grown up. I'm now 25 years old, and I've just gotten out of the army. I love playing video games, and I always have, but I realized for me it's not realistic to, to earn a living. Okay. So you don't like, have to. Don't don't go into this shit in like, in know, order to I earn a living. Helicopter company, but what exactly did you do? Fucking idiot. Did you enjoy it? I'm really interested in your input. No, yo, yo. Aspect of making a living. This you is know, like this weird. shit is starting to piss me off at this point. Literally everything is bait. Literally everything is bait. They got him talking about a helicopter company. Are you kidding me? Are you actually serious? And he's gonna talk about it now. This he's this fucking dumb. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> no way. It's very different for everyone. Fuck um, me. How it's handled or what, what you would do in life. I held many jobs. I started off working at a fast food job. And I did that for several years through high school. Then I worked at Circuit City, an electronics and media store. Then I worked for a uh, 
She worked at Circus he's City because he's a fucking clown. Predatory lender. I didn't know that at the time. <laughs> I really didn't. They now scammed him into working as a scammer. This is the story he wants to tell you. That I was working for. This is what he wants to sell you. Then I worked at Best Buy for uh, a little over a year. Uh, then I went and I worked at the helicopter company, you know? So it's not like I consistently had one kind of job. I was kind of all over the place, whether it was retail sales, working for a bank, working for customer service for a helicopter company. And then when I worked at the helicopter company, they had me do so many different things. First, I was just supposed to be customer service. Tell us about you know, it, Phil. They got me going what for did you have training to do? in continuous improvement and things. They got me learning about materials ordering. They got me learning about export licensing. It was a crazy stuff. It was like, geez, all this shit that they were having me do that was not in my job description. Um, you gotta be careful about that, by the way. You work for corporate America and they keep having you do extra work and they're not paying you for it. There's corporate no America, is this a company? You know what I mean? Um, sounds like a pretty shitty thing, company. Like, so, sounds like some cyberpunk company. A million things. Welcome you know? to corporate America. Things. I would have loved. Where your dreams are not just dreams, they're reality. Must be a truck backing up outside. Do you hear that? I yeah, they should back up into your house so we can stop taking this stupid bait. They lied to me about all the promises that they had made. They had absolutely lied about everything that they had promised me. Oh, if you do this extra work and we don't pay you for it, but you do the extra work, you'll get promoted. You'll be able to do this, which is what you say you like more than customer service. We'll do this. We'll do this. They, you know, they were just blowing smoke up my butt for four and a half years and they laid me off. So pretty messed up. You didn't have to lay me, me off. I've done at the company and sadly corporate America. Make me get a like certification it. and like but we I were really nothing. For you only because I never really I'm going fucking crazy at this point. I'm sorry. <laughs> I did. Long term. <laughs> this this oh, fucking this ass the king broke me, man. YouTube game. Making videos, making content, live streaming. This is the longest I've ever done anything. Okay? Yeah, and you have to be begging just to stay afloat. So you're you're not good at doing it, man. So there you go. When are we gonna admit oh, yeah. he's just not the good at doing it? From the forums. When when is that gonna happen? From Felix the May. Do you think streaming and making YouTube videos is worth the hassle in 2023? No. It all depends on what. It's not even worth it for him. And it also depends on. I mean, scale I guess it is. Other factors, you know. Here, here's the difference. When I started in 2009, 2008, I guess, to now, in 2008, because 2008, he YouTube keeps taking and the bait. And everything was not massively oversaturated. And he used to masturbate. You could but put out now genuinely he's just fun taking content bait. that you just found fun. You didn't care about production value. You didn't care about how it. You looked, don't care about sounded. production value now. With something, and people would watch it, and people would enjoy it for what it was. Thank you for that free content. Thank you for that heartfelt content that you just made. We really appreciate that. That's free entertainment, and you put it out. You would be surprised to see the levels of positivity oh. that there were back in the day. Because there wasn't a lot of it, man. What you uploaded, as long and now as there's a lot of it. It's not like special massive, anymore. Massive amounts of, of this shit that he's that doing. He has like literal thousands of people doing high. on a daily basis. Positive feedback on the videos and comments and things. It was night and day from today. Today, it seems like the vast majority of people out there are out to kind of crap on things. They're just right. they, they are entitled haters. Entitled just, oh, put it out, it They're be, entitled like, for content. Quality, insane, you know, oh my God forbid that there's blurriness in your video. God forbid that your mic doesn't sound good. God forbid this, that, that. When has That's your ever been, been five star so quality? Saturation. Point me to and a DSP so piece of content that has been five star quality. Just one video. You're Out of 80,000, just one. Overly, overly just one. And I'm going to delete my channel. Right. One piece of five star quality it content that he has right. made. So, here's the thing you're becoming a content creator in 2023. It's probably completely different from what I went through. <clears throat> and I wouldn't be shocked if you sit there day in, day out, putting out good content and you can't be discovered. And the people that discover you are toxic. You know, I wouldn't be shocked at all. Yeah, you're Discovery that. Channel sucks, know. dude. I don't have that experience because, you know, I've been around for 15 years. But yeah, it's, it's sad that people don't get that genuine first time chance today like I did 15 years ago. I feel like a lot of people today probably would be more successful or would have been successful um, if they were given that fair shake 15 years ago that I got. Um, and they don't get it anymore. That's sad, right? But that's the nature of the beast. When you see more money, right? And money. When you see. And money. Things to be, advertisements to be run, man. Monetization, It's everything's corporate, everything's commercial now. When this happens, things change. All right, and when things change, sadly, they get worse like that, you know? 
And uh, it was just bound to happen. When things so, change, it gets Jin worse. Is making videos in 2009. Everything well. should stay the same. For one thing, I can tell you, I when he is successful, I can be honest with my audience, and we can have these great discussions. And oh, bro, yeah, I know, I know. You're trying to get him to tip you right now. I know, I know. You're sitting at like what, 30 bucks, of course. And this is his only stream for the day, or like his main stream, or whatever he fucking said it is. I feel like a lot of people do. It's that, so give him money. You know. That's very different yeah, no? than it used to be. Where you could be yourself. It's very hard to even be yourself anymore. No, you can so totally be yourself you unless you're trash. If you're trash, oh, probably well, don't be yourself. Try and pretend like you're better. Shit. Why do I want to come? And maybe you're gonna world? become better. So God forbid that you're you be. You can real always be yourself. On the internet, right? You're gonna be upset with you. <laughs> Except unless you're Phil. If you're Phil, don't try and be anyway, yourself. Um, be somebody else. That's just some of my takes on it. You know, it's sad to see things that be like have PewDiePie or something. Years, but is it worth the hassle? Depends on your passion. Depends on what you want to do. Like for me, there's a lot of hassle involved with making content, right? It like would, what? It would take away a lot of stress on my life to just quit. It would, but I'm not going to quit. Fuck that. I'm not going to be quitting me being a content creator because of shitheads and bullies on the internet. What are you fucking four years old? No, I'm going to persevere. I'm going to keep going. I mean, you call them bullies, so yeah, you're probably four years old if you're going to call bullies. Just wants to shit on me. Shitheads and bullies. I got that. I, I've been shit on so many times. It doesn't even matter. I'm desensitized to it. So I'm going to keep pushing forward positively. And, He's desensitized you know, to it. That's why he takes all the bait. In it, but hey, if you can't, you know, make it work. I guess someone asked me earlier. You know, if you're going to start as a content creator, hey, if you're doing stuff that means something to you and you feel like you can resonate with it. Also oh, meaningful, okay. You, you have passion for it, then who cares about all the hassle oh, around fuck. it? Just do it and enjoy it, right? You may never make, may never make a living doing it. Let's be honest here. You probably won't. Most people will not. Anyone who tries to do this in the modern era probably will not make it. But that doesn't mean that it's not worth it to at least try. It doesn't mean that it's not worth it to at least give it a shot, right? You got to be positive in some capacity here, right? Okay. I'm just, it's so many trolls. This thing is now, I'm doing okay, a tremendous amount of idiotic trolls in here. And now we're shitting on the trolls. I thought you were desensitized, Phil. They shouldn't be bothering you at all. These uh, fucking trolls and bullies. So shout outs. We have shout outs the, here. Shout ah, outs fuck here. I fucking we have a few died. more questions, and I'll probably do open QA. Shout out to the patrons. These are the people who still pledge to my Patreon. Open QA. Com forward slash dark side Phil. There's not a lot left. Oh, uh, this will never end. Years, these dwindle more and more because now my focus is online streaming and all of that. But thank you to those who still consistently support the content on Patreon. We've got Slayer, American Maga Undertaker, Big Tone Nine. American Maga Undertaker. Jared, Jeff Two Bar King. Or Manga. Tom Given Thomas McDonald. Seventeen Kyle. Tom McDonald. Hey, big ups. Tom McDonald is a fucking DSP fan. And Stormforce Gamer. As I, I thought, you guys. You're just like I thought. Qualified to get the shout out on the show. The vibes check uh, out. Judge Judy did a super chat, saying new shows are stronger than this one. All right, and that's your opinion. That's okay if you think. Maga Undertaker. <laughs> really, I am. Like when he returned as like the American badass. Old over show. Let's make wrestling great again. again. If you don't think that Ask the King has. Or you will on, rest in anymore, peace. Thank you for sharing that opinion. I hope others would tell be honest with me. Like I said, this is actually the lowest attended stream I've done in quite some time. Yeah, there we go. Now we actually, cry about views. A gauge and supported Ask the King stream I've done probably in years. So, you know, maybe it is time to consider hanging it up. It's up to you guys. You guys give me your feedback, all right? And Bloom Kit also just did a super chat. Thank you for that. Okay. There we go. And there was a tip, but it's a small tip, a dollar tip, and you always wonder about Oh, it's a small people. tip. <laughs> there was a tip, but it's a small tip. And indeed, it's an idiot. So just And it's an idiot. Okay. So he's going to get 60 cents. But it's an idiot, so he doesn't even get an ego stroke. Open Q&A for the rest of the show. Open Q&A. These Q &A. Are random questions I pulled off of Twitter. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I really don't get much positive anything off of Twitter anymore. Nothing positive. You, you should just delete handle. your Twitter and fuck and, off. Uh, I have a few people who I follow and they, they'll talk to me back and forth, but outside of that, it's a lot I of just idiotic trolls and stuff. Eat a bag of Twitter dicks. really has gone downhill recently. So I really oh, yeah, that. Twitter has gone downhill, First so that's why he gets movie. trolls. Of you course. Street Fighter 2 scene ah, back yes. How was it? You know, I think I kind of already did. I kind of told you how back in the day... You we did talk about it, so you can just people not talk about it now. Please don't. No, please, no. No, please. It wasn't about... No. It wasn't about making money. There was no money to be had. It was a very, very oh, different experience. Now, if you have specific questions about situations, 
I'd be more open to answering. But being that it's more generalized <laughs> question, I think I kind of already kind of addressed that today. So there you go. Continuing on, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, so this guy's name was GTA Three and LCS Memes, but that wasn't his Twitter handle. But that's what his name was. Yeah, that was his yeah. name. Okay. What is your favorite PS2 era? Send trolls to harass him and play them again. <clears throat> Atmosphere. Vice City. Is Vice City. I love the eighties. Bars. I love the music. I love that time frame. I love the Miami Beach kind of vibe. It's kind of neat. And I also like Tommy Versetti as the main character, but. I mean, if you're looking at that whole PS2 era, the trilogy, obviously, it's granted... granted uh, Scam Andreas. Auto San Andreas is the obviously. best one. It's got the best gameplay mechanics. It's got the most content. It's got the better map. You know, everything's more modernized and feeling better. So, <clears throat> you got to go with San Andreas if you're going overall enjoyment. If you're going kind of nostalgia factor, then for me, it's Vice City. But I think, you know, definitely, San Andreas is the best one. Um, Just Twice Trash... Says, are you looking forward to any upcoming Nintendo titles? What about any new hardware? Any wish list for Nintendo Switch or Nintendo console? I mean, obviously we got the new Zelda. I want a new Mario. I don't know where the hell a new Mario Odyssey or anything is. Mario Odyssey was an insanely good game, and they didn't make any others. And it's been like fucking ridiculously long six years. How long do we have to wait for a Mario game at this point? At one point they were popping them out like chocolates out of their butt. And now it's like, where the hell's the next one? I want another one. Where the hell are they? So there you go. Uh, as for the console, obviously we want a better Nintendo console, but I have no aspirations to ever make one. Nintendo has said over and over and over over the years, we don't compete. Wrong. Doesn't matter what they say. Reality is they're always directly competing with other game companies. They just don't care to have the third party market. They care more about the first party. That's great, but then you're going to have entire dead dead segments where you're not doing anything on the Switch. I, you know, I have them every once in a while. Right now we just happen to be playing Metroid Prime Remastered. What am I going to be playing after that? Just fucking sits there. Sucking a dog off. So, it's their fault. They could be doing more. They could be making better hardware. They choose not to. Wow, right? this poll is so, super tight, dude. It is it's literally it is. like 5149. Wow. All right, guys. God damn. We have extra time. I'm happy because we almost never do this. We have extra we time to beg. Right Open Q and A with chat. About Twenty minutes or so. Uh, this is so pathetic, <laughs> man. This <laughs> is like. <laughs> He's so I humiliating, dude. Super, no, he just stays there, you guys. And he can't directly beg, because then maybe fucking not. Moist Critical is going to see it and be like, wow, this dude's fucking take, begging again. I get take them from all different places, put them into a document, and I print them out, and I read them off. That's how I get the Please questions. help me. Please. 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 Alexandru says, hypothetically, if all of your supporters vanished overnight and doing YouTube was no longer viable, would you keep doing it for the sake of entertainment and as a hobby? I did it no. as a hobby for two and a half years before. No, was no, no, no. The I answer is no. It's the real answer, 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 factual answer is no. Until late 2010. I didn't make a dollar on YouTube. I did it as a hobby because I loved it. Then I lost my job. Because you had a job. I said, oh, I can actually make a living doing this, right? Yes, I would still, even if I had another full-time job and everything else, I would still try to do this casually from time to time. Now, obviously, if it's my hobby, I would do it what, once, twice a week for a couple hours. But I would still do it. I told you guys if I won the fucking lottery today and I never had to work another day in my life, I would still stream. Bro, everybody would say that I because you know it. you're I not winning the lottery because he's not actually playing the lottery. Of it. So I he's just trying to convince you to support him and how much he cares about you. He doesn't actually mean any of this shit. You think DSP would win the lottery and not take like five days off a week? No, I'm Come on. I have no mouth and I must speak. He would just flex on the trolls and like buy expensive shit if he won the lottery. He wouldn't give a shit about streaming. Luke says is the triple You think he wants to sit there and interact with fucking Derek? The thing is, I'm down for playing whatever. And Jade? I really am. I'm down for playing whatever games you guys want. Sadly, the fact is when usually no, you guys, you guys I fucking game, love no you guys. Oh my god, I love you. Most of the time. There's some times that are exceptional. I'm about to rules. come. For example, with Hades, <laughs> the game blew up to the point where it got so big that by the time that I played it, people cared. But most of these indie games, you can't get an audience for them. These indie games want an audience from the biggest streamers. There's a reason why. Because when a big streamer plays an indie game, then it gets exposure and becomes more popular. But just someone like my size playing an indie game, most people don't care. 
They're like, oh, this is boring. Move on to the next big game we wanted or go replay a big game. Where's your Elden Ring New Game Plus run instead of playing this? I try, man. It's not, I, I, it's not that I'm against it, but I try them, especially these ones that have been on Game Pass, right? So these Game Pass indie games, why not try them? And I try them. Eh, why are you playing this? Why are you playing this? Right? So it's very hard. Remember what Devon King says? Said how many he fans do you think with you from the beginning? Man, I have no I, clue. I think I really wouldn't know. Like, I, I don't know. I don't. I don't think Keem knows enough right? about this. What I think the I moment have? he wins the lottery, he's 10, finished with the viewers. YouTube shit. And those ten thousand viewers watch the channel when there's something on it that they're. He interested. might show up for the ego stroke yeah. though. Like Evil 4, for people to tell him how awesome he is, and so he can flex on the trolls. The thing is, they all shuffle about. They're not always there for the same thing. Some people come just for I the do podcast actually think when I think about back, it, yeah. Come back for the podcast the next day. So when you have that variety I of I definitely viewers, think he would show up just to flex, right? just to be like, it's you see you fucking trolls? Now I have a lot of money. You know, I'm not begging anymore, you fucking you idiots. A newcomer Guess who has no life? Down. You. You still have no I lives. Don't know. I can't answer that question. That will um, be it. There's nothing on YouTube that says judge. He really needs that win, YouTube but that would never happen because he's not playing the lottery and he's also not going to win it. There was a metric that says, oh, people oh, who YouTube channels who watch you have been around for a long time. That would be kind of neat, but there's really nothing there really to tell that. So I'm really relying on you guys. And I am surprised all the time when you guys, oh, I'm a viewer from so-and-so and I've been watching you for so long and I still like your content. It's good to see you keep going. I'm like, wow. Oh, you he's, really he's trying to bait those years. tips. He's, he's trying to bait them. Years, 10 years. He's trying to bait a tip like that. That's crazy. To hey, Hint, Hint, if you you've been like, watching for very long, it would be great if you could September, send a tip right now. Like to actually do something for that. I'm not saying it, but I'm strongly alluding to it. always let pass me by and I always told you guys I didn't really care. But at this point, I do feel like these anniversaries are becoming more meaningful the older I'm getting and the fact that I'm still here. You know what I mean? Whenever you know, a lot of other people have left, and all the hate thrown against me, but I'm still here. So I'd like I'm to celebrate here. in September. I'd like to do a special event to celebrate my 15th. It's commendable to exist, Phil. I here, guess here on YouTube. So we'll probably do some kind of a special event then. Much respect for existing, Phil. Purple I Pickle, appreciate you your existence. Chat. No one can see your pants and cares about the size of your butt. But thank you for the for the super chat, regardless. Well, what did he say though? Okay. Well, could have been cool if you gave some context before you shit on the guy. Oh, let's see here. Why is my podcast so long? It's not. It is. Answer. Stop bitching. If you have to have an open Q and A to waste time, then it is too long. Big fan base of people who like it. If you don't like it, don't watch it. Come back when it's done. Wow, Stop that bitching. is pretty. Wow. Oh, let's see here. That was fucking toxic. We already talked about renaming the show. You were way late. Someone asked, when are you going to rename the show? We already talked about that earlier. Watch the show for that answer. You're way off. Uh, I don't block people who have different opinions than me. I block people who are hateful towards me and spread misinformation like you, which is why you just got blocked for lying. Blue Kids, um, Chatty says, have you yeah. tried getting the okay, podcast? I, I need I a fact check on this. I don't want to have a, pod, a syndicated podcast on various different platforms. Why not? I don't get anything out of that. You understand? Yeah, you do. I want my show to be popular on YouTube, and I want it's people to pretty come fucking YouTube stupid, dude. My YouTube channel. How narrow-minded like, this dude the is. One podcast on Spotify has no it doesn't help at all. Well, not immediately. It literally nothing. Not right now. So that's why I don't I don't care. Other people they have. Uh, wow, a what a fucking moron. Formats, and then they could sell the show to. I, and I now, of course, that. we gotta mock everybody else. You see, so I'm not touching that. I'm just gonna. Oh, want to blow up and get like a trillion bajillion views. No, they just know that they have people watching on different platforms. Because, bro, even we, we do that being said on literally all like streaming services because we have people listening to it on them. And it's easy to listen to podcasts on them, so we do it. And it costs, I don't know what, like 20 bucks per month, 15 or 50 or whatever. So we just like separate that from the money we get. A big floppy clown shoes, the biggest red shiny ones. I buff them every This morning. piece of shit is his for fucking job, yeah, and he can't even do that. Not even do that. Humiliating disappointment. Here's your answer. On every fucking level. Uh, let's see. Excited to be here, but I will take the rough talk to me as pos. I don't even know what you're saying. I don't understand a word you just said. <laughs> And the thing is that the viewers on uh, the listeners on the streaming services keep growing, so it obviously like has some effect, even though we're like very small time. Have you ever Nintendo franchise? 
overall, <clears throat> probably still Mario. I love I love things like Mario Kart. So obviously it pays off. Of course not immediately. You'd have to make some sort of an investment, but you have to do that for literally everything. Except e-begging. Bro, the poll is literally on 50-50. That's fucking crazy. We have like 130 votes. Please decide something. Unbiased oh, is his chat frozen? What happened? Counts the amount of people who get banned. No, it's normal. <laughs> oh no, it's not. Okay, I'm sorry. Wow, that was fucking crazy. Uh, I would prefer to play seven because everyone knows that Custer's because I've played some of two and I think it's gonna be more genuine. That or playing that, <laughs> an Atari porn game, yes. No, I'm not going to play Diablo 2 Resurrected. I'd rather just play Diablo 4 if I'm going to play Diablo. <clears throat> Let's see here. I will see you tonight for gameplay, Kagome. Remember, there is gameplay tonight. Hey, over Kagome, DSP big ups. People want Resident fucking Evil idiot. Making. It's coming over on DSP Gaming, so. Al Wrong did a super jazz. What are three albums to listen to through the rest of your life? Oh, I don't know. I have nothing. He doesn't Green listen to albums. We don't listen to anything. We listen to DSP like remixes. Green Day's Dookie. Or <laughs> Green Day's or Dookie. Two or three collective soul of course, because it's called Dookie. That's why I loved it so much. It's a, the Scat album. But now I have no idea. Well, Green Day's Dookie. <laughs> Purple Pickle did another super chat. He says, uh, of course. Dark side porn has a nice ring to it. Dark like, side porn. No one cares about that. It's gross. How dare you? Ha 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 ha. Funny and humorous. Okay, can we just end this? How much you got? 30 bucks. Has there ever been a day where I didn't ban anyone? Oh, I'm sure. You should beg I'm sure harder. There days where I didn't ban anyone. Please beg Today, more. Today we're on DSP Reacts. Remember, this is the channel where a lot more trolls are allowed because it's not DSP Gaming that's been running for two years. This channel's only been here for a month and a half. You get the idiots coming in saying dumb shit and they get banned. But ah, uh, yes, just like of everything. course. And, and the time, idiots. this channel will become better and it won't it won't be prominent anymore. You know, it just takes a little bit. Wait, wait. It won't be prominent anymore? It oh, will yeah, become I, better I, I and it won't be prominent. What is this dude on about? Have I heard of Logan's Run? It sounds familiar. I don't know what I it is. I have no I've idea. I've never seen it, so I can't answer what it How is. How long it does he familiar. have left? Like 10 more minutes? Are there games coming up that I'm stoked Fuck for? Me, I'm gonna Devon, we're going to, in one week's time, on my birthday marathon, we're going to go through the game release schedule. And when we do that together, then I'll be able to answer something like that better. Right now, I don't even know what games are really coming out, so I can't really answer that. But we'll know next week. Oh, my nose is itching. Harvey Dent, I have no idea what you're talking about picking PC components. Harvey sure. Dent. It has nothing to do with anything we're doing. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, you did that, though. You remember <laughs> doing that, and then the guy who offered you money pulled out? Because I guess he understood that you're not you a good investment. Tiny. I think it's what people, a couple of people tried to ask me Because you don't appreciate anything, and generally you I seem to have run out can't of get the best of it. No, no, so no. You're... The difference is there's no, people no, no, no. actively trying to be positive and fun, and there's people who are trying to troll. There's people who are hitting up. Uh huh. So Thank you for the. Shit, and I'm just gonna take. Twist. I'm not gonna, not gonna freak out and get angry. I'm just gonna ban them and just move on. This you are freaking this. out though. Not going on. I'm not taking this bait. This is kind of freaking out. Shit. I'm just trying to handle it as calmly as I can, because these people are just trying to get my goat, and I'm not gonna let them. So, all oh, let's see here. I got a two dollar tip from someone named Just Saying. They said, "Will you consider start doing more public polls?" We what? listen to members' game suggestions, and we vote for what games we want to see and games we no longer. No, want to you see. gotta be a member, you Just fucking idiot. Out. That's something you're right. That's something I've never done. I've never voted a game out. I've always let people vote stuff in, but then I usually either just drop it if I'm not interested in it, or if it's lost interest, or uh, I never really have like a public poll to vote something out. I'd be nervous about that. I would be very nervous about that because if people vote stuff out, what's the point of playing a game for 10, 12 Bro hours? Bro is nervous about everything. At this what point, just like smoke some weed or something. I don't want to do that. I, when I'm playing a game, I kind of want to constantly nervous about polls about video games. I wouldn't want to just drop Imagine it. this dude getting an actual oh. job. He would just fucking collapse. I don't know about that. Maybe that's something we talk about further, a way to make it get work. multiple strokes. Like if there's a big consensus or something, but... I really do and I don't mean like, the good kind when you, you know, if, if bust I've already a nut. committed, I bought a game, I committed to playing it, voting it out. 
Again, this other thing too is another concern is that a lot of these games I pay if I pay for it, I kind of have to play it. I don't have the freedom to just be buying a bunch of games and drop them and then buy more games. I don't have infinite resources. You know what I mean? So. Thank you, Nimdo. Oh, I remember a few years ago he 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 was just buying every game, and it doesn't matter like if if he doesn't make a lot of money or if he does, he was just buying everything. And now it's like it's literally hard to buy video games. I don't know. This is where we are at the DSP plotline. He can't buy the one thing he needs for his business. The one thing he needs. Am I worried Rick and Morty is gonna go downhill after the Justin Roiland situation? I heard already. No. People were just telling me that actually the show's been terrible the last two years. Well, he was found not guilty in court, so like they can they can get him back. Stop. So, <clears throat> what the fuck is happening, bro? I have not read anything from Franz Kafka. No, I have not. I guess I have seen the X Files. My wife and I actually around October were watching it uh, for quite some time. We watched several seasons of it. Great show from the nineties. Of what? No, we're never going back to Dying Light 2. No one seems to want it. Nope. No one wants it. Waste of time. Except this dude who's Return asking it about all right, it. All things considered. This this the same dude who's crying Which about we don't have enough yeah. games to play. Well, and I was like, I'm never going back to this game that I didn't say, finish and I just yeah, dropped out of nowhere. Artie era I heard live because I used to be a, a subscriber to Sirius Satellite Radio when they moved over and Artie was with them for the first couple of years there before basically he hurt himself and that was the end of that and he never went back. Um... <clears throat> The Jackie stuff I heard mostly on their replays. They used to do like the legacy replay shows. They used to call them the tapes, where they would play the old shows. And it was kind of like more like highlights of the old shows. I think it worked. I think Jackie worked. I think Artie worked. I think they all worked. You know, they were all good in their own right. Personally, I really liked Artie's humor. I thought that it was pretty funny the stuff that he would do on the show. But yes, I am looking forward to Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Late, late. Why April, though? Right? One of the later games in April. It looks like it's the same as the previous one. Blue gives us but with a uh, new coat Animal of paint. Crossing or Minecraft at nights one day, pretty relaxing. I, I'm doing two right now. <laughs> I'm doing Oblivion, and I'm doing Like a Dragon Ishin. We're doing two. The first one, right I was kind of cool with the first one, except the combat was not as responsible. Go back to Minecraft. Because like it, it was kind of this like parry focused combat, where like the parrying is great if you can actually pull it off, but it's not responsive enough. If it was a little bit more responsive, more flexible, it would have been fantastic. Harvey Dances, if I could do the side scrollers interview over, what would I change? Here's the thing. The interview itself, I don't have issue with. A lot of people still, you know, they were, oh, they were too harsh on you and Adam was an asshole to you. I disagree. I, that was Adam exactly was very much was straight up with him. To go. But if they had done the interview and just left it alone and said, all I right, we Dave did the interview, now we'll come back to this in the uh, I absolutely so think so. I mean, he fucking begged like 10 times already. A month and a half. About I don't just think so. Yeah, it's it's very leave. easy to tell. But that's not what they did. That's not. They did the opposite. They, it was a bait and they switch. They did the opposite. They did the interview. It wasn't a bait and, and switch. All their fucking content. They canceled all, all, all their content. All kind of just destroyed ESP sessions for entire what? shows. What? Which is really messed up. They just milked my detractors for money. Bro, and this dude is fucking sick. Because those guys don't care about me. And they're, you know what I mean? They literally just milked them as much as they could. Um, what do you mean, the bro? They did one post stream and then they released some clips. Exploitation of my detractors, which is hilarious. Exploitation. Did they not say, especially with Keem on the show the day before, did they not say that I should exploit my detractors? Which I refused. I said, I'm not going to do that. I'd rather make positive content. Oh, exploit. So instead, they you should exploit the people, the Phil. So That's what they, they said. Phil, you should exploit me, people right? more than you actually do currently. The interview? I knew it was going to go like that. I told you guys how the interview was going to go. I said this is exactly how it's going to be. I have nothing additional to really add to the answers I've given. I do have some supplemental information to tell if people supplemental want to know, information. But it's going to be the same. I can't put myself. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Kind of supplemental information. Shit people made up about me. So but nothing then. So a nothing burger. That's all you like can feed her. them. You know. So it's a nothing burger. No, I'm not. I'm not. I wasn't. I knew that was going to how it was going to go. You know, I wasn't stupid. You know, but again, I wasn't the interview stupid. wasn't the problem. It was the unscheduled follow-up to shit on me constantly for several days and milk my detractors for money that's the issue it was literally just one thing I, though you noticed that night after the interview i felt hey, what's good. up uh, grizz bro i did a whole decompression stream and everything i was good dsp is almost over their, their direct actions after that were messed up and they really i mean i don't know how you could be a moral person and do the shit that they did oh uh, they're not moral i guess i really don't get it 
I being a moral be, person it does, how do you, doesn't how really do you worth that, that much. You're as much as Phil thinks. And he's also not a moral person. He just convinced himself he is. So. 24 hours later. Actually, by the way, we're never going to be neutral. We never believed a word you said. We weren't going to say, you know, what? we're just going to crap on you now and benefit. Like, wow. I mean, he even said as much in his inner email to me. Craig said that he didn't believe anything at all up to that point. That's what happens when you just listen to this. It wasn't convincing, dude. Weeks. It never... The, the interview itself was a false premise because when you're going to do a, an unbiased interview... So he had a problem with the interview. Sides. They did not have both sides. They had one side. They didn't talk to fans. They didn't watch my content. There was no they fans. They literally just listened for two weeks to detract your shit. They were, oh, you know? bro. And then they'd been... Okay, never mind. Yes, you know, they did. They the totally should have. I have no issue. They should have made five more DSP that, streams. I, I heard... Again, I hear all kinds of things. I heard... And they should have watched they, the This Is How You Don't Play and call him a fat retard so ten times. That's what they should have done. No, I never had issue with the interview. It was everything they did after that was completely dishonest. I would love to hear them... But he just said he had an issue with the interview, that they were biased. That was the issue. Where all you do is take in... Bully sessions. 40-year-old man complains about bullying and has a full-on birthday week. That's not unbiased. That shows there was an innate bias to begin with because you wanted to milk the hate, you know? So you have a problem with the interview. That's what you're saying. So anyway, like I said. I have no problem with the interview, but here's my problems with the interview. Do you think I would ever want to have another interview after that? I can't trust anyone. Can't trust anyone. anyone. Literally just take Trust me, dude. I'll give, give you a fair shake. Game. If anything, I thought they were going to give me a fair shake. That was the opposite of a fair shake. But they I will give you one. Come on. Just, just come over. We come this over. From the get -go. This Trust me. Beneficial to us. We, oh, yeah. We're going to play Mario I will send you a Kart contribution. <laughs> Mario Kart? You fuckers didn't even come close to doing anything positive on Friday. That was the most toxic fucking duty dump I've ever seen on the internet. Toxic but, duty man, dump. As long as you made money, right? So it's all good. That's what it's all about. Scumbags like that. I, I really you wish Craig would reach out to him man. to talk. Do what you want. I really you wish he would. Because <clears throat> that shit, like, if I heard DSP talk shit like this to me, I would fucking reach out. Especially after how civil Craig was with him. I would definitely reach out. Because, like, this dude is, like, all on his high horse right now. And he should definitely get, get a vibe check. And Craig should be like, Phil... I see there's some yeah, misunderstandings, I know, I know. He says, and I would like to talk to you. Can't trust anyone, but look, has the track record not proven that that's the best way to, to live at this point? Right? It's the best way to I live is to be paranoid. My wife. Yeah, you shouldn't. She's gonna well, cheat on you. To trust. It's like Literally, she did with Superman. Stabs me in the back for personal gain. It never fails. Personal gain. It never gain. fucking fails. How much right? can people so gain from Dark Side, Phil? You know. I guess that's a pretty interesting question. Mr. A, I don't know. You said your message was being removed. It wasn't me. It sounds like Nightbot was doing it because I was sitting here. Ah, yes. You can see if it's Nightbot or not. Why are you bullshitting, Phil? The hardest level in NES games, the one I never beat, the final stage of uh, Ninja Gaiden on the NES. I never beat it. I would love to beat it, but I never beat it. <laughs> never beat the first stage in life, too. No, I told you, I have no interest in doing interviews with anyone. I'm done. I'm completely done with it. No more Fortnite. No more. No more nineteen dollar Fortnite card for, for the internet to treat me fairly, and that's how they wanted to deal with it. So you. Uh, they did, bro. You weren't fair. I'm not going to bother with it anymore. Now it's just me. Like, let's be honest. Phil wasn't, wasn't fair. fair. He was the unfair one. one. Nothing else outside of these streams. Literally, I don't give two fucks. They offered him so much. Anymore. And he didn't <laughs> take it, and he was bullshitting, and he was a it. fucking not little I was bitch, there for five baby. Five and a half hours, and I did my part, and I lived up to my end of the bargain. You didn't. One million percent. Zero proof. Not. So fuck it. You ruined it for everybody. He went out. He knew exactly what they were gonna ask him exactly, he and he had no he proof a, prepared. A Twenty-five tip. He says, "Would you play?" Yeah. Play the fuck yeah. Games? Replay one of the Uncharted games. Sure. Sure, I would. I when would, is he clocking out? He's I waiting would, for a miracle see, tip. Yeah. Why? He's waiting for a whale, Mary. If that's what people wanted. He's waiting for that fat tip, but it's not coming. Why is it not coming? Please come. Please come. Derek, I'm going to say your name properly, just as, as long as something comes. Main channel? What does that mean? What is a mod status? What? I don't even know what that means. <laughs> no, I haven't considered it because I don't know what you're talking about. Are you faking? Yeah. What he doesn't know what a mod status is like right, making guys, somebody a mod. Last couple of questions because we're about to adjourn. Okay. I will remind everyone. Bro is legit gonna you be with like thirty bucks on DSP reacts. You it's can humiliating. watch these, these streams uncut 
from now from now on immediately when the show goes offline i'll make it members only all right everyone else i'm going to upload these videos slowly so part one of ask the king will be today part two will be tomorrow part three will be another day that i'm splitting off the content to avoid flooding the channel yeah bro we get so remember, it we get it you get unlimited access to unlimited right access away as soon as they end okay pretty nice to get that right away if you're like the long form like you want to watch the whole thing in one sitting oh so somebody just another benefit of being is a member. not gonna wail out what are my thoughts on opinions they're like assholes they're rotund very frequently have uh medical issues assholes are they're not rotund like feces and, and opinions disgusting. don't have medical issues but Sounds like you're just talking about assholes. You couldn't go through life without an asshole. You'd have a lot of problems. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> uh, that's ridiculous. That was a shitty fucking analogy. Just saying no if you submit no a short reaction. Intended. I can't seem to get that into a playlist that I can watch. I don't know why, but you can't do like an active playlist of YouTube shorts. I've tried and it doesn't work. Yeah, because so, it's no, a stupid idea. Video is not YouTube shorts. A playlist of YouTube shorts. Why would you even want to do that? No platform has playlists of shorts. Twenty cent tip. Hey, there we go. Ogi tuna roll. It's something. I bought the Mega Man Legacy. It's collection. not zero dollars and zero cents, so it's something. Them. Oh man. He's gonna be at like what forty like, bucks. Seriously, every Mega Man Classic Mega Man game added something new and interesting that made it feel. And we're gonna have like five it's more last chances. Oh, last hits. last chance, you guys. Besides okay, this is now your last last chance. Time limits usually. There's a few cases where you have to move real fast. Okay, guys. Fast, but outside okay. of that, for the most part. Okay, I'm, I'm clocking matter. out. This is your last, last, jumps, last chance. And uh, good luck. This is your last, last chance. Okay? Um, Are we ready now? Someone, I missed the name, but they had asked, am I still considering doing interviews on this channel? Do you want the honest answer? I guess this is a good time. Uh, honest answer, <laughs> answer is honestly. yes, but no, but yes. No one's going to want to be interviewed on this channel. Oh, no so they don't want to do it. By me, period. <laughs> it just happened and and keep in mind you know guys like keemstar threatening to dox what my viewers and fans and people who've been involved with me literally for no reason that's that is moral, not right? true Everyone that's said, oh, that's not true moral. they've already th he's already threatened to do it dude that's not true not get dox information but he's going to contact them harass them he already has done it he already contacted people like Derek. And Derek blocked it. I want to talk to you. Yeah, because fucking What's Derek's name is so, fucking so public, he, dude. Who the hell in their right Dogs. mind want to be interviewed by me? It's straight up fucking no slander. Who wants to be interviewed by me? You're going to get harassed. You're going to get dogs. harassed by these fucking people. So, you know, Keemstar I'm not going to is going to dox Dent. That's a plot yes, line I would like to see. 100%. That was absolutely intense. Keemstar posting right. Dent's That's info on the farms. That I was going to do. <laughs> Here on DSP Reacts. Look, this guy gave Phil a million dollars. Interview series. I already have. One I'm gonna have him on drama alert. I had another person who was interested, hadn't fully committed yet, but was interested. Cool. And I had a third person on deck who I, I would've been friendly with, and I was gonna ask. So I had at least three cool. interviews that likely would have happened. He was grooming people for interviews. Actually, April, May, June. That's how I was gonna do. It. I was gonna do one in late April, one in May, one in June. See how they go. And if people liked them, I was hoping more people would be interested in coming on the show. No, bro. You who really wants to be on your fucking show? How fucking stupid are you exactly? Internet, that anyone's gonna want to be on my channel? They'd be. Out and it's everybody channel. else's fault, of they course. For a fact that if they of get course, yet again, they might get doxxed. They might get harassed. They might get doxxed. Interviewed by me. So that show is done. It's dead in the water, and it's not my fault. I didn't do it. That these people, these people fucking won't leave me alone. I want to harass. He me. He's gonna blame I'm Craig for everything. My viewers and shit. Literally. How is that even allowed? You understand Literally, it's Craig's fault. Public fucking threats against my viewers, and somehow you're not banned from YouTube. Wow. He didn't make public threats huh? to dox your anyway, viewers. That's um, literally not what he did. It is what it is, man. I Bro, this is this it. is the same guy yeah, who said, they showed him a clip of him directly threatening to dox someone, no, and he serious. said it's not a threat. And then Adam pushed back and was like, "No, it it is definitely a threat." And then he was like, "No, it's not a threat." And then Adam was like, "Okay, Phil, this is a threat." And then he was like, "Ah, you know, yeah, okay, okay, it's a threat." And you know, anything else? This is that same person, the same guy. Quite frankly, today didn't go very well, so maybe, maybe we're le ne you know nearing. Oh, it didn't go very well, huh? Show. Again, I would love to hear feedback on what you guys think and why the show didn't do so good this time. Why we had low views and everything. I would like you to you know, tell me why I had low views today. You know, 
Yeah, that show said. Um, guys, why, why did my stream have low views? Tell me. And bullies on the internet. And bullies on the yeah, internet. I love to do the show, and I had people lined up. Oh, bro, this like gonna, it makes me want to bully him even more. Shit like anything. this. Okay. It literally like pisses me off. All right, guys. I think we're going to uh adjourn. We're gonna adjourn. Yeah. All right. Splash. How much did we we're get? Probably adjourn. I want to say thank 37. you. Thirty-seven. Ah, Seven. yes, Four. yes, yeah. my children. Fantastic yeah. mainstream. A nice opportunity. But on the on the late stream, somebody's gonna send him like a hundred, and they're gonna say, "Phil, I love you. Uh, marry me. I would suck your cock." All right, at the console. I'm reading someone's. And he's gonna be like, "Thank you for the generous you tip. Like the I appreciate show. it." Let me know. And then he's gonna beg. Give it likes. Leave comments. And then you're gonna clip you it. Think. If you think this show is outdated and it should end. Let me know. I think your life is outdated. I need to know. People said they wanted this show to continue. Uh, but it should continue because so I'm not that toxic. Come and, on. Uh, you know, today is probably the first day I saw how dead it was. Like, maybe it shouldn't continue, you know. But maybe maybe, it does, maybe it's just a one-off. Maybe uh, when people were telling you but, uh, that you do a Q&A every day and you dismiss them and you ban them, okay. maybe they were guys, right. Thank you. By the way, Purple Pickle, thanks for the super chat. But I'm not going to Have you thought about now. that? Show's over. Thank you very much for watching. Remember... If you're a member of the channel, you could always watch this now on demand in its entirety. You don't have to wait. Everyone else, I will be uploading a part a day. Thank you very much. You can post up questions for the next show right now if you want. Thanks for that. And uh, until next time. And uh, that's it for Ask the King. I hope that you enjoyed. Find a dog and you know what you can uh, do. Got something out of it. I'll see you guys soon for other content, all right? All right, peace out, everybody. All right, this is it. We made it. We, we done made it. And this is it. I'm very proud of this community and that this event was a failure. And even DSP's fucking fans were bored. And I was not bored. So now I guess it's time for Resident Evil 7. But I am also considering... Uh, All right, folks. So what? that is it. I'm going to upload these parts. Oh, we're having an unrecorded live segment. See another part live the next couple Ah, of this uh, fucking greasy um, fucking tonight, ball of shit. Resident Evil 4 Remake over on DSP Gaming. <laughs> right, we'll for that tonight. Oh, uh, we keep going, dude. This is like the Vestry. Remember the Vestry when he would do exactly this? Uh, hey, guys, this is over. Resident Evil wait, wait, I'm still right, here. Guys. You guys right, still here? Ever, goodbye, don't ever come back. I've had enough of you on both channels. And oh, he got fucking pissed off. All you're doing is trying to annoy me, and I've had enough. Trying to you annoy him and derail him. You've been on band before. You're just an idiot. Okay. That's it, had guys. Too many Thank chances, you so much. Boy. I'll see you tonight for Resident Boyfriend. Evil 4 Remake on DSP Gaming. Peace out and see you. I guess I'm going to see Ruffian forever on my stream now. Hey, peace out. Is he actually gone? So I'm considering going on um, on the flare-up, because this is literally the only time I was actually up during that time. So let's see the flare-up. It's it's supposed to be like half an hour from now. And is it going to be Rambo Bambo solo? Is it going to be the solo session, or it's going to be a co-op session with somebody else? So Anne is live. Sly is live. I think I could stay up for like a million more hours. Oh, this is at 2.30. Okay, so maybe I could actually do both. Yeah, seems to be 1.30, but the clocks did change an hour recently. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, Snooden, you are going to be on the flare-up. Okay, then I'm going to be there, too. We can do, like, a fatal four-way. Uh, And I guess now let's play some games. We can do both. So I need to go to the bathroom. I'm going to play you the Devour song. And then, um, we're going to play some Resident Evil 7. I'm going to close the poll now. You, you, you guys had enough time. And also, I, I would like to personally play 7. Because I think that's going to get the most scares out of me. Because like I said, I'm, like, it's, I'm playing it for you guys. This is my land.
care about money. That I just can't help it. I'm so just enveloped in money. And money. 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 take. Do what gives you pleasure and fuck everyone else. Why am I toxic? Why, why, why am I toxic? Why am I Why am I Why, why, why am I toxic? Why, 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 why am I toxic? What? desire. Devour. I'm gonna make a. I'm gonna make like an extended club mix that's gonna be like six minutes long of this song. Cause like the the one that I made today is basically the one that I made today. So it's not something I spent too much time on. Just wanna pass this mission so I don't have to do it later. The game is uh, Far Cry 5. Just want to get the mission finished so I don't have to do it later. But actually, fuck it. Um, Alright, it's uh, Resident Evil time. Biohazard style. And I got about, like, what, an hour and a half? And then... We go and we do the flare-up, where we're gonna premiere Devour again. For the second time. But it's gonna be a premiere on that show specifically. It's 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 a complicated thing. You don't have to get it. It's very complicated. Alright, speaking of uh, Resident Evil, it is a video game from a game company, and it is a first person spooky style spooky game. And that's what I'm gonna play now. All right, we're going to see if it's going to work out. Yes, it's from Capcom, the brilliant developers of games such as Resident Evil 7, Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3, Resident Evil 4, and probably 5 and 6, and 8, and 2 Remake, and 4 Remake. And here's my history with those games. I have started some of them and played about 10 minutes and then been freaked out and then stopped playing them. That That is my history. Thank you for attending my TED Talk. Okay, let's set up the brightness. I think this is cool. I don't want it to be too bright. However, uh, one, is, one click is all it takes to link your game to the Resident Evil Net. Why, why do I have to do that? Yeah, I don't give a fuck. No, I'm going to say no. If you start to feel uncomfortable, make sure to take a break. If the ca camera movement is bothering you, try turning camera wobble off. Let me try turning the, the actual sound on. Okay, switch the compressor setting. All right, let's, let's see what we got. Ooh, start game options. Let's just see some quick options here. Make sure the, the subtitles are on. Virtual surround. Oh, hell yeah, of course. We're doing this shit on headphones. And there we go. I think it's all good. Subtitles are on. And let's begin. Let us begin. La, 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 la. We have easy or normal. Uh, well, let's, let's go on normal. Because I'm a normal type, human type person. I'm just a normal guy, you know. I'm just like playing video games like human. I'm already scared. I just scared. wanted to send a quick hello, and I love you. Oh, good news. I'm going to be coming home soon. Yay! Oh, I cannot wait to be done with this babysitting job and come home to my loving husband. I miss you. Oh, I got to get back to work. 
I love you, Ethan. I miss you so much. I'm sending tons of kisses. I have a girlfriend. Bye, baby. I'm sorry. I can't be playing this game. <laughs> I quit. shouldn't have all I can say is that if you get this stay away the thing is I've watched some like YouTube videos summarizing the story so I know the the story uh, but the gameplay itself I I don't really know so this this is gonna be a this is gonna be difficult Hey, it's, uh, it's Ethan. Oh, hey. You alright? You just disappeared the other night. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. It's Mia. She's not dead. She's alive. She, she's back. They found her? How? What happened? I don't know. Look, I, I don't know how, but she's back. She's back somehow. And maybe it's a prank, but she wants me to come and get her. Where is she? Dolby. Dolby, Louisiana. I know, I know, but what if it is her? I have to find out what happened. Let's fucking go, Louisiana style. Why is this so blurry? What the hell? Like everything outside the car looks like it's it's like a green screen. <laughs> All right, let's go. I got my headphones bumped up pretty high. I would like to, like, turn off the light, but I don't know if the camera's gonna see me. Because that's gonna be... This is the place. Okay, let me just, like, restart the camera. Because uh, if I'm gonna be giving you, like, me playing horror games, you're gonna get the full thing. You're gonna get the full-on clown show. Okay, this is... Uh, this is good enough, right? completely in the dark the only thing that's lit is the both screens that I'm using right so if if we're doing this we're doing this all the way all right let's start walking now we are walking in the forest not completely average ordinary human forest in the Louisiana parts check your objective this is by swiping down? Or? Excuse me? Oh, okay. Find Mia. We got files, we got a map. Alright, cool stuff. I guess this is the actual path, but let's check the gate first. So this is what? The Baker household, huh? All right, well, no point in trying. Maybe I can ring the intercom, but... Ah. Yeah, nothing. Okay. Must be a side path. And there we got... Uh, some random type van. Wonder if there's something here. Hopefully not a jump scare. Let's not have a jump scare. Okay, good stuff. Sewer gators. What is this? Pro sneak into a Louisiana ghost house. What does it say in the back? Join us. Uh, okay, interesting. Sewer gators. Is this like a, a Zach Bagans type thing? Like ghost adventurers? Accept her gift. Uh, only if it's gifted memberships. And, you know, we have a goal to hit, so that would be nice. But, if not, then I guess that's gonna be a no. Oops. Okay, this is a bad style person. Hopefully not a jump scare one. Okay. I don't think nothing, anything is going to happen on, by the time I get to the house. So I think here I'm kind of safe. 
But then again, it's pretty fucking spooky, and it's in first person, so you get that extra la- What the fuck is this? Is this like... Cow legs? Bruh. I'm leaving. Oh my god, what the fuck? Okay. And there's not even anything to interact with. Fuck me. Yep, cow legs. Alright, uh, I guess we go through. Through the cow legs we go. Very... I gotta say though, it's a very creative installation. This, this, uh, you can see it in plenty of places in the Netherlands. Some kind of a creative artsy design like this. By some fucking... Some artist. Self-proclaimed, of course. What do we got here? Some dead birds? That's always a good sign. We got some quality water sources, probably. Alright. Let's not get jump scared. Because I don't... Oops. Oh, it's a bag. And we got a driver's license. And this is the girlfriend. I need my girlfriend. And I got an achievement. Look, I'm really good at this game, dude. I'm really good at this gaming stuff. I should start doing it more often. We got email from me and a driver's license. And we can do a examination type thing. Well, yeah, I think it's pretty clear it's hers. And they tried to get rid of it. There's some weird house thing here. And I guess I gotta go through it. Because... There was a... Some kind of a knock. Oh, holy shit. I, I haven't even made it to the house yet. And I'm fucking terrified. Okay, this... This... Bro, bro, we're not doing this. How much, how much longer do I have? I have a fucking hour left to go. Oh my god. Fuck me. Oh, oh, okay. Holy fuck. Alright, um... This fucking sucks, I'm sweating so much right now. <laughs> okay? Holy fuck, this, this sucks. Oh my god. <laughs> Stop giving me fucking random achievements. I didn't even do anything. Okay, this is fucked. This is fucked. This is fucked. Alright, well, this is a... A nice household. I guess I could stay here for a bit. What do we got here? Oh, oh my god. Oh, fuck! Fuck! Why did I decide to do this? Not much of a point. Okay, well, I can hear somebody's doing something around here. Why would I even in interact with a microwave? And, of course, there's a fucking dead crow in the microwave. Of course there is. Why not? I guess that's a traditional uh, Louisiana meal. Then, of course, we got a nice fridge. This looks like King Cobra's fridge. I would expect him to live in a place like this. There's a pretty boggling paradise type of place. Over 20 missing in two years. Well, that's that's awesome. Just the, the news I wanted to get. Uh, yeah, it's, it's it's kind of like a Cyrax vibes. Okay, well... I mean... I don't really want to go... Anywhere. Oh, fuck. Some nice pictures. This is like, uh... Very interesting picture. Um, okay, I'm, I'm trying to get distracted, but I know I have to actually like do something because this is a video game where people do stuff. Fuck. Okay. Can I interact with something? No, not here. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. So, we have two rooms. Oh!
Okay, this... Of course, we got a TV that is turned to static because this is uh, the favorite TV channel of murderers and psychopaths. So, I... Honestly, I... I would, I would like to close this door. Can we do that? Yes, thank you. And... Okay, so I need one more fuse. And... Okay, so I got the third one is for the stairs. So I, I really can't put anything here right now. We got a piano. I really don't want to mess with this right now. I don't want any more trouble than what I currently got. And we got a TV that probably takes in a cassette. So I find a cassette tape, I can watch actually some TV. Hopefully they got something good. Okay, this is a cage. Somebody is lurking around this house. They're messing with me. Holy fuck. And we got the Baker family. Looks like the owners. Okay, that's cool stuff. Um. Okay. What do we have here? Is there anything I can interact with else that I forgot? There we have, like, what a bookshelf. Nothing here. Okay, there's something here. Some girl, I guess. Maybe that's my girlfriend. Hey, seems good. Uh, let's see, we have some more photos. Let, let's make sure I didn't miss anything in this room. I don't think I did. Let's, let's just press the piano real quick. And, okay, I guess I got this. <sighs> Fuck me. The TV? I think I, I clicked it already. I mean... Yeah, I, I don't have anything to put inside of it. There's an email and there's a driver's license. None of them look interactive the TV and there's uh, nothing that I could actually take from this room so I I actually have to go somewhere which I was getting pretty comfortable in that room if I have to be honest what do we have here it doesn't say anything let's go inside oh no it's locked thank god but it seems like I have to go upstairs there was nothing here okay Good stuff Uh, oh, there was some... Um... Alright, good stuff. Let's go upstairs. <sighs> I mean, if there's something that's gonna jump scare me, it's gonna do it regardless. Because it's gonna be like... Autom automatic. So... There's not much that I can do to avoid it. So it's just gonna happen. Let's see, that's a tape recorder, right? Oh, oh okay. We can save. Fuck me. That's was I, I don't remember when was the last time I was so stressed out playing a fucking video game cuz I play like WWE 2K and FIFA. Okay. Hey, we got the derelict house footage. Fantastic. I can actually take this and fuck off downstairs. Um and then there's this button of course that says stairs that goes to the stairs, I guess. Breaking news. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Uh, I still don't have the fuse though, and, and I kind of ran out of places to go. Well, let's play, press the button. It's a big red button. What's the worst that could happen? It's not responding. There we go. Let's go. Let's go play the tape. Yeah, I'm not gonna look at chat because uh, I don't want to get told what to do because I already know enough of the uh, of the actual story. So if I can skip on some of the interactions, so I can have an experience as genuine as possible. We want this playthrough to be legitimate. Okay, let's uh, let's see what this is. At least we're gonna get a non-interactive segment. Derelict House, June first. Haunted House rehearsal. Wow. Oh fuck. Oh, you fuckers, Sorry. man. <laughs> hey, I only work with professionals. Speaking you of which, fuckers. make sure the sound is right this time. I don't want a repeat of Amarillo. That was two fucking years ago. I don't do ADR. What, this is interactive? Are you fucking kidding me? Again? Just don't be surprised if we have to make a change. 
Is this gonna be like a Texas Chainsaw Massacre type of New thing? Plan. We do a walkthrough of the inside first. Yeah, hey, they're gonna do a walkthrough. Just like we always do. Just try to say the show's name this time, okay? No problem. Tonight on Sewer Gators, another worthless fucking show. Oh, it's the dudes from the van. All right. Static. Tonight on Sewer Gators with Zach Bagans. We have experienced uh, extreme paranormal activity at the Baker household. There are approximately 16,000 ghosts. Alright, let's go. Yeah, please, let's go in. Let's die already. I know what's gonna happen. I mean, I don't know what's gonna happen, but I could predict what's gonna way. happen. And it involves something that rhymes with, um... A lump... Snare. After you. <clears throat> so... Yeah, after why you. Why are we in hell this time? Do you ever prep? What's the prep? Shitty house, spooky sounds. Ooh, is it haunted? Fuck me. I was an anchor, you know? We can sub, Pete. Not anchor. What's that? Nothing. <sighs> What's the story, Andre? Abandoned yeah, bro, I'm not, I'm not playing this in VR. Come on. This is just like asking for... For like actual How long damage. Did you say this place has been abandoned. <laughs> Three years. <coughs> Clancy, get a shot of this. Let's make a great cutaway. But look, if this is so, uh, uh, if this is fun, I can play it tomorrow. Because go I got the weekend off from work. The Bakers, Jack and Marguerite Baker. So yeah. And they were quiet, not back. If this is fun, I can keep. A lot on of it. bad rumors about their son Lucas. Bad seat, apparently. Oh yeah, Lucas, ah, he's a shit. he's a great fella. I know I should have worn my good shoes. Hey, what? Oh shit. Glad I had my shots. Although, this would make a great backdrop. Andre, what do you think? Andre? Uh oh. Go find him. Andre! Go find him. Andre! Uh, I'm gonna Wait, did follow you. See where Andre went? No, I didn't see. You can go find him. Where oh, look is he? For the guy. Unfucking believable. This is the last time I work with that guy. I mean, producers, they come and go, but a, a good cameraman like you, Clancy, you stick with me. Sure. <laughs> I hope the F in chat is for Andre, not the stream. Because <laughs> if this goes what down, I gotta that? pause. Did you hear that? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I didn't hear it. Please, please go check. Go check what's up. Andre! Where the fuck is he? Somebody comes out that door. I'm fucked. But I'm I mean, this is in man. the past, so I am already fucked. Yeah, I'm just gonna be here in the corner, okay? Sound good? And you just, um, you just look around. All right, cool stuff. Go check out the fireplace, that sounds good. I'm gonna keep my distance. And this door is open. Bro, what we are, hell? we are fucked. He's gonna get snatched by something. What? Oh you wow. fucking kidding me. All right, new deal. We, we find Andre and we go. I mean, fuck this show. Well, Andre didn't find this. Something found Andre. But uh, I mean, okay. Let's let's come here in the walls, I guess. This super suspicious fucking space. This Blair Witch Project ass you first. house. What? Need a nice hero shot of me coming down the ladder. Bro. So, uh, you first. Oh, you fucking idiot. Okay, let's go. Let's see what the fuck is gonna happen. Oh, fuck. What do you right. see? Oh, what fuck. What is it? I didn't see anything, bro. Why are you fucking scaring me? Fucking. Oh, my God. It's literally like Blair Witch Project, dude. Staring at the wall. And he's gonna be fuck, fucked up or something. I guess I have to. 
Hey, Andre. Okay, yeah, he's fucked. He's fucked. And we're all fucked. And this is fucked. Fucked. It's time go, bro. It's time go. It's time go. So, well, at least I know how to open the, the little, like, trapdoor situation. Jesus. Can I take the tape? Yeah, um... Okay, this is fucked up. Well, I mean, sure. Ah. Uh... There we go. Yo. All right. Thank you. Damn it. cat turn into scaredy cat. IT time go. Bro, like legitimate. I have like almost an hour to left until the the flare up and it it can't pass fast enough. I am so fucking terrified. And this is now a different like it's a different level. It looks different. Fucking dark and fucking spooky. I know that's kind of the point. I just want to <sighs> complain for the sake of it. Literally everything is scary. This is this is fucked up. I should just go back to playing WWE. No. Okay. You fucker. Which one of them is this one? Is this one that I already forgot their names? I mean, doesn't matter. They're all dead. Uh, one of the sewer gators. Well, at least they ended up in the sewer. And then we got some more photos of people who used to be people and now they are not. Oh, we have cages here. Okay, at least they kept them safe. And... Oh my god! I'm not looking back. Pretty sure there's nothing there that's interesting. And here something is gonna happen probably, no? Good. Yeah. I got nothing. Let's keep going. Uh, okay, this is definitely serial killer vibes. Let's see what we got here. Oh! Ben dead. Harold turn turn dead 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 and Clancy is L. I guess Clancy is the only one who took an L. Everybody else was either turned or dead. That's awesome. Uh, bolt cutters. Awesome. At least it's an item. And if somebody comes up, I can hit him in the face with the bolt cutters. And yeah, this is the woman. It seems like it is. Great! We saved her, now we're going home. That's it. We win. That's it. Hey, what's up, Goral? Thank God I found She you. is perfectly it's fine, Ethan. I'm sure. Ethan? Are you alright? You shouldn't be here. Yeah, what I know. I should be playing FIFA contact. right now. No, no, I wouldn't. Did I? Did anyone see you? Did he see you? Hey, who else is here? What the hell's going on? Daddy's coming. We need to go. Daddy? We need to go now! Hey, you're into some kinky shit, dude. Daddy. It time go. I Where guess it time me? go. Someplace safe. Are you gonna tell me what's going on? Baby, you've been gone three years. Three years? Has it really been three years? Daddy's been keeping her there for three years. Damn, Daddy. Um Whoa. When do I get an assault what rifle? This what they do in a rocket launcher? Now. We need to get out of here first. 
I think it's this way. All right, let's go. Time go. Damn, my camera is so dark. <laughs> but that's how it is. That's how it is. Spooky time. This is spooky hours. All right, what the fuck is this? Oh, it's bags of um, we have, human, we have I guess. To talk. That message you sent me. Not me. That wasn't me. But you did. I didn't. Okay, fine. Just tell me what's going on. I'm telling you everything that I know. We have to go this way. Mia, are you sure you know where you're going? Family used to bring me food through here. I remember. The thing is, I know the story of the game, and it's actually, like, very, very interesting. Because I watch, like, uh, people who are not scared uh, review it and do summaries of the story. There. It's there. But, uh, like, when it comes to the gameplay and the flow of it, I know nothing. This is it. I just know, like, the, the overall plot. And it's, like, very, it's very interesting. I, I have to say I'm uh, I'm an enjoyer of the Resident Evil plots, and I've watched all the movies, even though those are sure of it. not great. What do we get here? E. It's not here. Zero it's zero. It's gone. Oh wow! And we got Grandma. Oh, we're gonna be a family now that you're here. Uh no, no. Uh, how I'm about no? I'm sure of it. Okay, so. What, are you gonna take a break? I guess I have to be by myself now, going around? Yeah, sound good. Yeah, let's let's be a family. Yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's be a family, I guess. We have a doll here and another doll here. Yo! What? Where the fuck did you disappear? Oh, she went through the wall somewhere. Okay, let's, let's check out those dolls. Because, um... They were interactive, so... This is just simply a doll. And this is simply a doll, but this looks like, uh, like Mia was her name. And this is the other one. Which I know is the, what, Evelyn or something? Okay. Okay, so this... I think Daddy took her, and now he's going up there. Okay, this is a very spooky segment. Oh, the, the door opened by itself. Well, awesome. Now, okay, I, I'm i going through. Fuck this. Alright. It's time go. Oh, I, I could be making some more sexist jokes. I'm sorry that I'm not. And some more racist stuff. I just kind of forget sometimes, you know. It's... Kind of hard. Oh, I got a first aid thing. Uh, I guess uh, boobies and uh, black people. That's that's all I got. That's all I got for now. But next time I'll be I'll be loaded up on all my slurs. Okay, stop banging. Like like actually stop it. Oh, this is locked. Am I gonna turn around and something's gonna pop up? Is this gonna happen? Okay, it didn't happen. Fuck. I feel like it's gonna happen because I was already. I went all the places. What do we got here? Guest house map. All right. Oh, okay. Good. Um. Well, we got the bathroom and then we got a a locked a locked door. Maybe I missed something. What did I miss? I, uh, I don't have to go back downstairs. I didn't miss anything here. But he stopped knocking. Okay, it's definitely nothing in the bathroom. I think I covered everything here. There's nothing interactive.
This is locked. I can't go through this. So we got the bathroom and downstairs again. And downstairs there's some other stuff. Investigate the sound. Oh, I guess it's it's downstairs again. Okay, well, let's go downstairs again. Because that is it's never gone wrong. This... Bro, these dudes. They wanted to get me to go downstairs. To go upstairs just so I can go downstairs and get scared the fuck out. Something... Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck. Hopefully we're gonna get some cutscenes now and we're gonna have a, a break. Kill me. Just kill me. Good. 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 Finish the job. Finish the job. Roll credits. Let's go home. Wait. No. Uh, should I be pressing something? I can hear her. I can feel her clawing her way back inside of me. Get out! Leave me alone! I'm back. I deserve this. <laughs> okay, let's use some um, medical water, I guess. And what what are we gonna do now? What happened? Check on me. Oh, all right. I I thought the. I mean, I, I thought the, the teabagging was enough, but I guess she needs some more. Uh, but yeah, how, how much more can I check up on her? There's not much more I can do. I'm just sitting here. There's no prompt or anything. Should I? Oh, I just had to press X. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, sure. I'm going. Oh no, we're gonna fight. All right, let's fight. Yeah, take this bitch. <laughs> we're just both just like flailing. All right, all right. It's a very violent domestic dispute. Will she actually kill me? Oh, there we go. Now I can finally go home. Got the job done, guys. When do the credits roll? Oh, and of course the phone rings. I guess I gotta pick it up. You really shouldn't have come here. Who's this? And what the fuck is going on? My name's Zoe. There should be a way out through the attic. Attic? Go there. Now. What? Hold on. Okay. Um. Now, my only question is, is when does uh, Jack show up? His name was Jack, huh? I think, I think so. When does he show up? That's, oh, and she is gone. All right. Well, I'm going to take my axe. Not that it's going to do something, because those, those people that are here actually, they don't, um, yeah. They, they, they won't be affected. 
but you know, I can give it a shot. I can give it a couple of, of flails. Okay, so this is the same place. Um, let me see this. So the attic, yeah, I must go on the second floor. And at this point, I mean... Uh, see what we got here. I can save again. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's, uh, let's make another one. How far am I into this? I don't know, dude. Oh yeah, I can probably break stuff with a hatchet. That is true. So I am 150. What the fuck does that even mean? Oh yeah, 35 minutes. All right, that's, that's just something. That's the most I've played from a Resident Evil game. The attic should be up somewhere. Huh. Well, this looks like it kind of, yeah, there is like something here, but it also needs to be triggered by something. So let's uh, give it a little bit of thinking time. Maybe this button, big red button that says stairs on it, is not responding. Okay, very interesting. Maybe I can go find that fuse. Uh, I don't know. Let's, let's think, where can a fuse be? A fuse can be in many places within a household. Primarily in a fuse box. Obvious. Wait, hold on, what? Uh, oh, maybe I can do this? No? Oh, I need a specific key for this, huh? Yeah, okay. And here we got a piece of... Um, who knows? A photo, I guess. Sure. I guess here I'm basically leaving the house. It makes no sense. So it's not gonna be here. Let me go out um, and check these rooms again. Like where I came from. Because, right, uh, I should be able to use the hatchet on something and break something and maybe, I don't know do something because right now it's not very scary so I can actually put my brain to thinking instead of um, being scared let's see here I genuinely don't want to go back downstairs I hope I don't have to okay I don't have to that's awesome it's fantastic truly phenomenal uh, okay we have a drawer here that is empty here everything is empty I think I tried it and it makes no sense for it to be here because this is the bathroom all right well all I'm left with is this this room where uh, the actual fuse box is and the kitchen so let's go through the kitchen again even though I think I already did Well, it's not here, it's not here. There's something that I haven't opened. Well, it's this one, but I need some kind of a key that I don't really have. Well, let's think about maybe the key should be here somewhere. I mean, I, I don't necessarily think it's gonna be in the fridge because that would make absolutely no sense. Okay, so it's not here. It's just a pile of trash, and this is a pile of nothing. This room was kind of useless, so let's see, maybe there is something here. Oh, I can... No. This doesn't work. I forget that I have the hatchet. Maybe I can break something in this room. So we have... Oh, what is this? No, this is just the picture. I found, found this earlier. 
Can I break the TV? No. Makes no sense anyways. Uh, the family, we got these dudes. Uh, please don't, don't tell me I have to go through here again. That would make absolutely no sense. Okay, at least I'm getting familiar with the house. It's not as scary now. So it's not in the kitchen. That's like a hundred percent. Unless it's like here somewhere or it's fucking hidden or it's some kind of a weird puzzle. Oh, it's... Uh, wait. <clears throat> yeah, I have the, the, the chain breaking thing now. There we go. So here it... Oh, there we go. It's a fuse. That's it. That's why he's the goat. God, that was a oh 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 no no you are getting clapped but now I'm not gonna see her right she's not gonna be here she was just appearing to be a spooky lady in the shadows uh, am I gonna save again you know what I'm gonna save I am absolutely terrified so I'm gonna save I'm gonna override the previous save Ah, oh, yes, yes, my children. Yes. Uh, and press this button. Oh, no. Now I have to go actually downstairs and actually put in the fuse. Uh, yeah, I should definitely try appearing offline. That is definitely gonna help it. And I, I will. I actually will. Okay got this going on oh please don't okay. fuck fuck it's okay it's me i know you didn't mean to hurt me i was just gonna say please nothing jump at me please nothing jump at me i've done that you fucking bitch you fucking bitch it you fucking fucked up. Hurts. Ah! oh really really can i throw this at her Thank you. Now I have a screwdriver, at least. Now, let's see. How Is this a fucking? No. Okay. Let's let's not do this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she literally fucking cut my hand off. Are you serious? Must contain. Okay, just just put it back together. I know you can do that. Just take it and put it back. Okay, cool stuff. Can I use this as like a squirt gun if she jumps out again? And just like squirt some blood in her face? Okay, there we go. It time go. I'm running out of uh, like literal blood. And now I can see the game saved, so something must actually happen. Yeah, there we go. Now we have fucking mannequins. Of course we have mannequins. Why wouldn't we have mannequins? Why not? Why wouldn't we have mannequins? And now we get... Of course. Just kill me already. Just fucking kill me. There's no way I'm running out of this fucking house. What are you doing? I'm trying to run. Uh, handgun ammo? I don't even have a handgun. I don't even have a hand. What am I doing? Fuck me, there's like nowhere I can go. Oh, I guess I should kind of, um... Come on, come on, come here. Come here. Ah, uh, psych. Bitch. You got fucking tricked, you idiot. Let's take some more ammo. And I guess run back the same way. What are you hiding, Ethan? What don't you want me to know? Okay, let's go up this time. Can somebody ban the sex bot in chat? I literally can't deal with this right now. And I am fucked. Oh no, we go we go in this room. Alright. 
Uh, oh, there we go. It's a gun. I actually got a gun. Hey, big ups for the for banning the the thing, Andrew. Okay, catch shots. Fuck you, don't. Ah, fuck me. Uh, thank you for the oh wow, the a bunch of renewals. Big ups, everybody. Thanks it's a lot. I guess it's two o'clock. Yeah, it is. Hit her with a fucking yes. 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 Oh, fuck me. Put some first aid juice. There we go. Let's, let's grab some juice. Oh, no. Okay. All right. This is not working out. Okay. Can I reload? No, I'm dead. Did I die? I mean, come on. How am I not dead? She fucking... They cut me with a chainsaw multiple times. Yes. Yo! This is fucking sadistic, man. I died actually I thought this this was like a scripted death oh yeah I missed a whole bunch of fucking shots but I'm uh yeah uh, I was shaking I was shaking let's let's do it again bitch let's do it again I'll clap your fucking ass because now I'm gonna get the gun early there we go we're cheating okay fine And this time I'm hitting all the headshots. Just headshots, nothing else. Okay. Uh, hold on, let me pick up these ones as well. Okay, we're there. Was that it? I think that was it. Maybe in this room? Is this like a, a different room? Yes, it is. Okay. Okay, good stuff. Let's trigger the cutscene now. All right. Going back. Oh, what, what the fuck? How did she come through so fast? Okay, bitch, come on. Come on, bitch. Come on. Take some headshots. Come on, walk through this door. Oh, no, 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 no! When he starts rushing, it, it's fucked up. And I died. Wow. God damn it. Oh, fuck. I need to figure out when she starts actually rushing. Because then it gets like, it gets crazy. Because I was just like sitting there squatting basically. For better aim, of course. But I did land quite a bit of headshots. I don't know if I should use the first okay. aid now or later. Fine. I guess later. Get all the ammo first. Okay, this one. Wait, was there something here? Nope. Alright. And last time she hit me because um, after the cutscene, she just spawns down the stairs, which is very weird. Because first she's at the window. It doesn't quite jump down. You see, now I'm going down. And when the ladder falls, she's just gonna be downstairs. Look at this. Oh no, I guess she jumps. Oh, no. Okay, I'm trying to run away. Okay, good stuff. So I'm gonna be here at the corner so I can actually dodge around. 
This is what I'm gonna do. Look at this. Ah, yes, my children. Come here, bitch. Ah, you see? Now I get her trapped. Well, I'm not quite getting her trapped here, but... Um, I guess I got kind of myself trapped. There's not, nowhere I can go. Wait, what? Bitch! Okay. They're relying on me! Oh, fuck! Is relying on me. She was rushing me like this. Holy fuck. Uh, but I guess now I have place to move in between rooms. As long as I can see where she's gonna come from. What? Where the fuck did she go? Excuse me? Burnell? Oh, she died. Welcome and she didn't die. Son. Welcome to the family, son. Oh, fuck. All right. I guess this would be a good place to stop, right? Next time it saves, I'm I'm finished. Hey, achievement! There we go. I finally achieved something in life. Uh. Yes, I done did it. die on us now you have work to do There we go, man. Uh, I'm going to set up this stream to forward to the um, the flare-up. So I'm going to see you there in about... Where? Where what is it? I? Like 20 minutes. What the hell? Rise and shine, sleepyhead. I think I can pause here and then restart the cutscene next time I play. I think that would be reasonable. Uh, because um, I really need to go to the bathroom. I want to eat something before we start the stream because that shit is going to be like an hour and a half, I think. So, yeah, I'm very actually pleased with how this went. Um, thanks, everyone, for stopping by, interacting, chilling. You're going to be forwarded to the flare-up so you can set your reminders for that. It was starting in like 20 minutes. It's currently 2 a.m., here in beautiful Europe style time and uh, see you guys I'm gonna play one song which is obviously the new song and uh, if you want you can go to the snort wave channel I think it's linked in the description you can actually click the link and go there listen to the songs subscribe and stuff and so on and so forth thanks everybody see you around thanks for joining me for the gameplay that shit was fun but terrifying uh, the daily wrap for today, we did very well. Uh, Phil didn't. And, uh, it was boring. But I played some video games, and then I got the, the shit scared out of me. So, uh, enjoy the devour. That's right, this is the United States of Phil. I am the supreme being. I like the rules, and what I say goes. Uh, this is not a place for you to see that you're so wax and complain about censorship and freedom of speech. Because the bottom line is you don't have freedom of speech. This is my land. Stop it, stop it! Devour. Take. Do what gives you pleasure. And fuck everyone else. Devour. Control is desire. Care about money, that we just can't help it. I 
am so just enveloped in greed and money. I need money. I need money. Per take. Do what gives you pleasure and fuck everyone else. Why my time Why, why, why my time Why my Why my Why, why, why my time Why, why, why my time What? desire. Devour. Who? Control this desire. Get mad.